Yo, guys. What is up? We're back for day number two. The Lukazi West Coast Tour here at Hard Times Billiard, Sacramento, California. We got a heck of a match starting things off. Ross for Grosso gets a chance to... Uh, ooh, dropping stuff. Gets a chance to semi... What, what, what you might you say, redeem himself after the Friday night fight matchup that he had on Friday. Didn't really have a good showing. Didn't play very good. Jeremy Long played fantastic. Now he's going to be put up against what looks like an unstoppable force in this tournament. The way that Mitch Ellerman played in the matches that I saw yesterday was unbelievable. Breaking fantastic on this table. Just really good stuff. So uh, shall be interesting to see what happens. Uh, let me get here and we're going to do like a little one of these. There we go. How many players came back today? 32 players. It is in the title, in the title drone. Day two, final 32. So we've got uh, eight on the, no, 16 on the winner side, 16 on the one loss side. So, yeah, we're ready to rock and roll. It is kind of early, but uh, but we're going to start things off with some flair. And Mitch Ellerman's going to overrun position on the four ball here, which is a little wild because all day yesterday, people were coming up short. Does four go in the side? Of course it does. Mitch Ellerman's just... Maybe he just played it in the side. Who knows? Um, but yeah, all day yesterday, people were struggling with the speed of the table. It playing a, a touch on the slow side. Look at this cue ball. Holy crap. Do you think he came up short there? Like he wasn't playing for the side here, and he's playing. He's shooting in the side again twice in a row? Seems likely. Dobi. Ken. Juan Kenobi. Dobi Juan Kenobi. Okay, nice one. Looking forward to watching Michigan play great yesterday. Yes, he did. <laughs> He's playing great right now. Look at this. Look at this shot. Holy. Mitch Ellerman, ladies. And he's playing at a blazing pace all day yesterday. And it looks like he's looking to repeat that form today. And all you can do if you're Ross Fergoso is just sit there in your chair, put your cue down. And wait for Mitch to break the next one. Uh, this is a handicap tournament. You can see that, that Ross Fergoso is only going to eight. So um, every hundred points or so of Fargo, there's an added game that you must go to. So obviously the favorites are going to be those over 720. But they are giving a little bit of a rebate to those players, you know, that aren't quite as capable as them. Stream is super laggy. Oh my god, it is. I'm dropping all kinds of frames, guys. Let me see what's going on with that. Give me a second. Let, give me one second, guys. Back. We are uploading. Let's see if the connection is better. I just did a little connection reset. Let's see if it holds up a little better this time around. Looks like the upload rate is good. I'm not dropping any frames. Before I was dropping 50% of frames, so hopefully things are sorted out here. Good morning, everybody. What's up, Chad? What's up, Scott Chandler? Audio is good, but video is dropping frames. Gotcha. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. It's, you know, audio has a lower bit rate than video does, so looks like things are sorted out. Hopefully it doesn't do that again. Um, try to catch my attention if it does, but looks like things are sorted. Uh, Ross had a couple shots there and now leaves Mitch with a thin cut on the two and probably probably going to be able to swing the cue ball two rails to the other side of the three. Yeah, look at him. Look at him gesturing. Three to four rails, actually. He was gesturing here and then gesturing here. So um, we'll see what he does with his cue ball. It kind of maybe play it as a two-way shot. If you end up missing the two ball somehow... Um, the cue ball will be on the other side of the three. So he's going to load this up with outside spin. He did miss the two. And he does get safe with the two-way. Nice shot there. Now the sound is choppy. Uh, if the sound is choppy... I'm going to type it too.
If the sound is choppy, try refreshing your page. Sometimes when I do a connection reset, uh, the software on YouTube gets thrown off. So try just refreshing your page and it should sort it out. Yeah, sometimes when I do that, that connection refet, reset, it does do that for like some of the audience, but not everybody. So Mitch Ellerman does end up with ball in hand. Ball in hand and uh, really routine run out here. What's going on? Scott Chandler. Good to see you, buddy. Ooh, Mitch just kind of begging the ball to, to leave him a shot on this five, but it's not going to work out. There might be a jump here. It's a very difficult jump, but doable. You got to land on the five ball. Uh, since you're jumping so short, there's not very high odds that the cue ball goes off the table, but it is high odds that you clip the nine as you're coming down. Look at how high he's elevating. You, you have to elevate really high and land on the five. And he did. And he got perfect on the eight. Well, as perfect as as you might like to be if, uh, if you didn't have a shot on the five. <laughs> Great shot. Yowza. Obviously, Mitch gonna just send the cue ball here. And he sends it perfect. Don't matter if he's on the rail. What a recovery by Mitch Ellerman in rack number two. Really nice. 2 0. And breaking. We're playing alternate break here, guys. Take a look around the room real quickly. You can see all the killers here, here still on the winner's side. Looks like we got Michael Glass there. Uh, I don't recognize this gentleman from behind. I'm pretty sure his name is not Las Vegas. Eric Stanley down here. One of the locals. And if we swing to the other side of the room, we've got Oscar Dominguez here on table number five playing Sergio Del Puerto. Now, Sergio only having to go to... I think Sergio only has to go to seven. Which can be tough for Oscar, because Sergio's got a really high gear. I think we just broke on table four. We did. One ball in the side, two ball sent up table. Six ball trying to cover it up, but doesn't get there. And leaves him really ideal, actually, to get into the small window of position on the four ball. And here, I, I honestly like playing the five up table. Only because there's a little bit of traffic here with the, the eight and nine, so you can't swing the cue ball two rails. Uh, you can play the... Wow. Wow. I think he put a touch of inside on that ball to shorten it up to miss those two balls. He didn't even think about it. Just got down and nailed it. I, I get scared of that because I, I feel like I'm going to run into those balls. But really nice shot, obviously, by a 759 Fargo. Sees the problem and deals with it instantly. And then overcuts the six ball. Oof, sometimes that rhythm can come back and bite you. Hasn't gotten him. Actually, the rhythm, I mean, that's the first time I've seen Mitch straight up miss a ball since I've been watching him in this tournament. Now Ross coming in with a different style. Different style. He does slow things down a bit. Doesn't want to get on the bad side of the seven here. Needs this to straighten out a bit. It's not terrible, obviously. I mean, I'm doing the whole thing. Oh, we got out of line here, but he's okay. So when there's only three balls on the table, things get a lot simpler. Unless... Oh, little jelly roll. Let's go. Got to kill the cue ball here a little bit. Maybe swing it with some low outside spin to open up the angle. Oh, he just decides to go up and down, baby. Up and down, no problem at all. There's a, there might be a scratch here, actually, in the side pocket, which makes queuing a little bit more interesting. Maybe not, though. Looks like he is queuing low to miss the scratch in the side. Don't want to hit the scratch in the corner. Great shot. Is my YouTube chat lagging? YouTube chat, we're going to go with this. A little refresh. It's not. YouTube's just real quiet. You guys are real quiet this morning. What's 
going on, Corey? C.R. Buke in the chat. Mr. Cannon. Show me the cannons in the chat. As we were saying before, other side of the room, we got Carl Wilson and Aton Mizrahi. That's an interesting matchup. Aton playing a lot more than Carl these days, but I'd say maybe just about even. Carl has the edge and experience for sure. Uh, this is a very interesting matchup here. Local Chong Vang versus Melissa Helen. I'd say that's a coin flip and a half. And then you got Shrek over here. Josh, Josh, Josh. Why can't I think of his last name? Start with a J. Playing RBP. Just missed the break uh, on table four, but just trying to show the players out in the tournament room here on the winner's side. Looks like Ross comes up dry, and Mitch Ellerman with a long stroke tester on the one ball. Overcuts it. Is he going to lose the cue ball behind the nine or find the window? Finds the window. And the two ball goes clean. This two ball goes. Wants to leave a perfect angle. I mean, the cue ball wants to leave a perfect angle to get to the four here, too, just based on the tangent line that he had right there. Leaves the cue ball dead center table. Eight ball can be traffic here if you accidentally put too much outside spin, but a guy of Mitch Ellerman's caliber is... is uh, if he intends to stroke center ball, it's almost always going to happen, like 99.999999% of the time. Coffee hasn't kicked in. I hear that, Chad. <laughs> Good morning, Sean Wedlake. What's up, dude? Welcome to the party. Mitch Ellerman comes up short on the six ball. And he's probably just going to lock him up behind the nine. There's my boy. Oh, he goes after it and makes the ball. Gets morning. straight in with, a, with an on-the-rail stroke tester across the table. Is that an official term? Stroke yeah. tester? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a new one I just came up with okay. today. Nice. And he hits it perfect. With confidence and ball in hand shape. How, how does that? How, how good is this guy rail? playing, dude? You should have seen this jump shot he made earlier. I think he's the man to beat. I think tournament. he's the man to beat in the whole tournament. Yeah. I think he's playing better than Oscar right now. Uh, he's breaking better than Oscar. At least, I, I haven't watched Oscar for the last two rounds that he's played, but from what I saw uh, on the table the other day, yesterday, uh, that's my opinion. There's this jump shot. Let's find this jump shot. Three to one, guys. Here it is. Ooh, I don't have it. I don't have my YouTube ready. He's jumping over the eight and the nine. Lands on the five and holds the cue ball dead perfect. Sorry, it's too short. No, it's good. It'll be all right. Yeah, it's good. Gonna hang out here for a few minutes. Oh, out. weird. Something different for a change. That's weird. Yeah. Normally you hang out for like two or three hours. Actually, normally you hang out most of the day. Okay, listen. Uh, this is the kind of commitment that I'll make to you today. Okay, let's right? hear it. Okay, so I just got to go do a little bit of stuff with some of the guys playing in Second Chance. Okay. Here in a minute, once yeah. they're done signing up. Yeah. Just sit along a little bit, and then I'll come out here and I'll hang out for a match or two. Nice. All right. Look forward to it. Getting in the thick of it. 32 to start with. We got the opens in the chat. Scott Chandler coming in and slim. That's what we like to see. Oh, nice. Good to see you guys. Yeah. Kappa. Look at that. Yeah, hit that ball. Eric Haro in the chat. Another beautiful day of pool. That's what I'm talking about. Did you just, did you just say perfect? Is he going to just run right into the seven? That's what he's telling us right now. He's like telegraphing to you folks at home. He's like, I am trying to do this. I am doing this on purpose. Oh my Bump. god. Oh my god. Never It's doubt. easy, dude. It's just easy. Pulling out the southpaw and killing the cue ball. Did you see that with the inside spin, the draw and inside to kill the cue ball? With the with the southpaw? I think he hit it with outside. Just Did he just, really? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But he hit it great though. He hit it great. I think you just got a real thick hit on there. This one is 
Oh, he's good. Uh, it was just it was dead stun. It was dead center ball. My bad. Yeah. The the weird southpaw stroke gave me a little. Uh, it was going opposite handed there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I feel sometimes too, Scott. What's up, Eric Kraft? It's cold here, so it's a ni this is a nice option for the day. That's right. There we go. Just hang out, watch some good pool from the West Coast. See who's gonna win. Uh, what's first prize like? Five K, fifty five hundred. Is it? Isn't it? I don't know. I think it's on the the desk out here. We had forty five forty. What is it? Four thousand added for the main event. One thousand for second chance added. Let's see if we can see it here. Ooh, they turned it around. Can we read it backwards? Yeah, thirty-five hundred. Oh, thirty-five hundred. Oh, they're they're kind of spreading the pays out a little bit. Yeah. Because it's fifteen k in the prize fund. Yeah. I like that. I like that for a tournament like this. 35 hundo up top. What's up, Kev Massey? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Ross Fergoso makes the one on the side. Two ball dresses up real nicely with a stun shot, maybe a, a touch of draw to get perfect on the three, and the five does pass the nine in the bottom right corner. Is the five nine laying okay? Probably not. Probably. He's close. He's close, but you're never shooting it, right? How do y'all, any brackets posted? Oh, yeah, I'm going to post them right now on the Facebook page. Well, there's some issue with the online brackets, still, So they're just going a little old school, but we will get it situated. Live on Facebook, guys. Ross coming up short here. Real thin on the six. It's missable. It's missable. The cue, yeah. You can lose the cue ball here real easy, too. Oh. How do you, how do you hit it? He's going to get hooked by the oh, nine. Oh, baby. Gonna, oh. oh, baby. The nine got stopped by the spot. Did he end up hooked? No, I don't think he did. I think he's good. He's wow. got a force follow. I think he draw. He got a little angle here. Ross has got a stroke. He likes to he likes to follow shot and overcuts uh, two, it. Two railer was dead. Over two railer was dead. Mile. Two railer was dead. The two rail timing shot. Two there rail you go. was dead. There you go. Two rail timing shot. Great shot. Never in doubt. He don't care. Nah. <laughs> Mitch don't care. He's yeah. just like let me back to the table. Don't care. I'm gonna get back to the table is what he says. How? T I mean, I don't know about you. I'd be really tilted if I did that to you. Well, I mean, that's yeah. That's a gimme. Especially if you do it. All right, I gotta go do some stuff with Second Chance, guys. I'll come back. Okay. Don't make that face. What face? I, I'll, I'll be back. Can I get oh you? gosh, there's a camera on me. I Can didn't I even realize. Um, cool. Million dollars. Just, just the complete d bag answer. Okay. Mitch is the biggest talent in the U.S. never to have played on the Moscone Cup team. I'd say he has an extremely high gear. Um, I'd say his his own Fargo bell curve distribution is pretty flat. Look at that. Look how he's breaking in this format, though. Look at this nine ball. Seven ball hangs up. Do you just go here? Ooh, the eight comes down to play. Makes things real interesting for the carom. All of a sudden now, you go safe. But how do you do it is the question. Crap. 
I just saw the picture posted. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Holy crap, I just realized I have a bunch of little messages here. One moment. All right, back in action. Oh my gosh, what did he do? God, you can't look away from the table for one second with this guy. Okay, so Ross tried to play safe and sold out. Oh, okay. And then he spears in the two balls, sets up the 3-9 combo, and wins the game. 5-2. to two. You guys are ridiculous, uh, okay? <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. I'm not even talking about the chat right now. I'm talking about some of you guys at home and <laughs> things you do on Facebook. Uh, it's a riot. I love this game. Is Oliver Ruger still in? I believe he's on the one-loss side. You can check out the bracket on Facebook. Let me see if I can pull it up here. was on the one last side yesterday. Oh, I believe he lost. Wow. Lost to Joey Jabron. No kidding. That is an upset that I was not expecting. Must have happened very late at night, maybe around 2 a.m. Joey Jabron's a great player, but uh, Oliver's supposed to win that set for sure. Wow. How easy is this game, man? I don't know who's going to beat this guy. I really don't. I mean, Oscar might... Oscar might figure... Or Vilmos. Vilmos wasn't playing great last night, though. I watched Vilmos play a little bit, and he's, he's missing a lot of balls. I love this shot. I really love this shot. The back-and-forth cue ball. To the right side of the eight. Ooh, he's going at the eight. Where's the cue ball going? Woo! Tries to get the eight to the other side of the nine. Is it going to get there? It's going too slow. Going to leave Ross uh, at least a chance. You can't play safe here. It's time to fire. The cue ball doesn't want to naturally go anywhere that's safe. I think it's time to cut at this ball. And if you miss it, you probably want to miss it thin. If you miss it, you want to overcut it. So aim to overcut. Take a longer shot on the nine. Try to make the eight. He hits it thick. Oh, this is this is good. This is good enough, anyway. I mean, I know it's Mitch, and I know he's playing great, but it's possible to make an error here. Does he let the cue ball out? No, he doesn't. He just hits it absolutely perfect. Wow. I know. Born hype, I know, dude.
Look at this shot. Is the eight going to get to safety zone? Not good enough. Got to imagine that Mitch is going to go after this one. Does cue ball's gonna hit the nine right at the hole? Does it go in? Two for one special. Come on, man. Take it easy. You're already you're already playing lights out. You don't gotta be styling on the rest of us. <laughs> easy. <laughs> What's he looking at? There's Michael Glass right there. Ooh, let's take a look in the room out front. We can take a look at the uh, the other side of the room here. These are your other uh, 16 players. Looks like Jeremy Long still in it. Tyler Talent. Jason Melm. Joey Jabron. Any other local names from Sacramento? A lot of new faces for me. I think it's exciting to see. All oh, Vilmos there on the one last side you can see. Vilmos, uh, pardon me, Vilmos lost to um, Fidel. I don't remember his last name. Fidel. It's covered up by the racks on my picture, so I can't see it. But who, who, What's Fidel's last name, the guy that beat Vilmos? Do you remember? I don't even think he's still in the tournament. Yeah, the guy that beat Vilmos is not on the bracket. You should have seen the end of the last rack. Look at this. Where is it? Come on, baby. Into the last rack, Mitch is like, you want me to make the eight? Watch this. Let's make them both. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Running good, playing good. Yeah. Strong as that. It's directly in the pocket. Yeah. I could have had ball in hand and I hit that nine ball. That's good. As when he came off the eight yeah. to hit it? Yeah. 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 Pocket speed. Rolls it in. You know. Life is good. Life is good. Correct. Yes, Slim. Yeah. Guys, if you're looking for the bracket, you can see it on Facebook. Go check out the Post Up Facebook page. Click follow. Then you'll be allowed to see the bracket. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't think you have to follow to see the bracket. But, you know, if you're there, you know, it is a lot. Oh, is it... I got you. Born hype, I got you. Is that better? Boom. Gonna leave it for Mitch Ellerman. No way he's playing. He's going to be cleaning up this. He's breaking great, too. Have you been watching him break? Yeah. The f I mean, I haven't watched a whole lot of pull this th since I've been here. But It's weird because there's like 144 players that were playing yesterday. You could have watched all kinds of pool. Coming in with the heat, huh, son? Okay. Still 32 today, so. Coming in. I'm watching a lot of pool today. Just plenty for the, you know, if you want to hang out. I'm here. I'm here, buddy. I'm right where I want to be. And Mitch is right. Well, Mitch is a little short where he wants to be, but. It's good enough. 
Wow. Trying to run straight into yeah. the six and send yeah. it to the corner. That I like the way he played was... it, though. Aggressive. Yeah, exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. How would Batman say it? He doesn't say that word. No? Nope. Okay. It's a shame. Oh, long, oh, wide. Leaves Ross kind of tough here. Looks like he's going to run into the eight. Yeah. I don't think you can miss the eight. If you cut this ball in, you'd be all right if you hit it a little. If you hit the eight a little thin. Ooh, right, what a stroke! Miss it completely. Look at that stroke, and yeah, look at the cue ball. Yeah, great shot! Wow. This one be straight though. I think he's not straight. No, he's got an angle. He's got an angle here. Cue ball just enough off the rail. Come off one rail. Easy game. Ross is going to get another point. Woohoo. Looks like he's playing with the Tiger Q. Mitch says that's good. Those are the hands of a working man. You want to know how I know? What does he do? I'm pretty sure he does the same kind of work I do. Oh, yeah? Not windows, but like, you know, building stuff. Yeah? Yeah. What's up, the legit noob? Welcome, buddy. Ball didn't move a lick. No. Three, five, eight. He's got a ball down. Man, I think he's. He lays pretty good. The yeah, six lays goes in good. the. Lays pretty natural. Yeah, let's, six One goes on the left hand the side. Other. Six goes on the left hand side. So. Um. And and the balls that lead to the six are underneath it. So. Should be doable here. Lock it in. Big Queen, I'm at the tippity top. Uh oh. He's hooked. I'm at the tippity top of the mountain, Big Queen. And I'm really only halfway up. Where are we at? The tippity top. Ah. Clearly. Oscar is currently, I believe, up four to one versus Sergio Del Porto. I, we're gonna. I'll find out right now. I'll let you know. Oh, what a great jump shot Holy that was! Shot. Look at his cue ball. Did you see that part? Yeah. Drew back a little bit. Yeah. Not just yeah. the make. And right into the five. Adrian Prasad playing Shrek. The score over there is six to two. Oh, oh crap, dude! Come on. Just when you thought you got out of the woods. You jump right back in. Well, he's about to jump right back in. Uh, any any clue on Paul Martinez versus Jeremy Long? I can't really... I don't know if I can see the score or not. It's going to be pretty far away. Uh, he's going out airborne. Didn't even get over the seven. Bummer. And that's but hey, I, you know what? I got cameras that can zoom in. Jeremy's playing right here, and it looks like the score is one to one. I'm kind of slow out there, eh? Three games versus their nine. Wow. Huh? They've played nine games out here to their three. Yeah, I know. Yeah, crazy. Everyone back here's played more than five. Oh, never mind. I lied. Table three's only played four. Go, Mitch Ellerman. Another one. Is 
Seven to four. Wait a second. Oh, wait, what? Did I miss one for Ross? It's not seven to four for sure uh, in game count. I'm sure they added one bead up for Ross for Goso because they're treating it like a race to nine and Ross only has to go to eight. Does that make sense? Say that again. They're treating it like a race to nine, but they put the bead up there for Ross. You get what so I mean? So they put the bead up and now they're playing even. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. That's why I have a different score on the scoreboard than they have beads up there. Keep the ball. This. Gonna this. end up behind the four? No, no, no. no. He's good. That is what they would call it, Russage. That is correct. I have heard people say it that way once or twice. Say it what way? It's called getting one on the wire. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. The chat's right there if you want to see what Russage said. Where? This is, this is the chat box right here. Where's it at? Right over there. He's, we can make it the Batman chat box. We need that for, for Boise. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I love the way he hit it. Like, just make sure he got a really full hit. Didn't try to overstroke it. Just got back to center table. Yeah, Mitch Ellen was playing good. Very well struck there. Very well played. I'm not, I'm not looking. I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> of course you looked. Hear, hear no evil, see no evil. <laughs> of All course right? you looked. Yeah. You can't help it, man. No. A little tough shot here. What is he going to do? Nick the ball. Automatico. Is that ball to slow up a little bit. Don't matter. It His will. name's Mitch Ellerman. It will. Just enough. His name is Mitch Ellerman. Rip. Oh. Rip. Rest in peps. Commentator's curse got him. Seven. So it's four now, right? Or five? Wherever it's at. Ross ain't out of it yet. Is there any more mistakes from? Uh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Ross <laughs> is coming for you. <laughs> He's not gonna give up. I Until justice oh, is served. Oh my god. Oh, doofy. Doofy, doofy, doofy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting dizzy. Oh, I got, hold on, I gotta sit back for a second. <laughs> Whenever I breathe like that, it makes me dizzy. Get workman's comp here, buddy. Oh, crap. <laughs> What's up, Paul McCaslin? What's going on? Out of the woods now. Oh, yeah. Digital pool. The bracket isn't... Uh, the, the tournament directors are having some issues with the bracket. So, uh, if you want to see pictures of the bracket, you can see it on uh, Facebook. Is that is that man? No. I'm Batman. I'm gonna go grab a monster. You want something? Yes. <laughs> monster would be great, actually. 
All right, taking a longer shot on the five ball here. This is going to be the one to win the rack if he can get it. I really didn't like where he ended up with the cue ball on the last shot. Big momentum swing here if he can put this ball down. And it does. And he's good. Just want to be on the rail, but I think either way will be fine. And this nine ball may come back to haunt Mitch a little bit. Okay, he's good. Lost for Goso. Mitch is probably going to say that's... Oh, no, he's not. He's saying you got to shoot this one. Well, they've been giving, giving him the nine ball a couple times. Yeah, I don't know what button's what, so I'm just not going to press anything. <laughs> it's 7-5 now in favor of Mitch Ellerman. He's going to be the gentleman breaking right now. Got 32 players left starting the day. Mitch taking a little breather. Probably saw himself in the, in the video there. We'll get the score updated here shortly for you guys. Really getting through the cue ball well. Got a ball down, but that's going to be the extent of it. Going to look to play safe, but let's see where's he going to put the cue ball here. Five ball looks real big. Wow, and he faded the five ball. Oh, and I think he's. Is he good? Philip Peace says Mitch is a beast. Yeah, he's playing like it. And what well, Collins is saying, the man to beat in this tournament. Oh, he wanted to hold that ball. Good try there from from Ross. I love the way he played it. Just got a little too, a little too much horsepower out, out there. JB, if Collins was here, he would say much appreciated for this 499 super chat. We appreciate all you guys for hanging out with us. Big shout out to all of our sponsors who, who helped put this event together. Mikasi Town, How Championship Cloth. We got a new sponsor will be announcing hopefully next week. Should be a good time. We've been getting a lot of support within the industry, which has been awesome. Was talking with a few players. Few of the 146 that came out, everyone seems to be real happy with the way things are going. So it's been a it's been a fun ride to this point. I'll tell you who else is enjoying it? It's Mitch, but is he a little funny here on the five? I can see the table right in front of me, and his face does not look too thrilled. I wonder if he might. If he doesn't like the angle, he can always just cross the five over to land on the six. I think you can get a real a real full hit on the five if that's what you want to do, unless you want to come around three rails, which is what he wants to do. Oh, how is this going to end up? How is it going to end up? Yeah, that was always a problem when, when you're coming around with that much speed. to pull a rabbit out of his head on this one. Hey, old buddy, old pal. Got a what, What's up with the scoreboard? What do you mean? It, it, the buttons aren't the same, no? Oh, okay. It's still titled US Open, the page that has everything on it. Uh-huh. Uh, so you have to go there for for this scoreboard. Ah, uh, yeah. okay. Gotcha. This is going to... I'm going to end up changing everything on here. It's a little disorganized right now just because of the change and everything. Really smart way to play that shot. He was trying to draw back and tuck it in behind the nine ball. Did not work out, but I love the effort. Yo, JB coming in with the 499. Thank you so much for the super chat, man. 
by the way, JB, if you want to get uh, support the channel and, and get involved in the chat with the uh, channel emojis, check it out for three ninety nine. Just click that join button, become a channel member. You get uh, a cool little membership badge and uh, and you get access to all of these emojis. I'll show you right here. You could slap this guy's face in there every once in a while if you want. If you got the uh oh spaghettios going on, you can slap Fetter's face in the chat. I have his explicit permission to use his face. Someone gets a jelly roll, slap a jelly roll in there. There we go. <laughs> Showing them all off, Slim. There you go. Right on. Everybody who has a green name on YouTube, they're channel members, and they got the badge next to them, that little post up. Moneyball guy. You get a little mini one of these guys. Where's he at? Which one? What is that thing right there? What is the last emoji you got there? It's like a jelly roll. Mm. Okay. It's a jelly roll, man. This is the badge you get. This guy. Our mascot. Eh? You like it? I call him King Money, baby. It's the only name he can be. King Moneyball. Yeah. Okay. King Money for short. You just took a turn. This, this match is about to take a turn here in a minute. He needs that cue ball to pick up some speed. Just leave him jacked to. up. Oof. Never mind. What's going on, Suhail? Good to see you. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the good times. Ooh, I got to change the music. I just realized. I just realized the music is about to stop. Boom. <clears throat> look, look at the speed coming across the line of the seven ball. Coming across the shot line. And he goes left hand. No, he is left handed. Everybody relax, okay? <laughs> I love that little guy too, Shannon. Mitch Ellerman on the hill. And all of a sudden, Ross needs three in a row. Indeed. Mm. Three in a row, huh? Mm. 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 Well, you know, it's always going to be uh, a possibility with this format, although the way that Mitch is breaking the balls. Breaking and just decision making and executing. Yeah. It's going to be tough to fade, you know, make up three. Now, Ross is a great player, but we shall see. It's all going to start with. Uh, Rack number 14. Well, we'll take a look around the room on uh, scores in a, in a moment, guys. We, we can pan around the room. Let's see what's going on with this rack first. Mm -hmm. Well, we can maybe do it right now. Cut Mitch, might be, the one, the Mitch might be thinking a little bit. He is. Michael Glass. Score there. I don't know this gentleman's name that Michael's playing. Michael Glass is playing the guy sitting down. Who's Michael Glass? The guy standing up on table three. Oh, that's, isn't that Joel? Oh, is that Joel? Yeah. I don't even recognize him. That's Joel. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, the camera's yeah, yeah. zoomed way out. He looked totally different. Yeah, it's four to one there on table three. Mitch making a great shot. He didn't even push out. Has he got him hooked? I didn't. I know Joao. I didn't recognize him. I was the wondering. I said, out. "I know him from here. How do I know him and you not know him?" Yeah. Should have known better. Wow, Savannah won her first match today. She's in the final four on the winner's side of that bracket. Let's go. Let's go. Beep beep. Can we get some? Oh, dude, we need a we need a road runner. Emoji. We need a meep meep. Oh, I'll make it right now. Oh, it's easy. Easy. You know what else is easy? 
playing pool if you're Mitch Ellerman. Good grief. How do you get shape on that ball? Perfect. I wonder if I'll be, this is one of the things about emojis, like unless my channel gets absolutely massive, I don't think that, you know, they're going to come after me for some emoji, you know what I mean? Well, like copyright wise? You may F around and find out, big guy. I think I'm going to. I think it's worth the gamble because it's not like I'm going to be making any millions off of, you know what I mean? Yet. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Mitch just giving the gentleman over some time, and he's about to be. Oh, just as I said it, he knew it right away. As soon as he hit it, he's got a smile on his face. He knows. He gave he gave Ross a little uh, a little window there. What a great cue ball there by Ross. Hey, Sargon. What's up, buddy? Sargon, get in here. Come hang out. We need some of that. No, you're fine. You're fine. Are you uh, you still in it out there, face. buddy? Yeah, I just won. Nice. Nice. Who did you play? Uh, Mark, somebody? Mark. Okay. Nice, buddy. Congratulations. Oh. oh, man, congrats. Congrats. You ever see that SNL bit? with? Uh, it's the only thing that Pete Davidson ever did that I really liked. What's his name? Chad. When Pete Davidson plays the Chad. Ooh, a little hit there. No, I don't know. Oh, okay. I've watched Saturday Night Live till since... Uh, since it was funny? Yeah, Christopher Walken days. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a fever. The only cure is more cowbell. That's right. Yeah. That is right. They're on the Just merch take, take, take store, man. With you. Sorry, go They're on the merch store. Yeah. Postupmerch.com. Thanks for the thanks for the plug. <laughs> there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just the professional. That's right. Yeah. Comes in the booth and starts trying to monetize my channel for me. Appreciate it. Oh, good. Good. Got the monster. And I have a drink that's called a monster. What's the other monster? Me? This guy? Ah. Aha. Two-way there, huh? That's right. We always play the two-way uh, shot. So you on one lost side, sorry, going or winner side? Yeah. yeah. Who would you lose to last night? Oh. Uh, give, me a, give me a mic check. Make sure that mic's right in front of your face. Is that better? That there is way is. better. There yeah, it is. Uh, I played... Who did I play first? I honestly forgot. Um, then I won my next one. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I lost to Joey. Um, you know him, Colin. from here. What's it? The Joey? Jabron. Yeah. He beat, uh, he beat uh, Oliver. Oliver Ruger last yeah. night. Late he, last night. I heard you beat Pops last night, too. Yeah. But, so yeah. I lost here to Joey, and then I was on the one last side, won a few matches, and then I played, I played pretty good against Ernesto. But he was also on that. I feel like we were both kind of drained. I mean, it was a you know midnight match pretty much, right? Yeah. So, but it, you know, I played all right, and then um, so won that, and then not, not just won my match now. So yeah, still battling. But there's a lot. Of, it's, it's, it's incredible, like how many solid players are in this tournament. It's uh, 
it's, it's even on the one loss side too there's a lot of good players too so i think there's one six in the bracket right the one six and the 32 and then a few sevens but yeah it's very very strong and then like you said joey beating um oliver last night too which is not easy either right so no uh, fetter in the chat says why aren't my messages showing collins is collins must have banned me <laughs> yeah Show me the Fedos in the chat, guys. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Been traveling a lot. You're going to Germany soon, too. I don't know how these guys do it. I know I've been all the time, dude. It's a freaking act. It's a commitment. I was talking to... Uh, um, Oscar? No. Max. Max Lechner out there at Vegas. Yeah. Sitting at the bar top, and, and we were just kind of chatting about what his life is like, you know? And he says he travels 300 days out of the year. Wow. He's home for like a total of 60 days, and he's lucky if one of those months is a full month. <coughs> That's awful. <coughs> nice. <laughs> Drinking vodka with bears? Bears? Actual bears. <laughs> okay. They don't mess around, huh? That's why don't mess around. Yeah. Yeah. Going through Khabib training right now, wrestling <laughs> bears, huh? Yeah, it's incredible that just the, the amount of not just traveling, but the amount of organization you have to have from a calendar perspective. Oh, oh yeah. Sure about yeah. It. yeah. Wow, he missed it. Hey, he's oh, letting wow. him back in this game. Is is uh, who's breaking the next? Who's breaking the next round? Uh, I think Ross. If Ross is breaking, he's got a chance to win the dang thing here. I mean, Mitch was steamrolling him. That six is pretty deep, though, to be fair. If he can get out, though, obviously, without hitting the knuckle. It's pretty I think you're out. trying to play the cue ball like like stun out here, right? Yeah, see, it was pretty deep. He had no choice yeah. but to score back. But yeah, yeah he's good. The whole shebang right here, baby. It's a bit tricky too because you don't want to end on the right side and behind the nine, right? It's so. quite tricky. And then pocketing this ball with outside spin to check it to the left side of the table is not easy. Wow, look at wow. run into it too. <coughs> oh, it rolled off straight. You oh. see that? Yeah. Oh. It was going to hit it half ball and then it hit it full ball. All right. Look at it's just like, well, here we go. <coughs> Whoops, that's the wrong button. I would just hit it thin and just leave the cue ball on the left hand side. I mean, I can't see. Try to, Trying to get him behind the nine. He must have a good angle to get him behind the nine. Here. I don't he know must about be able that. to if you I don't, if you don't the cue ball down table more than anything. Yeah, see, yeah. on the left hand side. But, no, oh, that one it's got away. Oh, that might be in. No. Oh, oh. No. This is a little See, if he left it on the left hand side, this even this shot, even bouncing off the rails, not, you know what I mean? It cuts not an option at that point, but. See, I mean, it's somebody like Lord, him. I'm dogging. Guys, I'm dogging it with the buttons today. Sorry. Sorry. Well, how do you like this one after you just hung up a six ball? He's going to go for it, isn't he? He has to go for it. Yeah, of course. A chance Wonder. to put him away there. Oh, oh that might be behind the nine. I'm calling it. Unless it, it hits the jaw. Some speed, though, Sargon. Oh, you're right. Wow. Another twist. Wow, what a twist. tense game. Yeah. Yeah. I like it, and so are the fans at home. I'm is sure. this a winner side match or a one loss? Yeah, winner, everything back here is winner side. Oh, okay, okay. But you got to go for that shot. There's no way you just yeah, shoot you back. Have you to, have, you to. have to. Oh, you missed it! Wow! Oh my goodness! He's dapping him up. He said, "That's a wrap. That's good." I'm in uh, shock. Wow! How did he miss that ball? That was to make it hill hill, right? That was to make it hill, hill, and breaking, I believe. Wow. Yeah, it was. Oh, my goodness. Did not see that one coming. Yeah, and he's over here this time. No, I think he would have gotten a good bounce. Look at that. Oh, you're right. Perfect. You caught yeah. it. You yeah. caught it. Look at that. Oh, too much. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. That's sick, dude. I think, I don't know if he was, you know, sometimes when you do that, you're just trying to pitch the pocket a little bit just to hold it for the nine. But look how short he ended for the nine as Can well. Can you replay it? Oh, that's yeah. really unlucky. Wow. Looks like Oscar got Sergio Del Porto. 
Um, quick little pan around the room for scores, and we'll check out that replay, guys. Uh, looks like the score down here between... Looks even for Josh and Adrian, huh? Up there? Is that 5-5? Five, 7-5. Five? Five? Seven seven five? Five. Oh, 7-5, yeah. sorry. What's he giving them? One game, maybe? Yeah. It might be even. Is, is uh, Shrek over for 650? I don't know, actually. That's a good question. It's around that, isn't it? It's real close. It's it's either mid to low 600s, I think. And then Melissa Helen currently dead even 4-4 four to four with Chong Vang. What did I say before the, the whole thing started? That is a dead coin flip, that match. And then Carl Wilson is absolutely wrecking Eitan Mizrahi. Up 6-0 to zero in that match. The manager. The manager. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's who he is. Uh, and then back over on this side of the room, we've got Michael Glass still working on things with Joao. Current score 4-3. to three. That match is moving pretty slow. Right, let me uh, get up out of here. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what just happened, boys. Can't believe my uh, eyes. I'm in shock. I, can we get a replay of Colin's oh, face yeah, yeah. there real quick? Uh, that, that was, what? Just, get, just replay your face. Yeah, I need an emoji. I'm not even kidding. From your angle here, it was in pretty. Can you go back to your face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Here it is. Here. I can't breathe. <laughs> Turn down the guy's mic. I, just FYI, I'm not sick for the chat. Just thinking I might be sick. I am not. I'm just dealing with a cough. Look at your face, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh. in shock, dude. I know. We were all in shock. I was in shock. I, so, I wonder, can you go back one more time? I wonder if he, I think he was trying to hold for the nine, wasn't he? Yeah. He's just, he's rolling, just, the just, he's no, just trying to roll the ball. He's just trying to roll the ball. Yeah. He's hit trying to hold for the thick. nine and he just hit it too thick. Yeah. That's wow. sad. That's unlucky. That's a horrible way to go out. Yeah. Horrible. Uh, never Hard feels. luck to him, but the, at least he's still in anyway. That's yeah, thing. exactly. Yeah, winner's side matchup. This is a... Uh, Hill Hill on the one loss side losing like that. Four to three down here <laughs> between Eric Stanley and... Do uh, you know this gentleman? Mm -mm. I don't know him either. It's funny. Every time I see you come up to these tournaments, a lot of the like local Sacramento guys, including Eric, they always have good runs. Yep. All of them. You know what I mean? Yep. Like him, Tyler. Well, because they're Joey here Lucas? in the room all the time, playing on the table, in the conditions. It feels like home. You know, there's yeah. something to be said about the, the home field advantage. Like, definitely in pool as well. Almost especially in pool because it's like everything happens in the same space, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it's like that feeling of comfort. Like, like uh, Should I join you up there? Huh? Should I join you? Should I yeah, join yeah, you sure, sure. Um, there's, uh, uh, what was I going to say? The, uh... Oh yeah, you know you've heard the thing. Uh, if you if you sleep in a new place that you've never been in before, your brain doesn't fully shut down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's almost like you're on um, like, you know, you're ready. You know, same same idea. I would think there's some kind of subconscious process that's different when you're playing in a room that you don't play in all the time that you don't have to deal with when you are in your own room. You know. I think I want to check out that Adrian Prasad match right now. Sorry, you know yeah. Joao? Uh, yeah, Joao's a uh, uh, real from solid. Uh, no, well, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might be from. He's been playing in Vegas, I think, for a long time now. Yeah. But he's a Peruvian player. Um, Gotten in action with uh, Francis out there a few times uh, during. I think it was. Was it the U.S. Open? Good run for Michael too on the winner side as well. Good yep. for him. Yeah, yeah. This guy's always committed. So yeah, let's go to another match. Let's check this out. Let's do this. You, you guys, it? you guys get to see the fully fledged. Uh, <laughs> Is he done? They're not done, are they? They just finished. Who won? What is Adrian rating to eight? Is that why? Because he was seven, wasn't he? Maybe that's why they're done. Are they both racing to eight? Is the question. I don't know Josh's uh, Fargo. Because <coughs> if they were racing to seven and eight, then Josh might have won. It might have been Hill Hill. Let's see. What's Josh's last name? I keep spacing. Uh, Johnson, isn't it? It is Johnson. I think it's Johnson. Is it Johnson? Oh, I don't remember now. 
tell you. I think it's Joshua Johnson. Yeah, Johnson, Johnson. Okay. And he is from... Yeah, yeah. He's a 529. Dude, he went to six. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. You you reminded me because Desiree talked about him being the only six in the last 32. Oh, wait. So he could have won. It was Hill Hill. I wonder who won then. It's always confusing when they do the whole race to your own. I know it makes sense, but racing to your own. Oh, oh someone's, a... someone's happy. Might be a little congratulations there. Might be final eight on the winner's side. 529 Fargo. Check Facebook and Adrian Adrian sure doesn't look thrilled practicing a shot over and over and over yeah. and over and over again. So we might be able to sweat some Chong Vang versus Melissa Helen action right here. Which, by the way, five to four, dead even right here. Yo, what's up, Todd Minabi? What's going on, buddy? Go on, Todd. Oh, Alan's in the chat too, and Kenny. Hey, Alan B. Yeah. We got to figure out our Central Valley versus Sacramento match one of these days. Yeah. So figure that out when things are a little less crazy for everyone. What's big for you, Colin Stan? What's apart from Friday night, uh, Friday night fights? Like what's um, do you have any big tournaments you've got streaming, uh, plan to stream? Uh, just, I'm, I'm going to every event for the West Coast Tour. That and, like, anything big, like the last one you had? Uh, the no. The one, sorry, I don't know. No, no, one. uh, how do you say this? That's a conversation I'm willing to have off mic. Because <laughs> sure, I, because it's more opinions and there's no... There's no people that uh, that I have anything lined up with, got if it. that makes sense. Well, I mean, at least you've got this. In there. I have goals. We'll put it that way. <laughs> love it. I love it. Yeah. Back. Holy oh, crap! He scratched. He scratched. No way! What? Did he play that? There's no way. Did, did, can we go? Can we? Yeah, see I can. I can rewatch it. Yeah. Can we see if they lined it up? There's no way. Sorry, I didn't. No, it's okay. Well, anyway, while you putting that up, I will say something. So for. Well, was, well, hold on. Is this the conversation we were having off mic? We were muted. Oh, we were. Yeah, we were muted. Yeah. No, I was just going to talk about the style of like the, the, the style of commenting. It's nothing bad about. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, go on. Are we unmuted anyway? No, no, it's okay. We're un it's okay to be unmuted. It, it, what you're saying is cool. No, yeah. so what I'm saying is is that... Okay, so for me, you know me. I come from the snooker background, right? And the, you know what else they do in the... So you go to the arena, and you can pay like five, ten dollars for example, and it comes with a little, little earpiece. So the people in the crowd, because it's complete silence in there, yep. they want a commentator's perspective. Yep. So they have a little earpiece, and you see it, like if you're ever watching Snoop on TV, and yep. they hear like, you know, the commentators talking about like what the approach of the shot would be and stuff like that. Yep, but, yep. but obviously in the arena, you can't hear it. 
right? So little things like that. But like, honestly, when I'm sat at home, like working away or whatever, like for me, I enjoy like the more social aspect too, right? Sure. Especially when, especially like for me, like, I, I, again, I'm speaking on behalf of myself. I'm like, you know, if I'm working, I don't mind a little bit of music in the background, whatever. Like, sure, you know? sure, sure, sure. So I like what you're doing in terms of the background music. Sure. And music. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is kind of like my thought process behind it, though, is that uh, for the long term, long form grind of really wanting to follow a whole tournament, for the pool player, for the avid player, especially the younger generation, I think that they'll respond more to this type <coughs> this type of coverage, right? For the long form thing. Now, the other type of coverage is without a doubt, in my opinion, objectively better if you want to sit down and watch, you know, a couple matches of a pro event or yeah. like, or if you want to sit down and watch the semifinals and finals of a pro event, the other way must be done. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But for watching a tournament like this or like a regional event, like a large regional event where you want to like, maybe watch more than just one match and not be bored out of your mind because it's so repetitive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, I just, this is this is my goal with it. So anyway. No, no, I, I, yeah. I respect that. And, and, and again, not bashing other streams, but like the amount of streams that, I know people are obviously building progress and stuff like uh -huh, that too, uh -huh. but like you'll tune into other streams like you don't know what the game score is or you know, like, sure. you know, like you can't ask the you know, commentators any questions and stuff like that. Again, sure, 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 you know, sure. it's different. This generation is a different style, right? Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So. But for me, I, I enjoy like, and plus you can rewind as well. Like if you want of to course, rewind, yeah. you want to pause it, stuff like that. So you can't, because times have changed, unfortunately. You know what I mean? Yeah, we don't have yeah. it on ESPN anymore. So. Right, exactly. Here's that shot, by the way. He did not measure it. Look, he just, I think he just tried she to misses, it. she misses or, or plays the safe, sorry. And then he just walks up, two strokes it, yoink, puts it in the hole. And I can't believe it's And scratched. scratches. And you know what's crazy? If it had not scratched, he probably would have had shape on the three. It would've probably, around. would have been close, yeah. Or at least had a look, right? Yeah. All right, is let's Angelo, get back to. Is Angelo still in? Somebody asked. I think. So. I believe well, so. Yeah. Playing, I think I'm playing the winner of that match. I think he's out front. Ooh, sorry. Keep forgetting to change the transition. There we go. It's changed now, so it won't take ten seconds every time. Let's look out front real briefly here uh, and see what's going on out there. Jeremy Long still four to three in that match. <coughs> and I think your opponent was playing over here for your yeah, future oppo here, opponent yeah. with a joke um, yeah so I played on that table Vilmos played next to me oh uh, chat saying you're a little too far from the mic oh they can't really sorry guys yeah, okay. yeah go on yeah so I won my match Vilmos was playing Oscar Lopez next to me that was a good battle um, but yeah that was the table I was playing on I think they just started that. And that's another thing too, guys, as well, just as a shout out for like the tournament as well and all the work they're doing. So on the second day, they have a, a single chance tournament, right? So second, we, we, so, second chance, yeah. So second chance, sorry, I should say. Yeah. But um, it's really, it's a, and it's a restricted to sixes and sevens, which is really nice. Um, which are in theory, I mean, for all intents and purposes, the dead money in the other tournament. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. they can win because of the, the handicap, and they, you know, someone can catch a gear and play good in in the right moments and, and make it into the money and potentially deep into the money, as we're seeing with Joshua Johnson, yeah, exactly. right? He's a six, so yeah. Yeah, he's, anything can happen, you know. So. Um, but in theory, they are uh, technically in the long run the dead money, and so it's nice to have a second chance tournament with a thousand added yeah. that only those players play in. Exactly. Yeah. And actually, when the Mets started uh, Collins like the first year, which is like, what, 10 years ago now? Yeah. Uh, there was no second chance. So there'd be people that, um, I don't know if they even tuned in, probably not, but there was two players that would continuously drive from Oregon to all the Mets stops. They would drive 10 or 12 hours. Wow. And they were both, well, Chris was eventually became an eight, but Collins, uh, Cole was a seven. There was no six back in the day. Ah. And you would drive, and you'd come out, and obviously you'd stay with your friend and such. But if you got Good knocked shot. out, nice shot, Melissa. That is a great shot. Um, if you got knocked out, you didn't have anything to do the following day, right? You couldn't right. play because all the tables were taken by uh, the main tournament. Right. But now they've opened it up where people come with their friends if they're sixes and sevens. They know they've got a tournament if they don't make it to the next day, which is really right. nice. Right. Um, 
something to do, and a limited, little bit, way okay. to compete, and Exit. it becomes a little bit more level playing field. Is the handicap still exist in the second chance? Do you know? Yes, it's just yeah. sixes and sevens. So yeah. they either race yeah, to yeah. six or seven, I believe. That's Got what it. my friends were saying. Yeah, got to get a rail here. Not hard enough to get safe, though. I wonder if uh, he can I'm, see it to make it. He can, yeah. I'm almost so I would just whip certain. it top right. Oh, maybe not. No, I'm actually looking down the barrel of the shot right now. I think he from can. the booth, I can see it through the window. I don't think he can see the ball. Isn't that crazy? Because on the camera, it looks like you can make it. See yeah, that? it's really close. Well, if I, if he could, I would just whip it top right and get the he behind the four. It. He can make it. He yeah, got you got to get behind the four it. and then push the four behind the five. Yeah, I don't know about that shot because now you're stuck, right? So yeah, was he trying to? Well, he's a good one pocket player, isn't he? So maybe I don't know if he'll try and flank it past the six. I don't even know if that's possible. Or I hit it thin and put the cue ball behind the six, maybe? Yeah, I don't like that shot because it's an eat. Well, unless he's he covered the angle, but it's... you know, By playing that shot, Donald's right, like it's very risky because you push the five out, but you also give the opportunity for Melissa to just roll it behind the five. You think she can roll the cue ball behind no, the five? No, but what I'm saying is the shot he selected. Yeah. If you don't play it... like. Like he, I mean, he's okay now because he pushed the four close to the five. But you're Most saying the if the four, if the four pokes out to here, yeah, or even or to the even right more, here, yeah. yeah, you're in trouble. Yeah. So I mean, she might try and play it behind. She the could eight. probably yeah thin the ball and come down this. Just way. gotta watch the scratch. See this is see look, see what I'm oh, saying. Oh okay, I see. Yeah yeah. So yeah, 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 you yeah. immediately give that shot back up. If he had played the three with top right, and come up to the table, a little bit north of where you flag, then just push the four behind the five, and she was in trouble. Everything was over. Oh, it might. oh, it's going to come back rebate. and hit it. Get the rebate. And the rail. Let's no. go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he just followed right down the street. Yeah. That's funny. That it's funny. like a backwards apology. That's awesome. Yeah, she's kind of chuckling too. Yeah, dude. What are the chances of that? Wow. And missing the bottom right And corner. not uh, not a dead sellout either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what to do here, honestly, if I was her. Um, Yo, what's up, Frowny the Game Cat? I love the username. Frowny the Game Cat. I know. <laughs> Love it. What would, uh. I mean, I would just thin it and play the cue ball behind the nine. I don't like she this can way. She can make the ball. No way. That's what she's looking at, isn't it, she? I mean, she's looking at. There's no way you can cut that to the. I mean, you gotta play the cue ball behind the nine, right? Uh. Put the four in front of the five so he can't make it. Yeah, she was gesturing like she wanted to go after it. Oh, she went for the nine. Oh, it's safe. Look at this. Perfect shot. Dude, there's been some unique shots in this match, right? Like some yeah. funny shots. I said, yeah, I think he did, Scott Mosley. I'm pretty sure he couldn't see the ball straight up, so he, he oh, made the three it. rail first. Uh, Melissa Helen is currently... She's like a 650, I believe, or 660. She, I think she was like... 654. Top... Yeah. She's a really good player. Wait a second. Wait a second. Both she and Chong Vang. Oh, are, Zach Fargo's? She's 6'5'4", he's 6'5'2", which is really interesting because they're both 8s, but they're both 8s that could give a 6'50 a game. You know what crazy I mean? crazy how it's crazy, isn't it? So they're right at the bottom threshold, right? Both of them within a couple of points. And then the games end up hill a hill and you're like, what are the chances? Yeah, exactly. Well, out of all of the matchups, these are the matchups that go hill hill the most. Yeah. So, Adrian's still sitting in that chair over there, hasn't moved. Do we have a new match here? Yet? No, we don't. That's the thing about this portion of the tournament is you can't really move forward until a bunch of matches finish, and she doesn't make the five. Where's the cue ball going? Not far enough. Aton Mizrahi. <laughs> Eitan Mizrahi just uh, lost to Carl Wilson with a score of 8-2. to two. He's had a good tournament, too. He, I think he beat... Did he beat Ernesto, too? He must have. He's on the winner's side, right? Yeah. Paul Martinez, Jeremy Long is, is uh, going quite slow right now, guys. Well, he started a little bit late, I think, to be honest with you. Because I remember I was mid, like a few games into my game already. And then they walked over and started the match. So I don't know what happened, but. Holy what shot. shot. What a shot. Just. She was like, it. Melissa, and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she was like, 
Was she, was she like top five in the world at one at point? At one point, I think yeah. she was, yeah. I guess I might be up soon too, so if you hear my name, let me know. I can't barely hear it. But. Yeah, I might miss it too. <laughs> so, Desiree's like, you might be up soon. I was like, well, I'm going to go help Collins. Let me know. She's like, all right. There you go. So, she should let me know. A little bit straight here. That's perfect. I was on this table last night, I think. At like one in the morning or something. Seven? The stream table. Oh, oh. this is seven? Sorry, I thought I was at the, stream, the main stream table right here. Oh, this is the stream table. Yeah, I was playing Ernesto last night, like probably like one in the morning. Oh, on table four? Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I, I stopped streaming like right before 11 o'clock. So what's the score here now, Collins? It looks like... Uh, Must be close now. I think it's 6-6, six, six, dude. So they're racing... Cause it's, it's, it doesn't matter. Racing to eight either way, right? Yeah. No, but when I'm, they're racing to the same score either way. Yeah, but sometimes what I'm saying is it's some like they add a bead. They add a bead, yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't. It doesn't well, necessarily matter because you'll see the. Uh, unless they're racing to nine, with the bead. Right, but then they'll get to eight and they'll just play another game. Oh, I see. So you're saying yeah. by eight, you'll know. Okay, yeah. 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 Six to six. Interesting match here. It's funny because every time I see Chong break, because we're not the biggest guys, right? And, yeah. You know, and it's like got a lot of power in his Q action, dude. a lot of yeah. power. But he's super compact the way he moves the Q yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm normally the guy that roots for the uh, the homeboys, you know, everyone that's from home town. But you want Melissa to win this? I, I want Melissa to win this because she's, you know, she travels to come up here. She's, uh, I don't know, she's a lot of fun. Not, not that I have anything against Chong, but. Uh, I just think it'd be cool to see Melissa go deep and, and actually score some cash. She's deep right now. We're all deep. Right? Well, I mean, a decent amount of cash, deep, yeah, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I got you. I don't think she went far enough. No. Well, what's great, I was talking to her before the start of the tournament because I've not seen her in a long time, right? And I was talking to her about the fact that... Like, I was uh, talking about the fact that, you know, we barely... You know, the, the, the beauty about the men's tour was, like, you know, like these conversations we and you have, but everyone got along. Like it was yeah. never really, I mean, I was obviously one off and stuff like that, but like sure, it was sure. super that chill. Happen, that's why yeah. a lot of people come out to this. We had like 140 players, right? Right. And it could have been a lot more too. I know a lot of people that were trying to come and couldn't All make right. it. Right. Oh, she's talking about second chance. Second okay. chance, yeah. Uh, right now, you have to buy and are waiting for a match. Well, shot. Well, this is in a bit of a spot here. It's kind of tough to get real safe here, reliably, even if yeah. you can see the two. No, she can kick it, I think, back. I think. Yeah, but She's the way the there. balls are laying, it's, like, easy to hit traffic and, like, leave it out in the open or, like, uh... But can she pass the seven to bank the two off the table? See, I would be... Yeah, but even if you can, it's still tough to... to unless you can see the right side of the two. She's trying to kick it behind it. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, the middle of the table. Yeah. I mean, she could have hit it thin and played the cue ball behind the seven, but you also set up. Yeah. I love Chong, dude. He just gets down. He just no, like, no fear. Just, like, just like, gets on with it. Oh, going the after the nine. Look what happens here. Nothing. She has an out now. Yeah, she's just got to make a stun shot, and things are looking really nice. What cue is she playing with? I don't know. What was the question? What cue does Melissa play with? Not sure, actually. Yeah, we can ask her later on. Oh, so sorry. What I was saying about Melissa was there was a big female tournament in LA, I guess. And I asked her why didn't she want to come. She's like, because of this tour specifically, I traveled even further to come up here just to play, to see, like, you know, play in this tournament. Right. And play with some of the people and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah there was. A, yeah, that's right. There was a women's tournament down there. Going on right now. Oh, they still can't hear you, Sargon. I've got you. I've got you turned way up too. I got a mic literally in my nostril. Is it me talking? It needs to. It needs to be like this. Look, like this. Oh shoot! Yeah, okay, yeah that yeah, is yeah. really close. Okay, yeah. is that better? Yeah. Okay. You gotta like eat the mic. Whoever sat. Whoever's announcing sounds. Sounds like they're an airline stewardess. Soothing, calm voice. <laughs> Should I use my? Shall we use my really elegant voice? You ready for this? Oh, no. 
I don't think I'm ready. Right now, Chong is on the floor, looking at an option to bank the ball <laughs> into the following corner. Dude, dude, it that kills me that like, like actual commentators, they don't talk like people. Yeah. They they have like a specific way of saying everything that they say, right? And it like it, it almost uh, repeats. Like uh, Melissa Helen down on the four ball. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like <laughs> made a fantastic shot. It kills me, dude. It's like just be a person. That's why people like Jeremy Jones. I'm convinced is because he talks the way that he actually talks. Yeah, he talks very smooth. Yeah. He talks very clear, too. Yeah. Dude, I thought Jerome was talking about me. He's talking about uh, Desiree announcing the matches. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Come on, uh, Jerome. Why you got to do me like that? <laughs> you were, like, giving me some positive vibes about my voice, but no. No. Desiree does have a good voice, to be fair. She's a good tournament actor. She doesn't. Immediately takes it back. How many viewers yeah, do you the, have right now? The, uh, like, between Facebook and YouTube, like, 300. The, the rule of thumb, by the way. Okay. For mics is is always Le less than a fist from your face. Okay. Less than a fist. Okay. Yeah. Is that better? Yep. I feel like I'm like no accidentally like you know. But that's chewing how you on get, the mic. That's how you get the warmest sound. Okay. And the, and the, like otherwise you like from back here it sounds like really tinny and you can hear all like the uh, reverberations in the room and stuff. But this is how it sounds like if you have it this close, it sounds like. To the people at home, it sounds like you're sitting right next to them. Got it. Got yeah. it. Got it. Okay. Got it. Yeah. So like when I'm in a Zoom meeting, like, Zogan, we can't hear you. It's yeah, like, exactly. Come closer to the mic. Exactly. Anyway, let's get back to the match. So this eight what's is, the score here this again? This eight is not dead. It's six to six. Well, the same game. Okay. So I don't think that this is throwable. I think there's a little gap between the six and the eight. Yeah, there's about a, a chalk's width. Oh, it was oh, throwable. Oh, the eight went. It was wow, throwable. Beautiful. Nice uh, shot. They six banked a little bit. Guys, by the way, we don't know that. We, I mean, we don't have the score and everything up for this one because this is not the stream table. So we yeah. switched the camera just if people are wondering. Kind of in but, between matches. So, yeah. I mean, I would still go for this. She's gonna go for it. I'm calling it. You can go to the short side at the seven. Yeah, just go back and forth. Yeah. Oh, she went safe. That's a good shot too. See, mm, no, see, easy, easy bank. Yeah, just down the line. Actually, that black line, you bank in the six up that line. You can also oh, it, send the cue ball behind the nine real easy. Real easy here. Yeah, that's He's just splitting it. Yeah, Trying but I don't like that shot because if you short like that... You leave the world. Oh, it's dangerous. The other thing is because it's a little bit off the cushion, it's a little bit tricky to um, hold the cue ball, right? But I would be aiming to bank the six where that chalk is just in case you slip away from the nine. Let's see what she does. See, she, I mean, see, that's the good thing about it, right? I mean, either way, she didn't get sure. the shot. Sure. But like the six is safe. That's key. That was interesting. Was she really close to the rail or something? Yeah, she was a little. I mean, she could have held it, but it was I would awkward have, I would queuing. Have, I would have taken yeah priority on the cue ball, but if it wasn't if it wasn't comfortable, then I can. Yeah, you're better off taking priority in the six in that case, right? Because look at what I happened. See. If you, I mean, imagine if you took priority in the cue ball and completely fluffed it. So here's a similar situation, right? She's a little bit off the cushion. Yeah. So you got two options here. Either one, you just bank it. I like with his, I like sending the six, like sending the cue ball right at the seven. And then the, the problem six. is with that if it if it if it cannons the seven, you're leaving the six. She might uh, just bank it by the bottom diamond. Watch, and don't worry about the cue ball. See, oh, she hit it perfectly. That's a good shot too. I didn't even yeah. see that. That's a good shot. Yeah, but the thing is, Sargon, is I never mess up. You never. No, I don't. I've never <laughs> messed up. That's messed up. <laughs> oh, uh, Chong is messed, messed up. up. He was, no, I don't think kidding. he was trying to hit it thin. He was trying to hit it behind it, right? Uh, he was trying to hit behind the maybe, six. Maybe, yeah, 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 yeah. Behind yeah. the six and bank it. Yeah. This is a chance. Here we go. A real chance to uh, either get on the hill or one from the hill, depending on how they're scoring. I'm imagining, I would imagine that because they're going to the same race, they didn't add any beads. So I'd imagine. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I'd imagine that they're going, that this is to get on the hill. Oh, it's a bit short. No, that's okay. It's real nice. I would hit it with a little bit of bottom right. Just miss the middle pocket. And then just... Big Queen, you like that? There's a Batman reference that I missed or something. Uh, it just yeah, went there over was my a head. Bit of a... 
let's put it like this. There was a bit of a Batman <laughs> reference. <laughs> so you want to know interesting facts? Oh, Ooh. man. That, that's, See, that was that's just a bit the of, kind of That's the kind of mistake, though, where honestly, in this spot, you yeah. kind of deserve to lose the set now. Oh, yeah. And I it sucks, it but that's the kind of mistake that... Uh, yeah, you just really can't afford. Well, it. the thing is, too, she was a little bit too far to the left. In a situation like Hill Hill, you want to get your slow hands the cue ball down a little bit, yeah. so she hit the ball thick, and it's it's like, yeah, I get it. I, I can like coming from a player's perspective, is I completely it? understand it. No, he's okay. on the hill. Okay, so he's, he's on the hill now. Okay. Yeah. So you want to know an interesting fact about Batman while they're ranking up? Let's hear it. So lay it on me. You're gonna love this. Okay. You like Batman, right? Sure. Why not? You don't like Batman? I mean, he's, he's a great guy. Okay, so you know the film. I don't know which Batman it is, but you know the film with Bane? Mm hmm. So you know Bruce Dark Wayne's. Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, you know Bruce Wayne Manor? Yeah. It's filmed in my hometown. It's wow. called. Yeah, in England. It's in Nottingham. And the place is called Wallerton Park. And they closed it off. And he was there filming there. Like, you know you know the burial scene at the end? You know, like the thing, like the scene with like the coffin and stuff like that? Yeah. It's just, uh, you know, maybe I killed it for some people. But anyway, you know the scene well, at the end? Well, if they haven't seen it by now. You know what I mean, right? Where them. they say, like, they buried Bruce Wayne and there's, like, some yeah. coffins in that yeah, one yeah, yeah. house that he pulls up to. That's yeah. in my hometown. It's five minutes from where I live. It's called Wollerton Park. You can Google it. Nice. Interesting fact for you. Yeah. There you go. Anyway, I thought you were a big Batman fan since you've got this Batman meme going on. Oh, around, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just a joke because it's one of the one of the impressions that... You do. The Christian Bale one. I Yeah. You do, you do, you do. You just have to act like... You're really out of breath. It's pretty good, actually. <laughs> Very good. So the so I mean, four to this, four to the five. Oh, she. She tried to miss it again. The same oh, way, same side of the pocket, anyway. Yeah, if you Google it, it's called Wollerton Park, and uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. That's in my hometown. Nice. But anyway, back to the match. So she's gonna pull the three back a little bit. Shot four to the corner. I'm looking around if, if, as if I was to try and run out. Five, six to the seven might be tricky. The eight's going to be a problem. No, I shoot the eight up table, right? I mean, the seven's right there. Right? No, but I'm saying if you're, oh my days, oh, that's a little bit. This is not good. Yeah. No, but I'm saying like since the seven is right here, right? Yeah, you could do it's that. It's real close table. to the eight, so it's easy to judge speed to get to here to play yeah. up table. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. That's a good shot under the circumstance pretty, there. Pretty nice. She might have a bit of angle. Oh, it might be too much angle. Hmm. Yeah. If there's know. no scratch here, you you just roll it in. She might rip it around. She might rip it around three rails. Oh, it's gonna hit the. It's going in. Oh yeah, that's a tough shot. What I was thinking for the seven when you were talking about the seven was playing actually on the rail, the cue ball on the rail where the seven is, where you can screw it back and play the eight into the bottom Oof. left corner. Yeah. But you have to be perfect. For yeah, I think that's six. a little too difficult. Because because you can end up anywhere on the seven, you can end up anywhere here. Yeah, yeah. And like really, maybe even out to here, and still be able to get the cue ball somewhere in this region. Oh. Yeah, no, I got you. I would go for this. Of course, yeah. Top left, whip it around, and you actually yeah, end up balls. where we were talking about yeah, for dead, the seven. Dead perfect, and even yeah. if you overrun it, you come out to here with an angle that you can work with. Well, the thing is, if you make the seven don't have shape on the eight, it's easy safety. You just kick it yeah. behind the nine anyway, well, right? Well, the, the eight nine might go too if you get dead straight in on the seven. Yeah, that's true. Oh, he played it no top left. He just played the center ball. That's why. I mean, I would just hit this thin and put the cue ball by the... Try to play speed where the seven pops out to here. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Oh, he's left it. Yeah. See, the shot is here. Just make it and just play, like you said, to the top corner or safe. Dude, no, actually, this... this uh. I mean, it depends Are on you how trying much to make it open. Is, it? But like this, this lay is not bad. I know, but dude, it's not. It's not straight. It's off straight. You have to force the angle. I would prefer to play to the shoot tape. the eight up, ta yeah, up table. Oh, yeah, yeah, or just easy safe. It's just easy safe. Just gotta get the hand on the table. Yeah. All right. So I mean, see, it's a little bit. If if she rolled up a bit more, he was tucked behind the nine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now it's like you've got to go for it. Because um, if you try to hold it, the eight's gonna come back. I bet you she's. Easy. She's going to drill it. I'm calling she's, it now. She's going to drill it. She's punching this. Look at her. Elevating to, to just below center. 
Drilled it. Drilled it. There you go. What a shot. You caught it. You caught it from the very beginning. Play eight in the corner and you were right. Easy peasy. Nice out. This hill, should hill. be Hill Hill. I believe this is Hill Hill. Yeah. I know we talked about it earlier too as well, but just for the people that have just tuned in, it's they're both pretty much 650s. 650, what did we say? 654, 652 did we yep. say, Collins? They're, yeah. It isn't GG yet, guys. FY. It's, I think it's Hill Hill. Yeah. Well, it's... they're racking, so it can't be end of game. So but That was a good out for sure. See, that just it's funny how this game works, right? Like, this would not be a situation if he just played that six with top left. Yeah. He would have got on the seven. Yep. Rolled it in, played it eight to the corner, or just played what I said this, the, or even the combo. You know what I mean? Like you yep. said. Yep. Unless it's dead, dead combo. For me, the safety is like the easiest thing. You're gonna get sure, much sure. Know. There are certain combos, though. I'm sure you know, like when the balls have just enough space between them that that throw becomes less of an issue. Oh, yeah. But you can still aim it really, really well. You know, it's like. Uh, I think that was just laying pretty good. If no, I agree. I understand. Yeah, I guess we won't know because we didn't see from that angle. Too. Sure, sure. My last game, I won hit like with a combo at the end because I go. didn't see any other shot. So I went for it and I made it and it was like an inch apart. Nice. So, and you never know what happens sometimes. Here we go. Here we go. Hill, 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 hill action. Watch, them, watch this game end and they put up another beat and go to play another one. <laughs> One ball doesn't really dress up over the side. It's makeable, though, because you're cutting across. I think it's makeable. You're I cutting you're across right. this way, so it wants to throw the one in off the point. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I think it goes. He's Where going for it. on this shot, if you're from here, obviously you're shooting it in the corner, but just for the purposes of what I'm saying, it went in, yeah. if, you're, if you're shooting that in the side from like below it like this, it makes it a lot tougher because you're cutting across it this way, and it makes it want to throw this way off the point. Yeah. Soft break allowed? No, soft break, it, I mean, it's not forbidden. You can theoretically do it, but I mean, it's it doesn't make sense with a, with a, yeah. with a nine on the spot, to be honest with you. Yeah, soft break gains r no real advantage. So, I mean, I don't see any problems here. The eight is beautiful spot to hold for the... Yeah, I don't want to touch the eight right now. If you touch the eight right now, uh, you make the rack a little tougher. Hmm... These shots are always tricky, right? Because you don't want to hook yourself behind the nine. Oh, he's playing it inside. Oh, well, you don't. Oh, he hit it perfect. Oh, it might be behind the seven. Drama. Oh. <laughs> That's the thing. That's why I said it's always tricky because you you have a chance of hooking yourself. Yeah, it wasn't soft break. Uh, noob. It wasn't. Just maybe just just a power. It just hit it on the soft seven. It wasn't a soft. Break. But look at the. Uh... Look at the way things turn out when all of a sudden the last two or three games were tightly contested and now Melissa breaks dry and Chong Vang gets a pretty reasonable run out here. Hill Hill. I believe it's Hill Hill. Probably going to see a handshake here. Yep. Yeah. Melissa, good put her, match. Hard look, Melissa. Melissa put her hands up like this. You know, she breaks dry and all of a sudden no more contest. That's the worst when you break dry hill hill and that happens. Let me see if they called my match, guys. I'll be right back, okay? Yeah. I think they might have called. They're calling some one last side matches. Let me Joey Jabron currently playing Ross Fergoso on the one last side. Interesting matchup there. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This match between Joao and Michael Glass still... Going down to the wire. All right. I'm going to do this while I whip the camera here. Let you guys sweat some Joey Jabron, Ross Fergoso. Current score here looks like 4-2. to two. Not sure who's in the lead. Come on, you order ready mode. I do not know, Scott Chandler. I, I don't know, honestly, everybody's... It's tough to keep track of equipment with so many players. 
Um, I'm going to go check on the tournament bracket and see what the update is for the upcoming match on table four. If it's going to be a while, we can watch this with a scoreboard. So I'll be right back. Just testing you guys can hear me. Colin stepped up. Okay, thank you. It looks like Collins is on his way back. I'm still getting used to with how close the mic needs to be to my mouth, but thank you for confirming. So Joey actually put me on the one loss side. We lost. I lost to him. Hill, hill. Had a few chances to beat him. Lost a few silly games, but he played really, really good. And the last game, he broke and ran. So this should be a good match, actually. I've never actually officially met Ross, but uh, you got Adrian Prasad, Jason Mel. Should be a good match. Interesting. Both going to eight. Adrian's so funny. Look Why at this guy. He's just such a character, dude. He's like... <laughs> so, <laughs> so I walked past him just now. This literally happened two minutes ago. And I don't know, maybe... This is, this is Adrian, right? You're talking about? Oh, sorry. I thought you were calling my match. No, no. I was just, yeah, just as I was walking to the... Uh, to, to just check when my next match is and all that stuff too. He's like, we're losers now, huh? I was like, dude... <laughs> he is funny, huh? <laughs> Losers can eventually be winners. Don't worry about that. He's like, okay, I like that. He's just a funny kid. Yeah, he is funny. <coughs> I, keep, I keep muting the mic or trying to mute the mic when you do that. So I'll no let you know when I'm doing it. Sorry, no bro. worries. I actually don't know Jason Melm. Good player. Seven fifty nine. He's got to be right. Uh, so. He's not. A, he's not seven fifty. Oh. Uh, they're both going eight. Jason Melm. For sure. Where's he from? A local guy. No problem, Shannon getting paid for it actually well, I haven't figured out the cons commentating co consultant fee yet but yeah 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 but it's it's in work it's, it's in progress it's substantial it's substantial I'll tell you that. You know, it is you know. definitely substantial <laughs> uh, let me get the Fargo's in here Adrian's gonna be pushing 680 gotta be so Joey's so we're switching from Joey's gay mark um, back to the stream table 686, the kid. <coughs> 
Sorry, guys. I was telling Connors this yesterday, just FYI, I'm not sick. I had this, I'm sure some of the people in the stream have had it. I had like a flu, like three, four weeks ago. And this cough has been with me for like a month. And yep. it's actually the best it's been right now. It's brutal. So hopefully no one's going through it in the stream too, but yeah. And that's separate from allergies, right? So, yeah. So, so you um, didn't get sick in Vegas, but Mike did. Correct. So that's what I'm saying is I think that the thing that I had uh, two months ago, three months ago was what you had three weeks ago or whatever it is. And then I think he got the same thing when I was in Vegas. Funny enough, I got it from a pool hall. Not this pool hall. I got it from a different pool hall, actually. Yeah. I think it spread around pool halls. He looks familiar. Is he from Sacramento? This yes. Day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plays in all the leagues out here. Shoots good. He's a real good player. <laughs> What's up, Chris? Did he miscue that or was he trying to kick it? <coughs> this mic behind is not on, right? Collins, the mic uh, behind us? Of course, oh, it is. of course it's on. No, but I mean you've muted the mic, right? No, I guess. no. Oh, so if I'm, I'm turning around up. coughing into that, that mic's picking it up? Yep. I guess I'm trapped. All right, right. I'll just cough into this mic then. Yeah, it may as well. <laughs> Or didn't it? I was testing the Lucasi cues yesterday. Yeah, what are your thoughts? I like it. I didn't miss one long ball and I was screwing it the length of the table. But I wow. tried so Um My thing is is you know, center ball I'm okay, right? When I start point inside and stuff like that, I struggle a little bit. Mm-hmm. You want seat Mike or He likes the back seat. Let me move my seat. Actually, funny timing. I was talking about the Lucasi Q. Yeah, I was just testing that out yesterday. Oh, the Infusia. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I was not missing a ball. But for me, it's like a lot of the inside issue, right? Like when I start putting inside and stuff. But, but long wise, long just the reaction I got from the cue ball was unreal. Like, but my dilemma is, is whether to go the one that you were playing with, the twelve. Yeah, I like or, twelve and a half better. I I was only playing with the twelve because it was already on the key whenever I first okay grabbed it. But twelve and a half, I liked a little better. So. Oh. I don't know if I've shown you this. I don't know if he's even seen it. So I was actually planning on playing snooker with, there's some few snooker clubs in Sacramento now. And these guys I played in these tournaments recently are from here, Afghani guys. And um, my snooker queue is actually in the office. Um, it's an 8.75 tip. Cool. <laughs> if I show it to you, it's a brass ferrule. Yeah. 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 Wow. But it's literally Ashwood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. got so many dinks on it. It's warped. It's got dinks and everything, right? Like it's like oh, it's like 25 years old. Perfect. Older. It might make me but shoot you just, straight then. You just play unbelievable. I'm just used to it. I know where the dinks are. Do you believe that? So like yeah. and the thing is with pool snooker, the butt has a flat part on it. So I know where exactly yeah. that flat part hits on my palm of my hand every time. Yeah. So right. that pool doesn't have that, right? It's all rounded at the bottom, right. which is probably a good thing cuz then it doesn't mess up the tip, right? Like if you're holding the same spot every time. Sure. Anyway, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm ranting on about other things. We'll go back to the match, but that's okay. That's what we do here. Love it. Might dance off to this beat or something, you know? Like this is like, yeah, so you should get that shaft though, like pretty no. soon, next uh, couple months. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Thank you for that too. It's funny because yeah. I ne you know, it's funny when people win a raffle. They say I never win anything in a raffle. Yeah, yeah. I never win anything. Nice raffle. man. So yeah, uh, me either. And somebody messaged yeah. me your video of announcing the winner. And I was like, oh, what the heck? I won. Yeah, we announced it, I think, right the first couple days at Griff's. I was yeah, like, yeah, I, I, had like a, I had like a oh, long... Oh, that's right. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had like a long checklist of things to do. And one of them was giving away one of Oscar's new infused shafts. And I think probably for the Super, Super Billiards Expo, we'll probably do some more social media stuff on his page to give away another one or so. Yeah, so yeah. It was, it's, um, go give I liked it, a follow. it. I hit it with some yesterday. And it's funny, too, because I've been asking Oscar for it. So I got... A, just a regular basic pool cue that I've had for since the Mez actually. I borrowed a friend's cue for the original. Me. Do you mind? Do you mind sliding down a little bit so I can reach? Yeah, yeah. All this right here. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Don't want to like do this. With my elbow. No, no. You're good. Is this good? Yeah. Or do you want me to come more? No, no. It's perfect. It's perfect. Okay. 
Um, what are you, you playing with now? So I'm playing with a McDermott, and the only reason I got it, to be honest with you, is because it was the 11.75 tip. That's the only reason I got it. Because I just wanted something similar diameter to my snooker cube. That was the only reason. Well, it's still like three three off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's like, I should yeah. to rephrase it. I'm saying yeah. it was the closest. Right. You know? Relative to pool. Relative to, yeah, yeah. 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 And so, um, but then Oscar and stuff like were telling me like, dude, you know, try this cube, try that cube. And for the longest time, I've just been like, you know, just busy, like not just playing with my cue and stuff like that. And I feel like especially long draws and like a lot of inside shots, it's really actually negatively impacting my game, this cue. Uh, just because like I want something with like, you know, maybe carbon fiber or something in it. And I was talking to Oliver too and his adjustment because he's from a snooker background. Right. And he's like, it's, he's like, I had no issue going to the carbon fiber like that. So, but then I hit some balls last night. I really like it. But the dilemma now is, is that do I go 12 or 12.5? Oscar saying 12.5. You're saying 12.5. I think I'm just going to go 12.5 and just deal with the adjustment. And then, but it's been long overdue. So I'm going to buy the butt and all that stuff too. Once, once I figure that out as well, no, dig no digital pool bracket guys. Are they yeah. going to report the, the matches eventually? to yes. digital pool? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure because somebody was asking me that was trying to build their robustness. And I was like, I don't know, to be honest with you. Yeah. So. I think they're going to go back and uh, retroactively input all the scores. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. But yeah, I think it's different though. Like for, because Growing up playing pool, we're just used to, you know, starting at 13 and then working our way down, typically, right? Because, like, yeah. old school, you know, it's like 13 millimeter. And so coming from a snooker background, you know, I, I, I could see just staying at least as close to the range as you can while still staying within your comfort zone. But then yeah. also, like, you're still playing pool versus snooker, so. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, too, to be honest with you, I'm not playing that much snooker, actually. Actually, funny enough, this place here, this Embassy Billiards place, it's like, like, uh, I play snooker there, but it's like in San Gabriel, so it's far for me. It's a really cool place too. You guys should check that out. Actually, it's how uh, far is that from here? Uh, it's in it's in LA area. Whenever you okay. guys are in, like just let me know. They so they have the best pool food, like like because it's a, they have a a, a a restaurant next door. Nice. So they have like you know like fantastic fantastic food, and they, you can bring that food in as well. And then but they have. 11 snooker tables and they have four Chinese snooker tables and then gold crowns. Chinese eight ball, huh? Chinese eight ball, eight ball yeah, yeah. It's really it's really big in that over there too. So, um, yeah, we went to like uh, Ox Billiards in Seattle, I think, and they have, I think, a couple of Chinese eight ball tables and then um, a snooker table, at least yeah. one. I, I want to go. Sorry, go ahead. No, I was saying it was a lot of fun. I really enjoy snooker. And, you know, back um, like here in the States, Usually, the only time I'll get to play any kind of snooker is on an American. Look at this dry break. Yeah. So Look at this dry like break. Bummer. 10 footer. Yeah, yeah. It's and That's the thing, too. There's not many snooker tables around it. Or people say, like, for example, Mike, they'll say, like, oh, it's a snooker table, and you go there, and it's like a 10 foot gold crown, right? right. Like, it's not yeah, like. Yeah. A, you've seen it now, like in Seattle, right? You, right. You've seen, like, how these snooker balls and snooker tables are. A true. Yeah, yeah, yeah a true yeah. snooker yeah. table, too. This yeah. is interesting that he went for this side of the two instead of just playing, like, to get straight. The nine's right there. Okay, so it looks like my match is called, so I do actually have to step away. Yeah. But I was trying to think of the same situation. Why would he... I mean, he could soft roll it, play the three to the left center, right? Mm, maybe a little, not. A little bit inside? Just spear the bank. Let's go. No, he's going to no. cut it. He's going to cut it. Yeah, I like the shot. Better. Spear the bank. Need some help Just, here. Man, should have shot the bank. Look what happened. <laughs> now he's in trouble. Uh, Watch him jump and carry him the nine. Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah. i got to watch this now. You caught that. i got to watch it. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. I'll go over there right now. I don't even know who I'm playing. Uh, it, it was uh, the winner of Angelo's match, I guess. No, too much draw. It's all right, though. That's okay. That'll work. Uh, Mike, I'm actually, if Sargon's stepping out, I'm going to leave you alone for a second. got to order some food. I haven't eaten yet today. Okay, I will be back, and Collins, I'll help you out, too, because my friends are playing a... And obviously, if whatever happens in the tournament, I'll be back anyway. So, right all right, right, take care, guys. Bye, guys. Yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. We'll get you hooked up. I think they're here for you. I'm coming. All right, Captain. 
Adrian Prasad losing this last match to was it Johnson or Joshua Johnson. Joshua Johnson, yeah. He came up to me afterwards and he says, I'm the last six left in the tournament. He was just smiling ear to ear. He says he's loved the event so far and he'll continue to play it. He's been playing since the Mez day. So it's good to see all this positive feedback that we've been getting so far. I think a few little minor tweaks here and there, but all in all, it's great to have the support of, of all these players from around. I met a guy from Alaska earlier and and um, just people from all over California. It's been it's been really cool seeing some familiar faces and and uh, uh, some fresh ones. So we're gonna continue putting it on as much as we can as Adrian Prasad is trying to work through this rack and find some rhythm. You know, he was practicing during Melissa and Chong's match on the table over, and I was standing right there, and he was just saying that his uh, he wasn't staying still through the shot. So let's see if that's still an issue. Got through that one pretty well. Dealer's choice here, what you prefer, whether you're going to go on the side or go all the way down. I like playing it all the way down just because you got such a big pocket to choose from. Hold perfect with a seven in the side or draw back just a little bit. You don't want to get on the wrong side here. Yeah, good shot there. I wonder if he's a little flat on this ball. Chad says Ox has four snicker tables and one Chinese eight ball table. Yeah, I, I uh, when I went in there, it was uh, last year during the Don Weir Memorial. Jason Weir and SVB picked me up at the airport and um, we went and played snooker. So we showed up to Ox Billiards. I've never been there before. Tyler Steyer and uh, and Margaret are there giving lessons. What's up, buddy? Are you good to be here for like 15 minutes and then run up the street and go fishing? Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Uh -huh. And uh, Tyler and Margaret are giving some lessons out there at Ox on the Rassons. And then, um, uh, oh, no, no, I know what it was. So we stopped in there once. Oh, Adrian missed the, missed the eight ball. It looked like maybe he was too worried about how the nine was going to play there. Um, no, we were already in town. We went to go pick up Lori John. And so we show, we pick up Lori John from the Hall of Famer uh, at the airport. And we go stop out at Ox. Tyler and Margaret are giving lessons, and so it was me. God, there was somebody else. Who was it? Maybe it was one of the guys who worked there, or one of the owners. Let me fix this here. So Jason's gonna be maybe on. Wait a minute. Hmm. Let's do this. All right, one one. Anyway, we play uh, Scotch Double Snooker. Sophia Mast, Lori John, me, and Callie. Who was? Maybe it was Jason that I was playing with. I don't think it was, though. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. Really cool place. You walk down these stairs, and, you know, you're in the downtown. It was it was a lot, a lot of fun going out there. I really enjoyed it. Got to play some snooker. Adrian didn't waste any time. It looks like he's going to be really good here. Not a, Not a lot of work to do. Two sets up great to the three, four, five combo lays pretty well. We got some options there with the seven ball. Everything else looks to be in a pretty good spot here. Just got to make sure and pick it apart. Try to fade the traffic. Give himself a nice angle. I like that. Yeah, for sure, Chad. I, I really enjoy going out there to Ox. Like I said, it was real brief the time we got to spend there, but. Uh, um, yeah, they were all really nice people. Oh, is he going to get hooked behind the eight? He's not. I'm not in love with playing the combo like this. Just because I think you got to go back. You're, you're real worried about the cue ball. You got to go back and forth a little bit. Yeah, walking down those stairs, I was like, what, what am I getting myself into? Yeah, see, that's the problem. Is that you're just real. The angle you were at was just really funny for that combo. I think. Jason's going to elect to probably play the carom here. I think that's it, it lays pretty natural. You're just going to try to come off a little thin off the five. Um, four ball should bounce out just a hair uh, and play in the same pocket. Although the distance from the cue ball might make it a little tricky, but let's see how he likes to play it. Ooh, I got a real thick hit there. Adrian may get back to the table after all. Nice little containing safe. 
Saves like that I feel like will work with some players, but a player like Adrian Speed, you really got to make sure and limit his options. I'm not sure how much of the ball he can see. Kind of tough to tell, but tell you what, if he's got the shooting, the, the pattern angle, maybe he's going to cross the ball and come back. Not in love with the way he played it, just because it was kind of in between. It's like if I'm going for the cross bank, I'm going. If I'm playing all cue ball, then I'm making sure and I'm getting that cue ball like just away out of the traffic. Jason's going to have to come two rails here. What is up, everyone? Hopefully you guys are enjoying the action wherever you are across the country. We are here at Hard Times, Sacramento, California. The first stop of the Lukasi West Coast Tour. How good did he hit that ball? How good did he hit that ball? Now, he's gonna, I wonder if he can hold it a little bit with inside and if the seven passes the nine ball. If it didn't, then he's got some issues if it doesn't pass the nine. Maybe looking at the 7 9 combo. Guess they can get a real thick kid on this 6. You can tell the play is really tightening up. These guys are getting close to being able to get some return on their investment. Been a fun opening weekend here. Going all safe. Oh, did he leave any piece of it? And if he did, how much of it? He did not, looks like. Oh, he's going after this one rail. Or is it two? Wow, okay. I like the speed that he played it because he was trying to get that cue ball back down table. Give a ball in hand to a player like Jason. He's going to be in trouble here. I'm going to be down a game here pretty soon. We got ourselves a match two to one in favor of Jason Melm. We're going to go ahead and give that one to him. You guys are aware by now the brackets are not available online. We have a little bit of an issue with digital pool to start off with, but I think they're working on getting that corrected. The second chance tournament's already in play. 37 players for that. $1,000 added. A lot of people excited about it, so... Shannon, we appreciate it. Yeah, hit the like, hit the share button metrics are something that we use quite a bit when it comes to some of our sponsors so if you like what you're seeing out there and want to see more of it we'll continue to do it for free and we get some pretty good people getting behind us because of uh just the amount of eyes that we can get on it so any little bit we can all do to help each other goes a long way jason melm to break here up two to one race to eight this is even looks like Down. He's gonna have an opener here on the one. See how he's feeling here. You fade the side pocket as you're coming back. What is he thinking? Huh. Is he going? Is he going all safe here? Wow. Okay. I guess it was... He really didn't like it. Surprise there. Ended up pretty good with the cue ball on the rail. A 
Adrian's not wasting any time here making his decision. Yeah, I'm not in love with making that key ball go back through traffic, and Jason's for sure not going to play safe on this shot here. sizing it up man I, you know I kind of like dragging between the six and the eight myself and just coming off the side rail a little bit wow he's going all safe again what am, what am I missing here I mean I know I'm a fish but I'm shocked uh, Adrian ain't playing safe here unless he can just stick him right on the six ball but man everything's it, it ain't bad I'm I'm real surprised there. He just did not like coming over for the two ball. Wow. Adrian said he's got places to be. Comes around three rails, spears it in the corner. Cue ball off the rail. Kid's got one mode and that's go. He's got options here. Holy, you know what is right. Collins was here. He'd say, holy shot. Need your name messing around. All right, keeping it simple here. We got options. He said, and he's going to have the five ball on the side. Wiped its feet on the way in, but it found its way through the door. Oh, he's feeling good now. Feeling good now. Just wants to have, just wants to be on the good side of the seven ball to make sure he's as good on the eight as he can possibly be. He's two, he's three balls away from tying this match up. This is one lost side action at the first at the first stop of this year's Lukasi West Coast Tour. We started off the day with 32 players. By the end of it, we'll be down to one. Got through it well. Runner-up at this past year's World Junior Championships was Asian Prasad. Tying this one up at two to two. So if you guys have been watching all weekend, you guys have probably not probably you guys have seen more pull than I have because I didn't get to watch a ton yesterday outside of what was going on out there in the other room um whose game outside of like mitch because mitch i've seen outside of mitch who's y'all's pick to win this tournament just from the matches you guys have watched over the last few days i'm curious adrian makes the one but no no shot on the two ball i don't think five nine it looks like it's gonna be erased to that orange ball Interesting push. I think you can get enough of the of the two here to just try to go through it, avoid the double kiss, and just bury him here on the five nine. Yeah, you caught it just a little thick. I mean, sorry, a little thin, a little thin. I like really trying to get a nice full hit on that ball and almost just dragging that key ball down there. He's real fortunate to have the nine and five right there. Lord says Oliver. I don't know if Oliver's still in, to be honest. I know he lost to Joey. Joey's still in. I mean, he's on the table to the left. But he, Joey's on one loss side, I believe. 
Yeah, we're rooting for Savannah from over here. They wanted to come out here, did the Easton, but an opportunity to play in that $1,000 entry tournament out at Griff's. They couldn't pass it up. I don't blame them. It looks like it's paying off if she's still on the winner side. Jason playing pretty conservative, which is right what we've seen. I don't blame him on that shot. Just, uh, you know, what many options there. So looks like the two ball found the window. I wonder if Agent's going to try to clip off the left side of this too. Come around three rails, maybe even four. I was trying to put him in the mess there. One, two. He wants to hit the fourth rail. Three, and there's the fourth. Oh, he wanted to put it behind the seven ball. Now, if Jason can drag this ball, he's got a shot at making the nine, although I don't love it, but. There ain't a whole lot I like about it, to be honest with you. He's trying to right. Yeah, I think he was trying to swing at that nine ball, hit it on the wrong side. Would be my guess anyway. Not the worst outcome, but kid shoots straight, so just got to worry about putting the ball down. It's kind of hard to not have something on the three ball afterward. Ooh. Not the cleanest of. Of hits and the two ball stays up. Yeah, the you know the the level of players was different from those U.S. Open events we did out there in Vegas for here for sure. But I love the you know seeing um, seeing this range of players as well because you know there's never. There's always going to be a twist and a turn, right? So you can't just assume or take things for granted when it comes to the out or, you know, because they're human. And, um, but, yeah, it makes for a more exciting, exciting match, that's for sure. Goes for the bank. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you mean there, Lords. Yeah, it's get, about getting your expectations in check. And yeah, it's just a matter of being able to appreciate things for what they are, you know? And so um, it's good seeing, like, if you've been following the channel for a while, you've been able to see a kid like Adrian, you know, evolve over the last two years. Um, you can see Oscar's game as he transitioned from, you know, different cues, different sponsors, and just seeing um, the ebbs and flows that come with that as well. Um, and then when it comes to these type of players, you know, seeing them, you know, like if the last match Adrian lost, loses to uh, Johnston, um, you know, you see these like great stories within there that are that are great to, to be able to view. And whether that's the handicap or guys just playing really great or a combination, um, this format is always going to lend itself to it. So we've been meeting a lot of people over the last few days and a lot of a lot of. Uh, a lot of players are excited to see this this tournament come back. So, Adrian playing a bit of a containing shot there. Well, I'll tell you what, he played for a bank his last shot, and it kind of reminds me of that like SVB Sky uh, Scotch doubles match at the Moscone Cup uh, a couple years ago, where Sky you know chased the nine ball here. I don't think he's gonna do it, but. And he didn't. He didn't. And now Adrian's got a real opportunity. A little bit of, uh, I don't know if it's frustration or just trying to stay loose with Jason there. Rails out. 4-5 lay real good. 7 ball up top. So just want to make sure don't get funny on this 4 ball. I think he's absolutely perfect to hold an angle. Make sure and, and uh, uh, really hard to miss this, this 5 ball just given how it lays. I think he's waiting for the next guy over. Just pinch it out. Make sure the four hits the five real thick. Don't want to get any trouble. Okay. Well, I think you're flirting with the nine ball here a little bit. Can we draw out of 
Wow, you can. You got a really good full hit on that four ball. Hit that. Hit that. Great. Perfect on the seven ball here. Little run here for Adrian Prasad. Race to eight. He's gonna take a one-game lead. Got through it well. Good shot there from Adrian. Jason says that's good. Adrian gets one back. Alternate break format here. If you're in the area, stop on by. <clears throat> We got a lot going on from the $1,000 added second chance tournament to the final, whatever it is, final 24-ish players that we got left in the main event. $4,000 added. The room is just buzzing. You got players all over the place. We got product being sold, cues being raffled, all kinds of stuff. Which, by the way, if you guys want to get in on that, we got a Lukasi Q of the month along with the Purex jump break that we're... Doing a raffle on. You guys can hit me up for tickets for like five bucks a pop, seven for twenty-five, or twenty tickets for fifty bucks. Not the best break there. He's gonna come up. Let's see three, six. He's dry, and look how good the opener is for Adrian Prasad. I think this is. I don't, I don't know what the pool scene is like here in California outside of like hard times. It's really the only place I come to out here. But I know we don't see this format being used a whole lot down here. Um, or at least I haven't. So, as Adrian hit that real good. Man, he's got an angle on the two ball here. Just going to roll forward. Yeah, come out. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely something different for a lot of these players. And they're all adapting pretty well. Up for the challenge of this nine ball on the spot with a template format. All right, gonna have to back cut this four ball. Get on the five is really the key here to the whole the whole rack. I mean, you get on this one, it's it's a wrap. Center cut for Adrian. Uh, he's he's ready to go before the cue ball stops moving. Shot there from Adrian Prasad. Getting some rhythm. Love his pace. Confidence seems to be coming through. One rail out for the eight ball. Not wasting any time. Jason says that's good. He's giving him the two ball out. Okay. A lot of respect for the kid, and rightfully so. He's got things to do, places to be. Distracted there. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got here. The three ball past the nine for Adrian. That's what he's looking at right now. If it doesn't, he'll be chasing this nine here momentarily. And he's just looking down the barrel. 
Your guess is about as good as mine. I think it passes, though. Yeah, it does. Might have overcooked it just a, a little bit. A lot of bit, actually. expect to see that all because of the way he hit the last ball just came off a little hot cue ball got pretty decent way away from him thanks for hanging out with us today Molina. hey thanks for having me well i mean i know it's collins decision but appreciate all you guys for sticking sticking with it final day out here at the lucasi west coast tour I'm enjoying it as well. You know, I love watching pool, man, and I don't care who it is. I know I do more stuff when it comes to, like, pro players, but um, Adrian misses that ball again. He's going to get rewarded, but Jason's going to have a, uh, a kick shot here. I don't know how well he kicks, but he's got to be a favorite with that kind of far go to make the ball in. He didn't waste any time, though. He just kind of, like... And he just kind of two-stroked it, got down, and just whacked at it. Huh. Okay. Maybe he's more of a field player. Um, but, yeah, no, it's been great. I've been, when I saw the, uh, the layout in our schedule today, I said, okay, I'll be able to hang out more in the booth and get a sweat some action, which is what I love doing. And uh, just get a feel for how the play is, is, uh, is coming together. time here for 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 this and I think it's all a matter of how what kind of angle he can get on the six to make sure he, he can come around for the eight now, I'm not sure if that's where he wanted to be at he don't really have much of a choice at this point but he's gonna let a stroke out Not what he was hoping for. Doesn't look too thrilled there. Surprise looking to come off the that side of the ball. Love the way he played that ball there. Really well done from Adrian Prasad. That bounce is gonna hurt him. Good decision there from Adrian. And I love the way he played it. You know, not trying to do too much, keeping it simple, but just making sure that he did one part well, like really well, and that was the cue ball, right? So if he locked up the cue ball, everything else was going to kind of take care of itself. Adrian overdrew that one, and it is going to hang up in the hole. Heart's got to be racing a little bit. gonna miss it and hang it up and oh man and he scratches in the side all because of overdrawing it and Jason's gonna get one back and we got a game 4-3 now Adrian had a chance to go up 5-2 big swing there Sandy says looks like Jason's in give up mode but I don't think he is anymore after that lifeline that Adrian just threw him Good night. You got a little bit of a sweater. A little autofocus there from the camera. All right. Adrian's got to shake that one off. Jason's got to throw some water on his face. Get himself, get himself uh, some coffee, a monster, do something. Wake back up because we got a ball game here. 4-3 in favor of the kid. Alternate break.
coming up dry again. One ball is going to hang up. I think two passes the five. Second rack that I've seen Jason break where the one ball ends up like in that same area. Adrian's got to like figure out this plan here. You know, figure it out, make a decision. Do not get hooked behind the three. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Well, never a dull moment. I didn't. I wasn't sure the two ball passes the five when I first seen it. Just me. It's tough to tell. We've all definitely done it. Oh, look at that! And just yeah. love the creativity there, but a little short on the execution as Adrian looks up to see what went wrong on that one. Hey, Gerard. Hey, everyone. Hope you guys are enjoying the afternoon or evening, depending on what part of the world you're in. Lots of stuff going on. Sports. Women's National Championship going on that I've been sweating on my ESPN app. Sweating some pool out here in California. Got a few more days out here and then flying out to Super Billiards Expo for the rest of the week. Gonna be out there for I think from Tuesday. Hey Stephanie, hope you're doing well. Gonna be out at the Super Beards Expo for the rest of the week, starting on Tuesday evening on. Be home for maybe two days, three days, something like that, and then fly out to Shreveport for the ultimate pool event. So looking forward to that one as well. Lots of stuff going on in the pool world, but I tell you what, I am gonna be glad to be home here in a little bit. Hopefully Mace will turn soon. Nice combo as he kind of dressed up. He doesn't want to get behind the three ball here and it pulls up just in time. Jason's got this look of disappointment as he knows that was a little chilly that the way that it just kind of got together there. Oh, and Adrian misses another one. What is going on? Oh my goodness. What? I can't even believe what I just seen. I wish Collins was here so I can replay what the hell just happened there. I can't believe you missed that ball. Yikes. Meanwhile, Jason's just got to get his head back in the game because just when he thinks, just when it looks like anyway, that he's got a little bit of, you know, I don't, don't want to say give up or, or disappointment. Adrian's just saying, hold on. Don't get that, that seat warm just yet. Ooh, ooh, looks like it wanted to stick up. But it goes in. I'm not sure what's going on here, man. Maybe these, both these guys need a little bit of break. Overcooked it. Overcut it. And he's going to get away with it. Adrian's not going to love this. And I can see by the look in his face, he does not. He's staring down to see if he can clip that side of it. And what you're trying to do is hold it with the seven ball. Jason gives it a look to see if it's frozen in the rail, which it is not. This is, this is I'm not in love with it. I'll tell you that. He tried to play the stop shot safe. It double kisses out, but Adrian's going to be all right. Maybe. I mean, good enough. I don't think he can He'll be going for anything super offensive here, especially with the cue ball being where it's at. Boy, Jason ain't wasting no time. I mean, he just... I'm making a decision and it's go. Go, go, go. Alright, now if you're Adrian, well, Adrian's already like ready to fire here. I think he's just gotta like get his decision making a little more in check. You know, take a give a little bit more time. The bank laid really good and he, he put it down. Did not want to get on that side of the five ball, but he's he he'll he'll, he'll gladly take it. Gladly take it. That'll work. Yeah, ready, aim, fire. He's got one speed, and it's go time. And Adrian needs to get this game back here. Draws out one rail. All right, now, what are you going to do here? Are you going to just come around with inside three rails? You're just no, going to draw gonna back draw down? the ball with outside spin. It's easy. Outside, easy, easy, you say. Yeah, look how good he hit look it. Look at that. It got down pretty pure. Look how easy it was to get Pure. down here. Well, I mean, if you're good, it's easy. Well, I would have okay. got there. If you're good, 
If you, you probably would have. You just. You I know, would. You do everything. You just. Did you get your picture with Khalid yesterday? <clears throat> Mr. Khalid? Perfect. Mr. Perfect. Hits everything perfect. Remember that? He did play great. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Is Dude, he still winning know. or is he out of the tournament? I don't know. I'm not sure. Pardon not me? Sure. Pardon moi? I was glad to leave the time we did. Went to grab something to eat last night and then... Probably Lazy Dog? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Lazy Dog. That's what I heard. Yeah. Raffle. Oh, nine ball. Nine ball. Oh. Okay. Raffle tickets are still available. We are going to do the drawing before the final. Two winners. Two cues. Other events will have more stuff. It's just uh, we've completely slept getting some product from sponsors. But next, this event, we got two. Wow, and he misses the one ball. I can't believe it. What is going on with Adrian Prasad? Just, just misses, man. Just misses. I just don't understand. Like, just misses. I don't see him make ever. And consistent misses. So, um, but yeah, we got two cues going up. Lukasi Q of the month. Real nice one with rose gold inlays and some ebony and some bird's eye. And it's it's a really good looking cue. Retails for around $1,000. Pure X jump break, like the OG jump break. That's just everyone in there and their mama has. You know, it's just a really good looking cue. But it's cue. Car the carbon fiber one. No, no, no. We're going to get a Pure X one pretty soon from them. But oh, okay. And that one's just it. the break cue with the radio pin. This one's the jump break cue. So, Got it. Which retails around four fifty somewhere around there. So, um, but... Yeah, hopefully for the next few events we'll have a lot more, a lot more things to be able to give away, like some three second stuff, some town stuff, how tip stuff. Uh, a lot of sponsors are coming together and showing some support. So if you're interested in buying anything, whether it's product wise or whatever, wow. Yeah, I thought I he was going to hit the three all day. Wow. What? I was almost certain he was going to hit yeah. the three with the way he was lining up there. It's like one of the other ones just giving it back to the other one, like. This whole first... You know what Adrian said to me before games. the before this set? What did he say? He says, uh, obviously it's not the truth, but he says, uh, well, this one's going to be a landslide. Either way it goes. It's going to be... Oh, really? Yeah, he yeah. says it's going to be really one-sided. Yeah. Because I think he's saying because he knew that Jason's not playing his greatest. Yeah. Or maybe he heard and he knows that he's not playing his greatest. Yeah, I mean, the same thing for Adrian. It's like, what the... You know, just interesting the way that it's not even his execution and you know Adrian's getting down the ball really fast and maybe that's a part of it as well maybe um, he's just not thrilled or whatever he's not like super focused yeah yeah so maybe some areas of opportunity when it comes to the process but he, they're both giving each other windows to get back in in here or in Adrian's case take a bigger leap he's like one stroke and everything yeah, you notice that not, I, that's exactly what I mean like as far as just not wasting time and it's not and it's listen if that's your rhythm if that's your pace by all means holy you know I mean? Stick shot with what works but like when you you know balls like this he's missed just like this what yeah balls exactly balls like this he's missed at least like twice so um this one oh, look at that i mean it kind of it kind of wiped his feet just a little bit but he's good he's gonna get another one on the board six three there you go okay wow back in it anyhow big shout out to our sponsors that help putting on this event and if you guys are interested in anything product wise go check out qandcase.com you guys can use the promo code oscar15 for 15 percent off anything they got the website just went live not too long ago all the new stuff will be available on there whenever it does get released but in the meantime they got a ton of stuff available they, they sell not just their own products, but they're also a distribution company, so they sell products for other companies as well, and you can get 15% off with the promo code OSCAR15 at checkout. So go support them. That's, six, some, three. that's all good stuff right there. That is some good stuff. Hey, passing down the savings, man. You know what? I like when companies, like, if they sell you something that's got premium woods or inlays, they price it like that. They sell you stuff that's got overlays or or uh, uh, decals they price it as such you know what i mean they're not trying to take advantage of you they're trying to give you fair value and yep. so i got a lot of hey there were a couple of really cool looking cues out there for 200 bucks for I mean, sure they were decals but for sure. it looked real yeah. cool but they priced it as, as such yeah. you know which is awesome so yeah being fair to the end consumer and and uh showing that they appreciate you guys so another dry break from jason seems to Maybe be this the story. little kind of creative Part safety of here from the kid yeah you but see, there? it's like he didn't. He just got down. He He's just saw, mailing he, it in. He saw it and just okay. I'm going for it and quickly, you know. Mm -hmm. 
So most of them, both of them have played one pocket before. That's for sure. All right, a little little tester here. This see, this is this similar shot was what they those degenerates were playing last night out on the action table, except the cue ball was frozen to the rail. I'm cutting it to the right side. Yeah, yeah. Adrian's going left here, but still. Ooh, went in. Hit Great shot. Good. good shot, yeah, for sure. Shots scare me to death. They come up in one pocket all the time. You know, they'd stop scaring you so much if you made it ever. If you ever made the ball, you'd be a little less scared. I don't, yeah, I mean, it's just, I mean, must be nice. You yeah. know what I mean? Must be no, nice. No, it is you, nice. Yeah, must be nice if you hit him like that. Trust me, it's nice. Look, don't, don't start... Don't start bumping your gums because I don't know if I'm going to be able to come over here tomorrow. Matter of fact, I got to grab my stuff before I leave tonight. Um, so, I don't know if we'll be able to play. So, don't be, you know. But if I get confirmation that I am coming by the pool room tomorrow, you'll be the first to know. And then, you'll be the next to know. All right. Look at that. Get your, Fire yourself back in, in gear, son. Come on. Let's go, Adrian. I don't like this shot though, Collins. I don't like the way it ended up. Now I know you hit everything pure, so you're just yeah. making the three ball in the bottom left. Yeah. Playing the cue ball off the six so that I can shoot Gently. the four in the left hand side pocket. Of course, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I kinda caress the side of the ah, six, you know. And, okay. Yeah. A little caressing that. Just usher off. it towards the rail, ah, you know. Brushing. Usher. Oh, usher in. I usher. usher. Yeah. Okay. Peace up. Nice. A town down. Don't know what that means, but okay. We're in. What? What? I don't know what you're saying there. Don't know what's going on. What? What do you? What you say? English. I said, I usher it towards the rail. Ah. Well, let's see what Adrian's going to do. Peace up. A town down. Look at this shot. Wow, you hit that one pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, man. That was a nice. That was a nice little touchy shot there from Adrian. Uh, you draw him back for the five on the side, right? You know, I think he's going to make the four and, and then try to pocket the five somewhere. It'd be kind of nice to bump the eight right here. But you have to go into it with some decent speed so it doesn't tie up with the six. Right. If you're planning to go into it for sure. So now he's looking where he wants to get on the six. Yeah. No, he was looking to no, draw on around five. the six. On the five, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, whoa. You know, some people don't say usher. Some people say usher. If you ever say that again, <laughs> I'm just going to leave. Usher? Usher. Usher. Well, I said it again. Time to go. See you guys. It's been real. Did he get the window? I guess so. Is the window there? Wow. Okay. It's not what he was intending to, but he'll he'll be all right with it. Same thing here. Wow, okay. One of the beauties of having all six pockets to choose from here, Colin. Yeah. Ooh, center cut. Center cut. You know, I'm going to have to make a confession that the way he ushered that ball to the rail. Dude, come on, man. You know, this kid's out here to let it burn. Can you play Freedom? <laughs> do you not get do you no, not get the references? I don't. No, I know. I don't well, I don't understand these pop culture references you're, you're making here. I'm feeling real old right now. Yeah. Or I need some caffeine in my life. One of the two. Either way, Adrian's going to get on the hill. Looks like Ursher John and Luda got to do it again. That's oh, right. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right, kid. Focus. There you go. He's on the on hill. On the hill. On the hill. Not the prettiest set, but listen, sometimes you got to win. Not by any stretch of the one. imagination. Sometimes you got to win the ugly ones to get the good ones, you know? Just got to go right over, is. right over his head. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Wait, wait, wait. I can't do this right-handed. There you go. You know, he kind of looks like Teddy Swims right now. Yeah. You know that with the glasses yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, totally yeah. looks yeah. like Teddy Swim. He does. He does. Yeah. Can he sing as good as Teddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah. the thing. 
feels like he's about to lose control. There you go. All right. Breaking on the hill. One ball down. No shot on the two ball. Is he going to chase the nine calls? I don't mind playing this I shot. Go, I go I after don't, it, I'm, yeah. yeah, I don't mind playing it, to be honest with you. Let's go. It might be just a little low, though. He's looking at it right now. Can't tell from his face, but he just looked at it. What are you going to do? He's going. He's going for sure. Whack. It's going to yeah. go. It's going to go. Oh. It's going to go. <laughs> Wow. Look at Oscar. Look at Adrian. He knows he just, you know what, that ball in. He wasn't banking it, right? He was, just cut, he was just cutting that ball direct in there, right? Time to go talk to Desiree. And let her know that the kid's still alive. Wow. What's going on with my grainy, grainy... Sensor, it's trying to focus on the uh, picture frames at the same time. Yeah. Got a lot going on. What All right, what do you guys want to watch? I'm gonna go get some food, probably. At least go order some food. I shall return. Thanks for letting me hang out with you guys. How was it, guys? Was it okay? Oh crap, he's still here. Sorry. Wait a few seconds. Yeah. Don't fuck shit about this. <laughs> How dare you, Odium? Okay, I'm back. What do we got here? We got a uh, first game. This is first game between Joao and Oscar Dominguez. Joey Jabron's next door, just hitting balls on table four.
I guess they just called Mitch Ellerman back on table four. <clears throat> He's playing Josh Johnson. Shrek, the last remaining six in the tournament, still on the winner's side. Would you guys rather stay here and watch a bit of this match between Joao and Oscar Dominguez or go check out uh, some more Mitch Ellerman doing Mitch Ellerman things? What do you guys say in the chat? Coming in hot. Nothing matters. Nothing really matters. Anyone can see. Looks like things are a little bit in favor of Oscar. I personally am in favor of Oscar. Not, not because of any bias of like liking Oscar personally. But I'd really like to see how he's playing. You know what I mean? I want to see how things are shaping up because we've seen Mitch play the last two days. He's playing great. I want to see if Oscar's going to make this nine in the side. No dice. So I want to see if Oscar's able to, you know, play at the same level if he's going to end up being able to put some pressure on Mitch. You know, can we speculate a little bit? Right on, JVC. Yeah, let's hang out here for a little bit. I'm going to put the scoreboard up for this match. last name. What's Joao's last name, guys? I can't think of it offhand. Pretty good shot right there. Going to be able to go forward two rails of the seven. Really clean. Is it G-R-E-E-N-E? -E No, S-I-A-S, Sias, Sias. So Oscar's going to be going to nine, and Joao goes to eight. Oscar, seven, eight, zero. Going to nine. What's up? Mr. Pink. I think Joao got the first game there. Joao's Fargo is 7-something. I think it's like 703. How you doing, Mr. Pink? I'm all right. How are you? Good. Ooh, 710 now. Joao's Fargo still climbing. Getting in the getting in the mud. Mind Getting if I in sit the, for a little while? I mean, at this point, do I have anything? Do I have any choice? <laughs> There's literally only been one instance since the 
very since the construction of this booth, there's only been one instance of a guy that wanted to hang out and it was just it was so obvious that it was so selfish. Oh no. You know what I mean? Yeesh. That I had to say, dude, we're here to we're here to watch the game together, dude. You gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know wow. what I mean? Yeah. <sighs> it was when you came in here last week. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> no, <just kidding. laughs> nice break here from Joao. The one ball makes it in the side. He kind of lost the cue ball a little bit, and the two ball doesn't go in the corner, I don't think. Mm. I think the four's got it covered. Man, a lot of good games in this tournament, man. That's how it goes when you get 144 freaking or 146 freaking players. Well, you can kind of play a bit of a two-way here. You can bank this two ball at the seven. You got a big pocket and then also play the cue ball up here above the three and five. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You might be able to play it with like uh, like uh, inside spin so the cue ball comes this way. I wonder what he's going to do. He looked at the other side of the table. He, what's he looking at here? It looked like he was lining up outside. Like drawing the ball? Like stunning it? I don't, I don't know. Oh, maybe he's looking I at stopping he the... Leave. He wants to stop the rock and send the two ball three rails and keep the cue ball behind the four. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, keep it... If that shot's on offer, it's a good um, shot. tried. Oh, cause he would, if he wouldn't hit that three, he would have had the two... Yeah, there. the two actually would have been further out in the open, but either way, Oscar's going to be able to jump it right now. Oscar, one of the best at the jump cue this side of the Rockies. So Joey beat Ross. Did he? Yeah. He did? Yeah. Nice. Joey Jabron making a deep run. You know whose cue he was using? Grubs. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I've heard about it plenty. <laughs> Grubs keeps, every time he walks in here and he sees Joey, he's like, dang, that cue looks good. <laughs> that cue hits good. Watch him asking for jelly, too, after... Oh, my God. He almost made the ball. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if Grubbs asked for jelly. Yeah, that's so Grubbs. Uh-huh. Well, just buy me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That, too, doesn't pass. You just throw the two down table and try and leave the cue um, on the high short rail? Uh, yeah, if you can beat any kind of kiss, yeah, you could bank the two towards the nine, put the cue ball behind the three, maybe? Uh, the two might go between the three and eight, though. I think it does. No. So he just plays oh, right up on the eight. Yeah. This is a lot easier to hit. This is a lot easier to hit and, and control than creating more separation, right? If you had put, if you'd gone yeah. the other way, I don't know if the shot laid because it's kind of a funny angle the way the table's sitting, but yeah. if the shot does lay there for you to like play it with a touch of inside and, and send the two down table, it's just a lot easier to, or a lot tougher to control the kick. When you're closer like this, it's easier to judge the speed and how thick you're going to hit the ball. Yeah. Ooh, running into the five. I was going to say unlucky, wow. but turns out really good. Wow. Oh, now it's now it's open. Oh, is he trying to kick the seven out?
What was the question? Is he trying to kick the seven out? He no, was I think the two ball. At it like he was trying to kick the seven out. Oh, like he was playing a ticky. Yeah, yeah, he was trying to ticky and get the seven out. Thin, thin, thin cut here. He might not even play after the ball. Oh, he did go for the ball. The cue ball's oh, going to scratch, though. Gosh. Youch. That hurts. tough in these matches when you're playing somebody like at this level and when you are at this level when you scratch kind of no matter whenever you scratch i mean you have to think like i i might not get back until it's right break. exactly nice shot oh this is this is a can of corn for for oscar So do you expect the other uh, the other events for this? Not quite as big, but but fairly fairly good size. That was kind of how it looked. It's, it's still not bad. It's not even close. <laughs> I mean, I still like. I still like this better, obviously. Yeah. But. yeah. but even the stuff you do with like the even like the chat box and everything, like it's everything kind of like matches up. And right. Dude, you know why I think this chat box looks. Good. You know why I think this chat box feels so good. Why is that? What does it look like? Looks like a phone. <laughs> it looks. <laughs> it looks like an iPhone. That and it I does. didn't even. I didn't even do that on purpose. <laughs> it just ended up looking that way. It's out, Oscar. I'm proud of myself for knowing that's what you were going. For. Yeah, yeah. It's like everyone's <laughs> so used to like feeling good as they look at something that shape, you know. It works. Yeah. I'm sure my brother would have a different opinion, but... I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> Big Queen, where the hell are you? He's in the chat. I see him. Let's do a quick uh, score update. Table number uh, table number four. Ooh. Ooh. Wait a second. Wait, Joshua Johnson gets three on the wire. Right? Unless they're scoring it where they didn't add any on the wire in the beginning. But the, I don't think they played long enough to play six games. Yeah, we've been through two since they started playing. Where is that one at? Right here. Mitch Ellerman, Joshua Johnson. Joshua Johnson, Shrek is the last six. Oh, gotcha. He's the last six in the tournament, and he's still on the winner's side. He's playing Mitch Ellerman right now. Dude. Why is Joao going to, to eight and not nine? Because he's a seven ten Fargo, the everyone seven twenty plus goes to goes to nine. So Mitch just scored one, and yeah, they've both won two games. 
So the way that this is working or looking is uh, they're both going to nine the way that they're scoring the beads. So they've both won two games here. And Shrek only needs four more. Well, Mitch needs seven. To Mitch, Mitch is still the favorite, but things can happen. Dude, Mitch's play looks so casual. Like I, I love how like his approach. Like when he gets out there, like he's, he just feels like so in the moment. Mm -hmm. Like when he's shooting, like he doesn't seem so like calculated mm -hmm. and like mechanical. Well, like, but this he, is the thing that I like about Oscar's game. That's that's the thing that I like about Oscar's game is like on that last shot that you saw right there. Yep. Every last little teeny bit of spin on the cue ball did something, and and made it end up at the exact location that he was hoping for it to be you know what i mean yeah well Where, that's like his kind of like his kind of game you don't yeah. see him lose the cue ball yeah like, that's, yeah so and then mitch while he doesn't often lose the cue ball and usually he's in line because he plays the pattern rights and patterns right and everything but a lot of the time you know sometimes there's some residual side like if he uses side to get somewhere sometimes there's some residual side spin when the cue ball comes to a rest which means in theory he added too much side spin like it didn't end up doing anything yeah. you get what i'm saying yeah so, um, but I kind of like that. Like, it's uh, just a different contrasting style. You that know? like play by feel. Like you can really tell. Like that's kind of like how like he came about the game. It's, yeah, it's fun to watch for sure. Oh, I'm I love it. Uh, Mitch just missed the one ball on table four. How's Vilmos doing? Have we seen him play today? No, I heard he was playing late last night. One last side, yeah. He finished around, uh, I think he made it to day two around 12.30. Look at this. Is he going to get there? Oh, my God. Did he hit that ball good or what? Is he going to peek past his shoulder? It does. Look at this. Look at this. Just got to make the ball. It's funny. When he first hit it, I thought he overcooked it, but... Beep Beep just went live. Yeah. Show me the meeps in the chat. <laughs> Show me the meeps in the chat. We've got uh, Savannah Easton on the winner's side of a $1,000 entry fee tournament. Ooh, Oscar missed it. Wow. Over oh, she's doing the mob. Overcut. Yep. The bandit. Oh, how's Jerry on that one? Didn't Jerry go out there? Mm hmm. I think he's out. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, there it is. Oh, was that Jerry? No, it wasn't Jerry. No. Oh. Went a little hefty on that shot. Jerry just lost to Oliver Tavares. Mm. Tavares. Game for uh, how do you say his name? Joe, Joao, Joao, Joao. Like One Joe for Joao. Wow. Joao. Wow. <laughs> it's a Peruvian name. <clears throat> it's like the Portuguese pronunciation of the J. It's all hard J's in Peru and Portugal, right? Where in a lot of other, I know Portugal's not Southern America, but they speak the similar, you know, Latin Spanish. Gotcha. Like uh, roots or whatever in their language, right? But uh, it, rem it reminds me of a guy I used to know, name spelled Jose, but it's pronounced Jose because he's from Portugal. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Have you had some people in here from the tournament after some of their matches? Um, I'm wondering how they're feeling. Has anybody talked about like how they're feeling about the break box nine ball on the spot? No, not really. I, I think everyone's pretty much settled into the idea that this is a good way to play the game. But like something more that should be adopted in more of the tournaments that we play? No, I would say there's levels to it. I would say that uh, maybe weekly tournaments, one on the spot is good because for weekly tournaments, you're trying to get more people interested in the game and competing. Where 
when you play like this, this is good for like a high level tournament, in my opinion. You know, like a regional, big regional tournament. You know, gotcha. Where people are maybe taking their game a little bit more seriously. So maybe higher level stuff. Let's do the nine on the spot. Yeah. And then like the lower level stuff. Let's do the one on the spot. Yeah. Or like the the not lower level, but more like the stuff that's less serious. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I gotcha. I'm just interested to try and think about how different players feel about it at the different skill levels. Yeah, that's just my opinion. I don't know what, what other people are thinking. But. That two go? Is he just thinking about how to get on this three? Because he can be anywhere for the four, so. No, two didn't go. See what I mean about every last little bit of rotation being useful? Man, that's, that's the way Oscar plays a game, man. That was unbelievably perfect. That's a nice shot. That's a real nice shot. So hard to hide it, too. I mean... He did. He came up good, but wow. Meanwhile, table four. Table next door, Mitch Ellerman got another game. Bloomerang, it's my pleasure. Really needs to get this cue ball back a little bit, shoot the three or across wow. the table. Wow, Puncherino. I'm surprised. I feel like he would have drawn to go to the. He must have had too much angle to like draw. Three in the side, and then four back. Well, Shrek just scratched next door, so. The uh, door is starting to close. little stroke here.
Oh, Joao is well versed in three cushion. Hmm. Interesting. I feel like three cushions a bit of a, a lost art among the the pool scene these days in, in the states for sure but south of the border it's very 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 popular it's funny there's a channel that's devoted to three cushion like 24 7 mm -hmm. i swear i'm i watch it all the time i think it's amazing well joao went after it sometimes you got to go but he's going to give up this rack for sure yeah he would have cheated the pocket to come up off the rail it's so hard to tell the angle sometimes like you said with like mm -hmm. that. yeah maybe it didn't lay but you would think with the ball being that close to the pocket it would be doable but he probably just weighed the percentages you know yeah as Mike would say Molina Mike might say he weighed the percentage lease Gonna stop just in time. Hmm. He was playing for the pro side of the ball. I was gonna say, I feel like you take your medicine there and leave it higher. But Oscar's Oscar. Meanwhile, next door, Joshua Johnson has a chance. If he just makes one shot here, he's going to have a real good shot to uh, get another game against Mitch Ellerman. Ooh, we made the, missed the ball. Okay. Aye, just gonna, aye, let's aye. just go right back over here. <laughs> you just had to go over there. What did I touch? What did I touch? You went into dark mode. There we go. I didn't even know you could do that. What did I do? Yeah, that was weird. Oh, that's what I did. Muy interesante. Look at you learning. <laughs> There's a button I never pressed before. <laughs> kind of button you've been pressing over there done did <laughs> wow drew the crap out of the ball billy ray spivy so did i all right now now i understand that you're just a loser <laughs> Dang. Thank you for outing yourself instantaneously. Goodbye. Yeah, that would be hilarious, Scott. Just turn the lights off while everyone's playing. <laughs> Real funny joke. People would like it. Sleep is for sissies.
He overcut that ball. A little bit. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got distracted by the uh, Mitch Ellerman, Joshua Johnson situation. Situation. Adrian called for his next match. Get ready for the beat to drop. See, now you're playing my jams. <laughs> Overcut that one too. But it works. It's like how you were showing me that drill about getting, like, doing the cut and getting, like, on the rail. It's that kind of stuff right there that, that works so well. To be able so to make well. those, those micro adjustments. Because to you, find this, yeah. But you can find it to where it's like, okay, even this is exactly what I'm trying to do. Even if I didn't exactly, I'm still gonna be within this range. Sure. That's still gonna help me make that ball. Yeah. And it's helped like immensely. Even just that one little drill. It's for for the beginning player. Like just starting off, there are three drills. There's only three drills you need. The first drill, the most important drill, is the baby Mighty X, which is just, you know, start here with the, you know, cue ball. Oops. What the heck? Start with the cue ball here, object ball here, right? Yeah. And then you just make the ball and stop the rock, and then slowly move it back to where you can do it with the cue ball here and stop the rock, you know? Yeah. Then you do that with follow and draw, too. And yeah. Draw it in the side. Same yeah. idea. So that's just to get basic ball pocketing fundamentals possible, right? Yeah. So that's the first drill. The uh, second drill is learning how to draw your rock and get your rock to actually, like, draw with power instead of just, like, you know, three feet or whatever. With power, what you do is you set up object ball here, Cue ball one diamond away, dead straight into this corner. Yeah. And then practice making the ball and drawing it all the way back to this rail. No matter how it gets there, just try to try to make sure you don't overcut it and make the cue ball like hit this side rail first, you know? Yeah. You can you can get the cue ball to draw back to here or here or straight back, doesn't matter. It's just about getting that action on the cue ball. Yeah. To so getting that power draw stroke. Uh, which that eventually becomes the actual mighty X where you're trying to draw it back dead straight. You know what I mean? Right. But, so that's draw number or drill number two that's super important. And then for positional play and speed control, yeah, just an object ball here, cue ball here, make the object ball and send the cue ball one rail with speed to be within a ball's width of this rail. And then... Once you can do it over and over where you're within a ball's width from this rail, then you start adding a touch of right spin and start going up the rail yeah. to different places. So that's what I was doing. I was doing just center ball yep. and getting it and then doing the inside and then doing the outside. Yep. And it's amazing how much of a difference it makes. Yeah. Like really do that for two weeks and all of a sudden it starts to become like really natural. Yeah. If but you... really getting that feel for that speed yep. and like, oh, I'm hitting it thinner and going exactly, outside. Yeah, you have exactly. to hit it so much softer. And yep. then on the when you're hitting it thicker and then going on the inside, yep. like it's for someone just picking up the game like somebody for honestly, for anyone under 500 Fargo, in my opinion, those are the only three drills you should be doing. Yeah, it was huge. I mean, it still is huge. I'm still in the middle of it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Because those, those drills are just about laying the foundation that you can build the rest of your game on. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then the more complex theory and, and possibilities become so much more tangible and useful, you know. Heard you guys are hosting an event at OnQ soon. Where do you sign up? It's going to be day of in the venue. Cash.
Uh, do I have a Fargo rate? It's currently about 587, I think. Uh, the last time I was taking the game really seriously and working on my game and, like, spending the majority of my free time on the game, uh, it was... I think I capped out at 612. I went from... F when I started working on correcting my fundamentals and stuff, I went from being a 500 to a 612 in, like, six months. Damn. Yeah. That's huge. I, was, I think I was, like, 520-something. Wow. I don't think that's an exaggeration, Scott Mosley. It's probably more than that in in the total amount that he's done the drills. But yeah, yeah. Nice shot. Because when you're working on the real Mighty X, right? The real Mighty X where you put an object ball here, cue ball here, and you're stopping the rock and you're trying to pocket it, stop the rock, spot up a new ball right here, and then don't move your cue ball at all, but play from where you just left it and then go back and forth. Uh, in order to do that, you have to stop the rock completely dead. And then you end up getting to the point where, oh my gosh, my cue ball's real close to the rail right here. But now I'm going to cheat the pocket and shoot it into this side of the pocket to try to straighten myself out with a dead stop. And it really shows you what's possible. It's so hard. It's so hard. I mean, for, I mean I'll say it for my level. Yep. It's hard. The most <laughs> I've done uh, back and forth without ever touching the cue ball with my hand and like before I touch the cue ball to the rail is 28 times back and forth that's but I, I got close to the rail and recovered like three times in those 28 shots by cheating the pocket yeah but how much did you I mean you were working on it for a long time mm -hmm. like a few, few thousand like crazy regularly yeah, yeah. like a, a, a like 300 balls a day working on a Mighty X. Yeah. Right. But not just like throwing it out there like I'm going to do this a few times today and then next week I'm going to do it no, a few it times. Like, it was... Yeah. Hey, hey, at what rating can you be considered to be a professional? Uh, it used to be about 730. In my opinion these days to be at, at the world class level it's about 760. Like Mitch Ellerman essentially. Because all Fargos are going up now. All the top, all the high-end Fargos are going up. And so there's like 50 players over 800 now or something ridiculous. I know. I used to think I was like better than average. And now I figure out like I'm average. <laughs> Let's see how many over 800. Fifty one. Actually, there's literally fifty that are technically over eight hundred. The fifty first Fargo is eight hundred. <laughs> That's what they used to say, Casey Reagan. But that was about a year ago, year and a half ago, when the the highest Fargo was like eight twenty five, and uh, and there were only like fifteen players above eight hundred. There were only like fifteen or twenty players back then above eight hundred. So to be on the world-class stage, I think that the bar has gone up. It's just an opinion. But I think a, I think it's an opinion that a few people would probably agree with. This is a close match. Next door, five to six, which means Shrek only needs three games and Mitch needs four. I think the writing is on the wall. Oscar, let me try out his uh, his new break cue there. Like a few, a couple weeks ago. Solid. Yeah. The rage cue. Yeah. 
Rage. Was the highest at the moment, isn't it? Filler. Yeah. Uh, current highest Fargo on the planet is eight five zero, I believe. That's correct. Feder Gorst, second place, eight four four. FSR is at eight four three. Coping Chung overtook SVB, actually now tied with SVB at eight three nine. Dude, he is amazing. Coping Chung is out outrageous. Wow. It, the, it's, it's it looks so easy. It looks like he never hits the ball hard. Yeah. Even when he does hit it hard, it looks like he went through the, the ball so soft and yeah. slow. Like he's never like forcing it. Yeah. Like it's, it's like his arm is just meant to swing that way. Yeah. Yeah. Man, uh, the Lucas, way he lays out is Lucas Werner has a similar uh, ease of stroke. Yeah. Yeah. I love watching Ko. He's amazing. This four ball's dead in the side if you can whoever gets a look at it. Oh, the two might pass the six though into the bottom left. I'm gonna step out and get a little bit of caffeine, I'll be right back. Can I get you anything? You want beer? Uh, sure. I have a tab if you want to play on. Alright, well next one. Trying to put him on the eight there. Little jelly roll. Nice shot. Is he gonna jump? Is he going to jump 1-9 to try and get lucky here? You know, if it's me, that's what I'm doing, but I'm no 7-10, so we'll see. Go for it. It should be a relatively easy jump for him, too. He's going to get the right connection on the 1 9, though. Casey, right? <laughs> That's why it's so much easier being in the booth than being out there. He's going to see. He's going to see if he can get it. That one in the right spot, that nine's going to go in. And we can all say, oh, wow. Oh, my God. Nice shots. Oh, wow. Nice job. It's been a while since I updated the score. I don't know if it's the same as it used to be. Hey, it is. So excited. There we go. Joe, wow. 4 3 on Oscar. Nice, nice jump. Nice hit. Shark Melissa Allen just told me. <laughs> I feel bad. 
feel really bad. Joe Wow it's got four the, to four. the jump one nine. No, it's um, Joe Wow just won that one. Oh, I see, I see. They put they put the extra beat up. He had the jump one nine combo for the win. Let's watch it back. Shadow knows. Yeah, holy sweet Jesus is right. <laughs> oh, snap, yeah. It's legit. That was and now, low. look at this. Looks like opportunity is slipping away from Joshua Johnson on table four. Mitch Ellerman only needs two games. Joshua needs three. You're saying there's a chance. Have I ever played at Crown in San Ramon? Yeah, quite a few times. I used to do a lot of work in the Bay Area, and I would go there to hit balls and wait for the traffic to settle before driving home. That's a great idea. Oh, God, Melissa's texting me right now, I think. <laughs> to feel good about this layout and then possibly going up 5-3. Yeah. Wow. Wait, why are there why is there 4-4 four, four on the beads? It's probably 3-3 three, three right now, guys. It was 3-3 when you walked out of the booth, and then he made that 1-9, and then I changed it to 4-3. So this is this is your fault, not mine. <laughs> I'm just saying. I think it's 4-4 four, four right now, guys. I'm looking at the beads. I'm going to go back and count. I'm going to go back and count nine balls pocketed. Oops. Because this was game number one. One to Joel. Oh, 
one to Oscar. Two to Oscar. Oscar missed one, so it goes 2-2. Two, two. Three, Oscar. Three Joel. Then he jumps the ball in. Four Joel. Yeah, it's five to three. For sure. So he did do it right. Yeah, but Oscar has an extra beat up there. So maybe there was a game. Oh, so they're marking the nine eight difference no. from the start? No, because Oscar's supposed to go to nine. Which would mean Oscar wouldn't have the extra bead. So we might have missed a game in the beginning. It's 5-4 up there right now. Oh, you didn't have this on from... I thought I did. Oscar has four beats. That's all I'm going off. Hmm. We've watched Joao make five nine balls, and Oscar has four beats up there. I don't know how it happened that way, but it's that's the way it is. Ball action, but just put the cue ball right behind that tree. She is just roasting me. <laughs> she says that was to go, that was to, it was the eight and the nine to go hill hill after being down four games. <laughs> You're in trouble. Who would set my first Fargo? You just get get in contact with Fargo Rate. Give them your name and an email address and where you're from. They'll set it up. And then your Fargo Rate gets established after the first 10 games. Um, 10 to 20 games, I forget. And then, and then it's preliminary until you get to 200 games. What I did is I just played a Fargo Rated tournament. And they, they just assigned me a, a Fargo. There you go. And then... I just went from there. Ooh, I like this better. For Savannah? Yeah, that is cool. That's better than this, right? Actually, I don't know. I like that. I like this one better. Show me a meep in the chat. 
Anybody got a meep? Yeah, I like the first one. This one's going to look better in a, as an emoji, though. The, the top of it is too much. So what then the mean? head part is... Because when it's out there, like that head, the top like flare part of it is going to take up too much of it. And the head's going to be too small. Whereas so. the other one, I think, is, is going to work better to, no. to see it in a small frame. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it right now. We're gonna we're gonna compare. <laughs> I think you're wrong, Collins. You know what I think about what you're saying? Hit me, hit me with it. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I like that. I like when we can riff like this. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> Believe me. Okay, that's enough. Grubs <laughs> uh, <laughs> looks like such a derelict in his... <laughs> he is. That's what he is. <laughs> it's what he is. Just let letting me know right now. This is not good for JWoww. JVC, WTF is a meep. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you don't know, now you know, no. even a flinch <laughs> I'm jaded I've heard it all before yeah, for how much we drink in here I wish the bathroom was closer wow sounds like a personal problem <laughs> straight on this eight that nothing Oscar can't handle. Oh, ticks off the nine.
Oscar got another one. Yeah, showing five five on the beads. So we must have missed a game. Is that what we're going with? Yeah, that must have been. Must have missed a game. Interesting. Interesting, Collins. <laughs> well, let's see it. Where's the big reveal? Here's the big reveal. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> Believe me. You dirty rat bastard. You were right. Oh, someone, someone messed up the chat, my bad. <laughs> Cheers, Trying to roll right into the five ball, gets past the ball, no way. Trying to run into the ball, ran around it. Youch. friends. Oh, you guys are hilarious. Alright, players, once you're out of the tournament, please don't be hitting balls. We have leagues coming in, and it really confuses everybody when there's just people hitting balls. Also, if you didn't get paid yet, come got paid. Ah, nice one, JVC. Wow, Joao decides to go with a straight-up draw shot to get on the eight. And comes up a little short. Zach, 
your table ready back. Step in your table ready, step in. I'd say Oscar is probably 75% to get out here. Depends on how thin the eight is. The thicker the hit, the easier it is for him to get out. Brown currently playing Adrian Prasad. Someone's up six to three in that match. Maybe even six to two. And the cue ball goes off the table. That was the last thing I expected from Oscar. No pineapple pizza. They don't serve pizza out here. Taking a load off. No, I'm here just in case something real, real cool happens. But Randall Pink's been hanging out with me. Now Corey, Corey the Cannon is back. You already knocked out of the uh, second chance. Whoa, that was close. Good lord, there was a beer right there. Just perfect height. Yeah. Never a doubt. Never in doubt. Oh, here we go. Bring another one. Oh. Deal. Thanks for hanging out, Randy. Hey, hold up, bud. Uh, just I had some lunch like an hour and a half ago, so it's like really hitting me right now. Yeah. But other than other than that, pretty good. Hitting the wall. Yeah, yeah, I'm just I'm just over here chilling. What happened on that last game where Oscar got hooked by the nine? How did he, do? he had a real, like, for Oscar, really high percentage, jump the ball in, end up with some kind of shot and get out, you know? Yeah. Well, he, I saw he, the jump, but how did he get to that spot? Did he just unlucky? Yeah. Hmm? I don't know, honestly. Oh, Joao missed the ball. Hmm. Wow, and that's how he left him, huh?
Uh, yeah. Yeah, but the interesting thing is, I know Aaron got Oscar in or Oliver, sorry, in the uh, in the Calcutta. Uh, and if Oliver wins this match, Aaron will have broken even on the bet and free roll for the rest. You know what I mean? But Savannah is currently up five to two over Tara Williams. She's absolutely murdering the field, dude. Have you looked at the scores, Mike, of that mm. tournament? No. So Savannah beats her first match versus Rakesh Bunga, the 552 Fargo, or 652 Fargo, sorry. Beats him 9-4, to four, then beats Jesse Johnson, 9-1. to one, Then beats Oliver Tabaris, which was Oscar's pick for the tournament, 9-6. to six, And now she's up 5-2 to two on the guy that beat Avinash and Mike Hammond. So, anyway, pretty wild. Is Jerry still in the bottom? No, Jerry's out. How many players from the second chance? 37. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. That is pretty good. You go two and out. Oof. Oof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, there's an idea. I should get some raffle tickets. I should try to win that queue. Fire at it. How much for? How much for the winning ticket? One for five, seven for twenty-five, or twenty tickets for fifty bucks. So I could buy twenty winning tickets <laughs> for twenty for twenty bucks, twenty-five bucks. Yeah, fifty bucks. No, for twenty-five bucks you get seven tickets. Seems a little steep there, buddy. Well, we all know it's rigged every time you're in it, right? Uh, right. Yeah. You know? Clearly, according to the chat. That's right. Rigged. Do you remember that that video I did? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Did you do you remember the thumbnail? Let's see if I can find it. I went full YouTube clickbait thumbnail. <laughs> what was that like? Uh, Tiny Home Living. Yeah, he. By the way, Tiny Home Living magazine changed his channel name to Post Up Time Nineteen. Shut up! I swear to God. What the hell? It's the same channel. What the heck? And uh, and he's been officially banned from the WPBA's channel. Jerry Stuckert reached out to me. He's like, who the heck is this guy that's using your logo? <laughs> He's an a-hole. And I'm like, oh, that's yeah. Tiny Home Living Magazine. You know who that is? Somebody that hates their life. Yeah, right? Tries to drag other people down. They're out there, man. Yeah, this is the thumbnail. That was the thumbnail. Rigged raffle? Not on your life. <laughs> your face on that one. Uh, yeah, we all got SVB involved. Yeah. He's like, the guy's like, well, I don't think it's fishy at all that Collins won that raffle. His own <laughs> raffle. And I'm like, over here, it's like, it's not my raffle. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just over here like, Wrong. You're wrong. Believe me. <laughs> Mike's happy you won that raffle because he got that cue back. Yeah. Probably got a screaming deal. Probably made a bunch of money off. <laughs> you and Oscar. These guys no tried comment. To, these guys tried to really <laughs> lowball me and I only got an extra 200 out of it. Hey. <laughs> Money's money, man. Girls got to eat. Yeah. Right? Fish got to swim. Birds got to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Melm hit the wall against Adrian, huh? Couldn't get a roll the first couple racks. And imploded, huh? Yep. 
that's what happened. <laughs> Sorry, we're both just over here <laughs> looking at our phones. Fucking put your phones down, whoa, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're watching our dude. Well, apparently we're watching Joe out. I know, he's playing good. He's, he's out. He's out. Yeah, yeah he's out. Oh, oh my. Wow. There's he's no hooked. way he's hooked. He's hooked. No, he is. He's hooked. I think he is. He You're hooked. welcome, Oscar. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Dude, that works instantly. <laughs> just instantaneous curse. Oh, he can't believe it. There's no way that was a just double happened. curse. Both of you guys said it. Look at Oscar like <laughs> You are welcome, Oscar. Both of us are like <laughs> You're like, we're watching our boy. We're, we're apparently it. watching Joe out. Yeah. Uh, He's out. Yeah. We're gonna need a jelly roll for that one. No freaking rigged. way. Dude. It's rigged. What the hell? I can't believe that. And to get hooked like that. God, he's so pissed right now. <laughs> it's brutal. Like, getting hooked that way is so sick because any different speed, you're not hooked. Right. Any slower, you're not hooked. Any faster, you're not hooked. Right? Because it moves the ball out of the yeah. way. He just hit it the exact perfect speed to be hooked. Oh, my God. Yeah, Brian LaPasque with the skull and crossbones. That is <laughs> insane that that just happened. Damn, dude. I come in at the right time, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a reel for sure. It's a very tilting moment. Let's see if he can hold on. Well, maybe the ball goes. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's really, I don't know. Oscar's not sure. He just doesn't want to pull the trigger. Hey, the longer you look at it, the seven might just roll out of the way. Yeah, right. You just <laughs> it's going to get easier if you wait. Yeah, you know? wait longer. It'll... <laughs> That's incredible that just happened. <laughs> that is unbelievable <laughs> that that just happened. Derek, the order's ready, Derek. Like just a millimeter. It's like, wow. So brutal. He's kicking at the ball. And leaving Oscar jacked wow. up. Oh, wow. Oscar's That's not so happy right now. Well, I mean, he's lucky to be at the table. I know, for sure, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, people are just firing up Moscone smack in the chat already, dude. It's too early in the year for that, man. It's freaking April. Made it. Shot. What a good shot there. Holy shot. <laughs> Wild stuff, man. Yep. Get it on that ball like that. What's up, brubs? Uh, what's up, brubs? Okay. Brubs. Oh, damn. It's quite clean in here, I must say. I have to keep it clean for these I know. events. Yeah, I know. For sure. Fridays gets it gets a little unruly in here because it's <laughs> just a party. It's true. It literally <laughs> turns into a college dorm room. Right. <laughs> nice out. Oscar needs three, guys. They're working out the break right now. I could tell them. I think Joel was on a break and run, wasn't he? Mm, I think that was. I think that was Oscar's break, actually. Oh, really? Could be wrong. It was. Oh, it was Oscar's break. Yeah, that's Joel's that was. break. Yeah. I figured it out. This was the last person to break right here. Sweater was enjoying some lunch watching the beginning of this Replay match. Replay Joao's six ball shot. It was a foul. What? 
Hmm? How was it a foul? Maybe when he was jacked up over the ball, he hit the... the uh, made the seven rock, maybe? Maybe he touched the ball with his cue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ball he was jacked up over. Even well, in cue ball fouls only, that's a foul. Yeah, but... Oscar got out anyway. Point of, no. Yeah. Cue ball. Cue ball. Oh, Ooh. three. Oh, two and three are six, tied up. Oh. This is messy. Ooh, it was a foul. That's interesting. It's super subtle, but obviously it didn't change the outcome of the game, but this is interesting. Watch the seven ball. Hmm? What I missed? Very subtle. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Here we go. Now Collins is all nerding out. I gotta let me show you guys something. <laughs> Oh, no. First time I watched it, it looked like a foul, but I'm watching yeah, it a bunch of times. So. It's not. I didn't see it. I, I thought the move. seven ball rocked. Phil says no. Man, what do you do here? Just roll up on it? Yeah, clean. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if you can go rail first. Rail first for what? Rail first and you're just nudging the two ball. You're going to hold it there because the three is going to keep it there and you're going to send the cue ball, you know, down to the right a little bit. What about what about if the two's if the two's not frozen, what about rolling up on it so that when Oscar tries to come off the ball it opens the balls up? You know what I mean? Like, it's real tough to get safe because it opens them up and the two ball doesn't go anywhere. Do you get what I'm saying? If you yeah. just roll up on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said, yeah. Roll, right, just roll on it. Second call for Tony Bush. Table nine for the second chance. Tony Bush. That was oh, a foul. he missed a guy. No, really that first. was a foul. Yeah, I liked it just because you're going to get separation. Yeah. You know, but... Yeah. And you're holding there, I, like I said, because of the three ball where it's I, at. I didn't like it because it was Mike's shot. <laughs> <laughs> right that's the oh yeah that was a horrible shot but yeah you know. i'm used to that clearly it was a bad shot the real first idea you get, to, you get to take the gives up all in hand yeah. clearly yeah. let me just go with the apa safe that collins <laughs> yeah. had in mind yeah. i'm just gonna i'm just gonna roll up on the ball against a moscone cup winner yeah it's a good move yeah <laughs> against a moscone yeah 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 Mike, if you don't stop running your mouth, <laughs> I'm going to have to come over there and serve yeah. the hell? you a plate of justice. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Uh, I can't. Where did that man come from? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My God. Are you serious? Some things are just, oh you're just God. born with. I cannot. God. I get so dizzy when I do that. Yeah. So. <laughs> but we love it every time. I just time. got a little dizzy. Oh, yeah. my God, dude. <laughs> Please don't ever do that again. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's, mm. getting, he's getting real close to his work there. Yeah, I know. Huh. Yeah, What's he's, he trying to do? He's just trying to... Spin it and go out? Yeah. Whoa. Leave it right there, right up against three ball, and, and hook him with the cue ball. Needs Don't hit the six. Yeah, nope. yeah. That's trouble. Uh, it's pretty easy to hit, actually. One rail. Push one it's really rail. easy to hit, but do you... For Batman. <laughs> Robin couldn't hit it. Yeah, no, Batman, for sure. for sure. I hit anything that I want. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> My God. Uh, Collins is tired, guys. No, no. He's tired. We're, we're having a good time. We're having a good time. <laughs> Is the three wired? Well, it might be. Go out at a That's billion hard. miles an That's hour. That's hard, man. Blastogram. Uh, just do Collins a shot. Roll up on it. That's a good idea. Just roll up on it. Yeah. Three ball got a rail. 
Did yeah? It looks like it. Yeah. I nice shot. No. It looked like he was gonna grab the ball. Yeah, it's called holding your chalk. What's got into you? I know he's Batman, dude. Uh, he's getting all. He's a Batman's superhero. Batman's a little, little, little sleepy. Batman's uh -oh. being a bit of a jerk. Today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh. Wow. Yikes. That's tough. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. I know I you want to. Box, I know you dude. want to. Go ahead. I see the I box. The mask is coming. <laughs> <laughs> the floor is yours, sir. We know it's coming. <laughs> we can, okay. take, we can right. take the cues. <laughs> yeah. All right, Batman. What are you doing here? I don't know. Wow, he's jumping. jumping. Wow, did not Dang. expect that. Okay. Do we got a different view? Yeah, what do you want? There you go. Nice hit. What do you want from me, Mike? Look at this, get safe. You got wow. the most out of that. Yeah, you did. You know how uh, Jerry and Avi did? And, uh, They're out. They're out, them. did not cash. Both of them. Yep. You got to execute. Where are you going? Behind the six? Using the nine as a blocker. Didn't quite get there. No. Huh? No, no, no. But it's still who's blinking on the two ball because there's no nothing here. Suspense. Doesn't want to hit it. He did not want to hit it. Okay, so now Oscar probably cue ball on the five. No, I think he's only the cue ball down here. Yeah, he's gonna hide the cue ball down here and put the oh, two ball. I don't want to send the two probably. ball over there. Yep. Yeah, don't want to hit the nine ball. That's oh, no good. Leak out. Dang. That's no good. He's on the hill. He's shooting. You Maybe. like going for the two ball? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Seems super Try aggressive. Put him away. Putting him on the five ball just seems yeah. a lot more natural. Yeah. Might be tough to get on the three if you shoot it though too. What is he? What is he? Is he? Why don't you just make the ball? What kind of key is that? That's Has a flame I don't know. on Does it. He got like a, Does it say He's got one of those Bud Light cues. <laughs> huh? <laughs> players. Tell you what, that's hey, that's the players. ultimate hustle right there. The Bud Light cue. Yeah, 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 for sure. Let's screw this thing With together. With an unmarked Z shaft. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Sanding yeah. it off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it. I don't know. Wow, I can't believe he shot that. I think he was trying to play the, the key ball behind, behind the five, five. Yeah. yeah. And just came up real short. Yeah. Got to come with another, another big shot. Got it. So it's actually does. not a bad idea to get one of them old Walmart cues. Like two pieces. Oh, that's, oh, that's a move by the sport by craft players, for, for sure, sure dude. That's Walmart, a move. A little sport yeah. craft action. And then, yeah. and then just <laughs> like sand down a Z shaft and re. re uh, Put a new uh, joint in there. I've seen guys do that. I've known guys to do that with, like, not even phenolic collars on the joint. Like, real, they look like hustlers, right? But they'll just sand down, like, a really premium shaft. But it looks like a one-piece when you put it together. They look like they're grabbing it off the wall. Yeah. But it's not. You got the like, old sneaky yeah. piece. Yeah. The hustler. <laughs> Joey, yeah. Joey tried acting like he was playing with the house cue one time again. He's, he's, he's like, oh, I'm playing with the... I'm like, Joey, and first yeah. of all, I don't care if you're playing with the house cue. Because <laughs> yeah. he plays with a full deflection like regular cue right, yeah. anyway. Right. <laughs> Might as well be playing with the house The guy could pick up a house cue and play like God. I know, right? Joey Jabron? Yeah. 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 He plays good. You ever seen the guy play? Yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Nah, he's good. He's yeah, good. Oh, he got yeah. Yeah, oh, uh-oh, he's straight in. 
Whoa. I didn't know I was walking into the lion's den over I know, here, huh? Dude. Such a jerk. Yeah. You come all the way from Texas. You did not. <laughs> just you abusing did not you. walk into the lion's den, okay? I walked into the bat <laughs> cave. <laughs> <laughs> How did I know that was coming, dude? How did I know? I just set up too perfect for it. <laughs> Oh, Scott Oscar has earbuds a, in, so we're not disrupting him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and he's spotting him a game. Well, I thought it was going to be Hill Hill. Okay. Let's go. So Joao's been on the hill this whole time. Yep. <laughs> Where is Joao from? Peru, right? Or uh, is it Peru? Or? He plays out in Vegas. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I think But he's Peruvian, Vegas, right? Yeah. I think so. What keys are you guys raff raffling off? Uh, it's a Lucasi, the Rose Gold Series. Oh, cool. And uh, it's actually the Q of the Month up on the Lucasi page right now. Um, and then a Purex Jump Break Q. Okay, cool. Two different winners. One down. Uh -oh. Another ball down. Yeah. Okay, just like the last game, it's who's going to blink on the two ball. What do you like here, Batman? Hmm? You want to you just roll up on the ball? Um. Roll up on the two ball. <laughs> Try to get safe here. <laughs> wow, some mind-blowing yeah. tactics yeah, right there. Just yeah, you want to make sure the guy can't. I try see to hook him. him. You want to try to make sure the guy can't see the ball. Ah, okay. Yeah. Get your notepads out. Can he see the what, ball? What, what, are you, what are you gonna try and do here? Uh, I'm gonna try to hit the two. Ah, nice. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Batman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now we got to make a Batman emoji and a, and put Grubbs as Robin. <laughs> no, 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 no. Grubbs is not Robin. Grubbs is Brubs. I'll show you who's Robin. <laughs> Mike's pressing for it. I'm just, I know it's coming. I know something's coming. What? I'm, I'm not in Photoshop. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's fine. Yeah. I don't have it. I got it. <laughs> nice bluff. Full on bluff, that's yeah. what that was. Dude, that Harley Davidson cue's got me super tilted right yeah, now. Yeah, what's I mean, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Like, what in the world is going on here? I mean, with, I think with, it actually said in doubt on it. With Town V10. Right. <laughs> Where'd he go? Yeah. The, the chalk may be worth more than the cue. That's a 314 shaft. Yeah. Grounded? Grounded. Come on, just twist. Yeah, he's already locked in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right there would have been, uh, I would have been trying to hit that ball. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't listen. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes people have different strategies. All right. Yeah. He's still learning the game. Oh, yeah. He's got his starter cue still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's literally like a custom that costs him $17,000? Very well maybe. <laughs> it very well maybe. Every, loves every last flame is, yeah. is actually inlaid. Like inlaid, yeah, <laughs> in the cue. 
that's not a sticker. I'm at gonna all. say no. With unstained <laughs> but, wood, they yeah. just found recovered yeah. wood that's the right color. Yeah. You know, <laughs> took seven years to make it. Yeah, like an eighty-five thousand dollar cue. <laughs> You never know. You never you know. Never know. Well, some of those yeah. co-brother cues were crazy yeah. in Vegas, dude. Those were sick. Wasn't there one that was like seventy grand or something? Um, uh, no, oh, I think no. I think even wow, that might Oscar. be a game loser right there. That might be a match loser right there. That's what I mean. Yeah, uh, it's actually the same thing. At this point, this guy Wow's on the hill. Ah. You're always a step ahead of me, Batman. <laughs> That's what sidekicks are for. Yeah. I resemble that remark. Then I might go here, no? No. You don't think so? I love the way he kicked it. On the good side. Uh -oh. mm. It's hard to tell from that angle, huh? Well, he's got... Old man Ferguson in the chat. Yes. Oh, you can see the whole ball. Oh, hey, check this out. After this, we get to swap over to table four and watch Sargon Isaac play Vilmos Foldes. Oh. Good match. Well, that Vilmos guy hasn't played in a while. That's what they say. <laughs> He's still all right. He knows a thing or two. see the whole ball wow. this is really nice this is really nice man we might see it like if the speed control turns out the same where the the four ball keeps ending up like a ball to ball and a half away from the other short rail they could go back and forth like this all day with the way that the balls are sitting in the middle of the table because it lays, it around it yeah. lays really natural yeah. like if you get a full hit on the ball to just leave a hook or most of a hook you know six is playing pretty big here yeah yeah that all right? Looks like. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, sold no, out. Too far. It's no bueno. Oh, don't worry about it. Colin said they could do this all day. <laughs> could. <laughs> could. <laughs> Didn't say will. Yeah. Okay. Let's give Grubbs credit. He was right about the six ball. We don't say it often, but you were right. You don't have any proof it wasn't on mic. <laughs> <laughs> he has a mic. Oh, it's not plugged in. Yeah, it's not plugged in. <laughs> Dang. Uh oh. He almost missed it. Oh. Don't oh, do it. No. Oh, no. Tell me that seven goes. I don't know. close it's a six and a seven again dude it goes yeah. who goes there pop in here take one of these take one of these guys out of here Smells like a gym locker in here. <laughs> Smells like champion now. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Always. I mean, it's a pool hall, you know. It's we're here watching pool, so. And I really didn't want to have to say that again out loud. I mm. <laughs> appreciate you not letting it go. We're we're all adults here. We're all adults here. Oh boy. Batman oh boy. is next level oh petty. Don't worry. Oh boy. He knows. He knows. Uh oh. He overran the ball and got almost perfect. She's yeah, she's, it's mostly just hate uh, towards me. Just oh, yeah. tons of hate. I Trust get me, it. the chat knows I what get happened. It. I do. The chat Did, knows. You cursed her? No, I didn't curse oh. her. I just walked right in front of her when she was trying oh, to get on the hill. Good God. Yeah. 
May as well have done jumping jacks right in her shot line. Might as well have. It's difficult when you see a man this good looking just okay, cross <laughs> by. Well, now we know you're lying. What did you ask for? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now we know you're lying. <laughs> just sauntered by. Wow. There it is. Oh. Yikes. That does it for Oscar on the winner's side. Mm. Oh, no. Really? But, wow. folks. Don't go anywhere. We got a hell of a match right here. Who is this? Stay glued to your television screen. We've got... We've got... What's this guy's name? Sargon. We got Sargon Isaac, multiple-time oh. national snooker champion, playing Vilmos Foldes. Multiple-time Mez Tour Stop winner? Yeah. Yes. Many times. Many times. And a junior champion at some point, right? Oh, yeah. At some point. So, he yeah. must have won a tournament at some point. Oop. He's got a heck of a viral pool clip online of him playing a ridiculous oh, safety save. against, oh, yeah. against Long Dong. <laughs> that was the guy's name. So. It was. <laughs> he just couldn't I, wait I to say it. I it was like Luong Dong. No, I thought, okay. I thought it was Long. I thought it was L-O-N-G. <clears throat> Anyhow. Is yeah. it really? Well, you... Uh, Oscar was telling us we were talking about it last night. I guess I, I could be wrong, but I he could, was saying it was. It's really not pronounced quite like that. It's close. <laughs> oh, it does say. It does say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, there. Come on. Look down. Look down the line. Oh, uh, long. That's. They were just trying to get clicks. Correct. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Got it. I get it. Because everyone wa clicks Everybody on wants to watch videos the with that dog. name on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> well, if, if that's what they're Googling and then this is what they get, they're very disappointed. Yeah, I right. promise you that. Pool, what? Yeah. <laughs> we can make all the jokes, though. We put it in the hole. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're children here. Speaking of children, make sure they're at school or something right now because this, yeah, right. this show's for adults. M rated. It's Sunday. Yeah. Oh, Sunday, yeah, Sunday. we all just got back from church. <laughs> Why don't we all watch some pool together? Pool church. Hunt and go grab the kids. Savannah's killing it in the Andy, bandit, dude. Andy, She's up seven three now, someone said? She's in her homeroom. It's a free it's true. roll. True. I mean... Hell yeah. Pressure's off. I feel like... No, no, there's still a lot of pressure. Well, yeah, Don't for get sure. me wrong. And she's still playing great. And, but it's like a kind of ideal... Uh, conditions. Conditions. Yes. And then it's so wow. nice when you can make the most of it. Yeah. I hope she snaps it off. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Right. like she's 20 from, uh, grand or whatever. Yeah. Although, no, I have a friend from my homeroom playing there, Rakesh, and I don't know how he's doing because I haven't seen the Rakesh things. lost to her first round. 9-4. Okay, yeah. And then he he's the currently push. playing Oliver Tabaris, Tabaris and he's okay, down so he's four in. to three. Yeah, yeah, but he's on the bubble right now for fifth, sixth. Okay, no, but I mean he can keep going if he keeps winning, right? Mm -hmm. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She beat him nine four yesterday, right? That was the first round. Was so it? Sargon's mm -hmm. going to eight yeah, here, right? Yeah, yeah, and Vilmos is going to. So Vilmos is seven seven nine, I believe. It's Fargo. Safety? Just because it's tied up. 710 might not be far from Sargon. He might be a 701 now. That's a good little shot right there. Really yeah. nice. I like that. Pretty hittable. It oh, is. It's, uh, it's almost on the. So what happens though? Can you get. 698. Rather. If you get lucky, you can go around. He's under 700? Around. Tell you what, if you get lucky, you could make the 9 right here. Huh? Yeah, that's true. I mean, if we're talking about getting lucky, you could make the nine. <laughs> I said lucky, well, not likely. Oh, yes. Two Talk about tight, getting lucky, know. though. Yeah. Can you play this one up in the corner and, and swing into the eight right now? Because it sends the, eight, the two towards the corner. Yeah, that's good. He's going to take a look at it, see if the angle's there. No, he's rolling the ball, so. 
Oh, he went for the oh. bank to send the cue ball into the eight. And <laughs> oh, wow. Just perfect. Oh, man. Where's the... <laughs> Ouch. I mean, if I was out there and playing him, I'd give him the old sarcastic snap. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Show me yeah, the jelly rolls shot. in the chat, guys. Yeah, right. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Stargon's like, wow, oh, what did I, scratcher. what did I do to deserve that? Oh, seven seven two. Thank you. I knew it was seven seven. Current score two to zero. Not really sure who's up. Looks like, oh, on the looks like Adrian Prasad rolled right through Joey Jabron. If he's still hitting balls, that means he's still in the tournament. Oh, he switched jerseys. Oh, that's his jacket. Never mind. Joey, uh, uh, tall gentleman, white Jabron. shirt. Jabron, yeah. yeah. Okay. Joey. Uh, wow, because he was, he was rolling. <laughs> Tony Johan's like, uh, like they would, they learned one, one pocket together, playing oh. each other. Okay. Yeah, I was watching him hit balls earlier. <laughs> Very interesting. It's an style. adventure. Correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes it very effective, though. And he's a very intelligent, like, very good pool sense. He's not, like, the best at, like, teaching what he knows, but good Lord, can he read the table well. But he knows what he knows, yeah. But because of his unconventional style, stance and stroke and all that, his mm -hmm. talent is kind of hidden. Yep. For sure. First time is I that ever. Phil? Hi, Phil. First time I ever saw Phil, or Phil, for, uh, Joey. Joey, run deep or like really saw how good he could play it was at the Chuck Markoulis where, uh, like all the pros showed up because of the West Coast Swing and then the mm -hmm. the U.S. Open mm -hmm. or sorry the the World Eight Ball Bar Box Championships in Reno or whatever. I think that year he got like. Uh, something ridiculous like ninth through 12th or 7th 8th or something in that field like he just popped off one pocket no nine ball oh nine ball wow. yeah in the field that had like everybody the year that, yeah. that Carlos Carlo Beato and, oh, and Oscar yeah, were in the finals yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. He's so wow. These snooker guys are so good at going Dude. straight through the ball, right. even when you're trying to get a lot of motion out of the cue ball. Pool players, especially those not over 700 far, <laughs> uh, are really good at like trying to steer the cue ball to get more motion, and then you end up missing the ball. You know what I mean? You overcut it to get the cue ball to move. I but, feel attacked. But these, <laughs> but these these snooker players are all so freaking good at just going straight through the ball no I matter feel what. Personally attacked. Personally attacked. Yeah. Well, I mean. Never mind. I was gonna make a, I was <laughs> gonna make a joke that was really out of line. No. Don't you dare! <laughs> oh God! You are within reach right now. Yeah. So I, I gotta be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I am feeling rather violent today. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does say Dragon Lady on her shirt, Collins? Don't forget. Yeah. That match with Chong, my first match, like was. Yeah. We were both a little struggly, you know, it mm -hmm. was hill hill, and then. I was like always trying to catch up, and uh, he was nervous. Yeah, I could tell he was nervous because he wasn't like shooting at. He was playing a lot of safeties even when he had open shots. And so he finally goes hill, hill, and then I break dry, and the guy runs out in like 37 seconds, like it's yeah. nothing. And I was like, what the? What just happened? Where was <laughs> like this the 20? game before this? You were just ducking and weaving because you didn't want to shoot a straight in ball. Like what yeah. happened? It was annoying. Yeah. We streamed the last probably five games of that match. It was uh, it was really interesting. Good match. Oh, good. Then you got to see me miss. Yep. And then miss. <laughs> yep. And then miss. That's what I was saying. Oh, my God. She missed again. And then... And then you got to the table again. I was like, what are you going to do? Miss again? And then you did. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, oh I'm watching that. And you em. did that. We no, got... We got... It. We're... We're... Oh. I did. Oh, it's on. I did. Oh, we're fighting. <laughs> I'm going to fly back up here just, just to rip your eyes out. Okay, like, just... Cool. <laughs> 100% accurate. <laughs> nice out by Sarkon. Or Sarkon. Sargon. We have a Sarkon, too. Yeah, there's a Sarkon in the APA yeah. league out here. Let's see what the score is. What do you guys say? I say it's 
gonna be two I'd one. I'd say he's two one. What's happening Wait, here? He doesn't remember. Figured or, out. Maybe it's first game. Is it? No. What? What? Huh? What? Hmm? Super tease. What's happening right now? Oh. Three nothing. It's it's two to zero. He marked as one game extra. I'm assuming that's yeah. what happened. Mm. I'm gonna ask them just because we showed up late to the match. Still going, Melissa? No, I'm out. Me too. Yeah. You were never in. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't lose this weekend. <laughs> Saved 140 bucks. Yeah, so Sargon has scored two games. Okay. Two games. Yeah. So he got one on the wire. Yeah. That that putting the the one up first. It's good for the players. But it gets a little confusing what happened to me against CJ. Yep, 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 and yep. then he got to seven, but he had put his game up already, and he turned to, like, shake my hand, and I was like, no, you need to go one more. Yeah. You pretty oh, much yeah. your game. Yep. Yeah. People be playing. Oh, I don't think he intentionally oh, no, was I know, trying I know, to. No, he wasn't intentionally trying to but make no, people or anything. It's, to, like, yeah. it's easy to overlook just, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you just yeah, kind of moment. forget you did that. Because he's like, all of my matches have been, like, races to seven. Sargon is definitely one of those players that's uh, capable of uh, putting some serious heat on Vilmos, and specifically because the strongest part of Sargon's game is his ball pocketing. And so, if the if the table's open and Vilmos makes a mistake, Sargon's one of those guys that's almost always going to convert. You know. So there's three beads up, but you only have two on the scoreboard. So how's that? That's the, confusing. The, the, the games. The beads are for right. the players. Oh, okay, I got it. All right. Yeah, because right, right. yeah, right, right. Yeah, the nine eight race. So that yeah, the people yeah, yeah. at home, it's easy for them to know. Exactly it is confusing, how many, actually. Yeah, it's, right. it's how, we do it like this, so the play, the people at home know how many games right, each right. player has won. Right. Ooh. Oh. This is though, I think, a little bit where you've already seen a miss safety and a couple of missed kicks mm -hmm. from the Sargon, so it's going to be the. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's obviously Vilmos's. Vilmos is going to be very, very much favorite in that part of the game. He said, hello, chat man. <laughs> so Vilmos looks, I, I always, I just love him, but he just, he always looks just bored playing. Like, huh? Is it going to go in? Is it going to, I don't really care. I'm just going to go up, shoot it. It's fine. Whatever. Whatever happens. Whatever happens, happens. See, I think he just yawned and did like a... <laughs> he does this a lot. He does this a lot. Yeah. Why not? Just conserve the, you know, make sure you get the real, you know, steep mm -hmm. angle to come across, you know. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Watch him try to get right between the six, like seven, six, and the nine. Right in that gap. Right in I that. thought you were going to say he, he looks uh -oh. like a villain. No, <laughs> a villain. He looks like he, he a villain. Like he looks like a, he looks like a movie villain. Ha. No. A little bit. No. 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 Okay. no. Like what type of movie villain? Like from uh, Taken. Despicable Me. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I think. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding because uh, uh, Fetter looks like Gru. He totally does, yeah. No, he does not. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. No, he, does. he, does. he knows no, it. No, yeah. he does not. I agree. He looks just like him. I mean, obviously, without the big, huge nose. I actually used to work for a man <clears throat> who looked like like Gru. I mean, he's he was from Eastern Europe somewhere. He spoke like 14 different languages, wore a sweater vest, but drove a Maserati. He was a... Uh, we were pretty sure he was a spy. <laughs> Does that make you a spy like if you're working for him? I don't no, know. no. That's what a spy would say. That's true. Uh, your boy Rakesh is down five to three. Again. That Oliver Tavares. Okay, well, that's okay. Rakesh plays good, and Rakesh has like grind. I know he could do it. It's the race too. Nine. Yeah, he's got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Some steps. 
<laughs> That's the thing about like a Sargon. Like they look like he just looks like he hits it so like soft. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like so controlled. It's really nice. I like watching soccer it's players play so like that. so straight. So straight the way he goes through the ball. It's so consistent. But... <laughs> he even chalks like a snooker player. <laughs> you watch you ever watch Mark Selby there? Mm -hmm. Buddy, you ever watch Mark Selby? Yeah, <laughs> it's like models his entire game. Mm, I don't like that choice. I don't like that choice. Time to let that cue ball just rip around the table and cut this ball in. Yeah, you just shoot it to the inside, yeah. right? Yeah, sure. I just make that. Come, come. You said rip the cue ball, so I mean. Send it. Yeah, somebody called me a granny. Uh, anyway. Wow. Who's the granny? Yeah, that's me. Good shot. It Sarno. didn't even have to rip it. If you don't know who this is, you're living under a rock. <laughs> That. I don't know. Must be maybe. Uh... And I, is that a misprint on the shirt? Billiard. There's like an extra D in there, right? What? <laughs> I what swear to you, it says. You're gonna Bill, see it. Billiard. Yeah. Oh, is that the snooker room that's up the street that's, like, uh, made by some guys out of the Middle East? Maybe. Maybe. But that shirt has an extra D right there. <laughs> I thought it was like, I'm like, what is happening with my eyesight right now? Sander Tot? Yeah, you do know. Mm-hmm. No. I don't. Not familiar. There. Billiard. Uh, but that's not how it's spelled on that thing. It doesn't say billiard. It says... The R and the D are it switched. Goes, it, it says spelled, billiard. It's spelled B-I-L-L-I-A-D-R-D-S. Billiardrids. <laughs> I love playing billiards. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll have to ask Sarah about uh, that. if he knows that it's got a typo. Oh, I'm sure he knows it has a typo, but like, I yeah. You know. Where the typo came from, yeah. yeah. Good stuff. I think it's like the. <laughs> the soccer goalie is trying to distract um, the players with the bright colors. Like that, but... Maybe, yeah. Yeah, what, why do the Yankees <laughs> always win? Why? Because the other guys are busy looking at the pinstripes. Must be from a movie or something. No? Yeah. Oh. Christopher Walken. <sighs> you, you, you just... Oh my god. Just anything that's said by Christopher Walken. Oh my shot. Did he get there? Yeah. Most deaf. Nope. Yeah, you got there. Yeah, you got there.
billiards. Mm, good oh, shot. Jesus, almost. Sargon, Sargon did one of these when when that happened. Sargon did one of these. <laughs> like that. Like, oh snap, okay. <laughs> That, that is so nice. So well controlled. What channel has Savannah? Savannah's channel. Savannah, yeah, the Roadrunner Easton, mm -hmm. or MOB Billiards Productions. Or MOB Productions, maybe. Mm. She is I don't love that. That's all right. I mean, he's okay, but I don't love this this shot that he just left himself with. It is on her own channel, right on. Look at that. You see that? He just went one, two, three, four rounds back and forth. Oh, I need to put some tickets in that. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to do it before I... Yeah. The two tickets will be drawn. The first winner will get a toy for The second winner will get a left over. Um, Rubs, you want the captain's chair? Uh, I'm going to keep it score. Who got that last one? Vilmos? Vilmos. Look at you go. No, that's about the only thing I can do. Oh, okay. The, 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 then when it gets to like moving the cameras, I just. <laughs> you know. Somebody taking a little break or? Who? No, 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 no. I just didn't see anybody at the table. Yeah. Where's Oscar playing on the next table to the right or to the left? Are they just calling him now? No, I think he was playing right now. Oh, is he playing? Um, I see Eric Stanley, one of the locals, is playing on this table. Oh, no, Oscar's match just finished. That's right. He lost to Joao. That's mm. right. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Never Mitch mind. is playing, though. Mitch. Mitch and Chong. Oh, Mitch Ellerman. Mm. And Chong. Chong. Chong Bang. Bang? Yes. I don't know where they're playing, though. Which table? Can he's, you see? He's over, over there. Over there. I don't see him, so it must be over there somewhere. It doesn't look like anybody's playing on one or two. Hmm. Was it maybe just called? Maybe. Alright. What are we doing here? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if the two nine goes, maybe he's just gonna try and play position on that. Looks like it. Yeah. He really made, wanted to leave himself yeah, was, on the I rail. Was, I was gonna say if you can like get kind of straight or like above it a little bit, try and play safe on the three too, like play the combo, but try and like stick behind the three maybe. But not from here. He doesn't. Wow. Care. See. Wow. All right. Well, he gets the old tap. That's, that's, that's why uh, he's like, I don't care if I'm on the rail. <laughs> like, wow. I, I'm like two inches from the ball. <laughs> like, I'm never making that, you know? But That's good. Good for him. I mean, I, I know we talked, Sagan and I are friends. We chatted a little yeah. bit before this match, and he, mm -hmm. uh, he was saying he was struggling in his last match. So it's oh. good to see him like playing well this one. You yeah. know what I mean? Absolutely. That's the thing about the 600. I feel like the the, the mid 600 to, to high is the consistency, right? I mean, 
Uh, like, you, ju- like it's just the difference between the 700 and the Yeah, and the, 650 to like 700. It's just yeah. You yeah. just have the, the, these times where you could play so good, right. make such great shots, and then just really, you know, one little thing will affect the confidence of somebody in that 650 to like 700 range. Right. But then you start getting into the 700s and the, they, they, they just play the, the yeah. pretty much the same. Just more the consistent, most, yeah. For the most part. Watch out, cue ball. Which song is playing now? <laughs> Here we go. I think, I think, all right, we can get it. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh, there it is. Somebody's a fan of the song. What is this? My Way Remix. Ooh, I just got there, too. All right. Where did I put that? Somebody's a fan of the music. <laughs> I don't think that's where he meant to be. I don't think it goes past the six. No. Just... Yeah, I think he wanted to be like right there. <laughs> so he could shoot the two in the opposite corner. Yeah. He's aggressive. He's looking. He's like yeah. trying to figure so... out. I guess he's just playing the combo? No, look, maybe oh, he's playing goes. safe here, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's the thing. The, the way I, these pockets are tough. Other diamonds yeah. that I've played on take that ball. Oh, it, yeah? It, it, hit, it hit inside the pocket, like, there. Right. But <clears throat> Deep shelves? Or the way it's cut, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just play pool. I just play pool. <laughs> <laughs> I just look at it and go, well, that's that. if I hit it there, then I can't hit it there again because it's not going to go in. <laughs> yeah. Wow, James is a little behind. <laughs> <laughs> So how did you feel about your performance? Uh, overall in the tournament, yeah. today specifically. I like uh, overall. Um, wow, I'm not, the finish was good. I'm yeah. just, I'm not real happy with how I played. I played yeah. one really solid match yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Um, I played spotty before that, but yeah. just happened to, you know, have the opponents where, or the, the match where I could I could do that and get away with it, like right. some of the mistakes that I made. Yeah. So, um, it's okay. It's okay. I, got I know s- what you were talking about with the. Yeah. I, I got spooked by these tables a little bit. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Things like that, where yeah. you hit a ball where you think it's good or where you normally play and practice at, and it would go in on those tables, and then it doesn't. Yeah. And then you start to question yourself. Well, like, oh, yeah. how do I. I that. If I thought I hit it good. And it didn't go in. Yeah. Then how am I supposed to hit it? You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Like sometimes I play on table one, or I go over to the, there's the joint HQ downtown. I don't know mm-hmm. if you played there. They're different. You know, it's just yeah. like there's certain tables over there that just little differences even. Yeah. You know, like yeah. like playing on a gold crown. You know, and like like I play on gold crowns, and the the difference in height messes me up. It takes me it takes me like a few minutes to like. Get mm-hmm. to where I feel comfortable with my stance. Yeah, like, we play like I said. I play on diamonds at home, but yeah. I, they just play a little bit different than these ones do. And <clears throat> oh. oh, got a little rub <laughs> to slow that down.
see what happens here. He's gonna try and swing around the eight and nine. Maybe play the seven in the side. Uh, I'd just go forwards. So that's probably the wrong shot. <laughs> no, he's putting that English on it, so yeah. he's trying to come around them. Yeah. Yeah, he wants to play that in the side, but it came up a little bit short, but he's gonna that's be alright. That's the only reason I. I mean, it's still fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's no, fine. yeah, he's got a natural yeah. angle here yeah. to, to come one, two, three rails over. Right. Get cue ball kind of back where it's at right now right. for the eight ball, so. Seems like he's a little tentative, like he's leaving yeah, himself a little bit longer than he yeah, should yeah. the whole time, but that's all right. This would be a good win for Sargon. That right there is the, the stroke that like Collins is talking about where yeah. he's so good at just going <laughs> straight through the ball like Chef B2? Oh um Asian player uh uh Tedito? <laughs> he's the, uh, he who's passed. So. I don't know if he's talking about in the tournament. I don't. Uh, yeah. There was a Chet Ito. Or, yes. Yeah. I don't not know. That I, not that I know of. I haven't. I don't think I've seen a, that name. Oh man. Balls, oh man. Things are just not going right for Vilmos at all here. Oh, is it 5 1? It is, yes. How long do you think it'll take me to get to the airport from here? <laughs> uh, that like thirty minutes. Yeah, approximately. Yeah, I I drive to, and that's where I work. So. Oh, at the um, airport. Um, well, not at Close the airport, by. but like around. Gotcha. So yeah. God, they, I I got a. It's not every day that I work there. There's like different stations. Mm -hmm. But so I so I got a call and they're like. They told me, oh, you need to bring something back to the station. And I'm like, well, you know, can I just wait until, <laughs> until are you paying me to drive all the way? <laughs> you know, like it's like a 45 minute drive. From, but yeah. And they said, oh, we called you earlier. I said, well, you didn't leave a message. So. <laughs> uh. That's what that's what I thought, uh, Mike Myers. But I don't, I don't think that's what he's talking about. Mm. Yeah, that's a shot I, I uh, expect a player like him to make. You, you know, know, it felt like he kind of, I don't, don't want to say like gave up on the shot, but it mm. like he wasn't comfortable with it and right. just pulled the trigger anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it almost felt in his body language he didn't expect to make that one. Yeah. Which is weird. I uh, I know that feeling well. <laughs> Ooh, a little table drift there. Kind of rolled back over a toward the eight bit. ball. Yeah. It was hmm. almost at perfect speed anyway. Little draw here out, kind of to make sure you don't run into the eight ball. Did Grubbs commit any felonies while I was gone? Absolutely. <laughs> no, I think he did the score all right. He was... all right. Yeah, I even like paid attention. Did a great job. What? 
No way. The score is right, isn't it? Isn't I it? Think so. <laughs> Nobody yelled at me in chat, so. I was just talking about how much I love how, like, when Vilmos makes a shot, like, where the cue ball has to move a lot, he'll make the shot, and then he'll stand up and, like, stand back, like, where's it going to end up? And then it just, like, ends up perfect, and you're like, <laughs> like, like he was even wondering, you know? Right. Why is Mike calling me? Teach Mike how to use Photoshop. <laughs> That's what he was calling for. Yeah, well, just to ask like, for a hey, lesson. Do you, hey, do you have this thing? And it's like, well, yeah, you have it too. You just have to pull it out of the thing that we have. You know, like it's on the flyer, but you have to like pull it, the flyer apart and take just the piece that he wants. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't know how to do that. I don't think Stargun knows how close he came to making that nine ball just now. Like the cue ball across just just barely like avoided kissing it in. Mm. This is a one loss side match. Right? Yep, correct. Only players left on the winner side are Chong, Mitch, Joao, and who? Angelo. Angelo. Okay. Angelo All right. Angelo Ines. Yeah. Nope, you got it. It's Melissa. Thank you. I said welcome back. I said thank oh, you. That's so sweet. Melissa, you're so sweet. You're such a sweetheart, you know? Uh, I really gave Collins the business, though, for, like, walking straight in front of me, shooting oh an eight ball. God, I was sweating. <laughs> Shaking out of fear. But again, had I been you actually, focused, I, you, I wouldn't have even noticed you there. You, you but because actually I'm struggling. got me to, like, really feel bad. <laughs> like, yeah, it worked. Whatever you were trying to do, it worked. <laughs> But if I'm in if I'm in a focus, like uh, you could have run a parade through there and I wouldn't have even noticed. Sure. So I was already out of out of focus. So you would just kicked me when I'm down instead of. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, Vilmos slops the ball in and leaves himself incredibly difficult here. Screwed, I would say. <laughs> How play. do you get out from here? Or how do you... I don't mean get out, but I mean, like, get out of this predicament, you know? Uh, I don't know. Like, reliably. I don't know how you don't, don't sell know. out. Yeah, that's a tough one, right? Yeah. The way you're going to hit this ball, if you miss it, there's a good chance you're just going to leave it kind of hanging in front of the hole. I figured he'd do something like, like this, it. but it's still pretty easy to... No, look wow. at this. Look at this. It's not Kali'i perfect, but it was pretty good. Yeah, thank you for the clarification. Yeah. It's amazing that he didn't even make it to today. This is my friend Clay here at Eastern Sierra Pool. Like, just absolutely putting me on blast that I'm an 800 Fargo with the guilt trip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is. Maybe like 850. World class for sure. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, Sargon, might be time to just, uh... Well, you gotta make sure you touch the one. You gotta make sure that you hit the one before you hit any of the other balls. Yeah. I don't... This is a tough one for him to, to shoot it the way he's shooting it. You can't really come in behind it. You're gonna hit it just then. 
Is it I might actually just kick at this one, even if I can see it, just a piece of the one. Because I don't see how he could play safe here. Unless he can see more of the one that I think he can. I think the kick still sells out anyway. Yeah. Not too shabby. Not great, but not too shabby. Did you do what? Did you lose resolution overall, or is it just on this screen? What do you mean? It looks like like a cartoon right there, almost, right? It that that monitor. Yeah. And this one are 720p, and they're 32 inches, oh, so okay. they're, it's just not a high resolution monitor. Okay. I don't know why it felt like it got fuzzier right there, so. What's been the best match you've seen so far as tournament? Best match? Yeah. Oh, what don't say Kali, don't say it, don't say it. There was one last night that was really good. I don't remember. Yeah, there was one last night okay. that was really good. I think it was the, the third to last match I streamed. Last night. That's a good shot by Bumbles, actually. He took that spin, and you have to basically avoid hitting the four because he could have accidentally hit it over there and gotten himself bad. You think that seven goes by the nine? Or is he going to have to play a combo? Almost certainly. Almost certainly not. Oh, I'm surprised that five went just now. What Somebody's saying the Jeremy match was good. Was it the Jeremy Long match? Yeah, maybe that was it. There was one with Jeremy and... Oops. Let me, let me see if I can find it. I'm just going to skim through the matches from yesterday real quick. Oh, he's going to come under. He's going to play the... Uh... The old Karim. Yeah, I like it. The old Karim Bola. Jeremy Friday night fight match was the best. Uh, if that's what I think it is, then I agree. No, the Friday night fight match actually wasn't very good, but Jeremy played outstanding. Uh, Ross, it was a blowout. It was 13 to 2. That's why I said I think I agree that it was probably the best. Oh. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> is Mitch and, are Mitch and Chong playing right now somewhere? Somewhere, somewhere. Uh, I think there's... No, Chong is knocking balls around on table okay. seven. I think they're saving that match for this table. I want to see how Chong plays against Mitch. I know how he played against me. Yeah. Which made me surprised that he kind of, I think, blew out Carl because he beat him, what, like 8-2, right? Yeah. That's an even race to eight. Um, so he must have like really stepped it up playing Carl compared to how he played against me. Oh, look at this. Where's the two going to end up? Right in the way. Wow. That's sick. Hey, if you go two rails at this ball, you can make the nine. Hey, if you miss it, though, you're going to dead sell out. So might be better to just push and make the nine. Does the one go by the three? I mean, you can't leave him any kind of shot at this. You've got to push. doesn't really like kicking either. Yeah. I don't either. I don't love this. He's going to be kicking now. You know, there haven't really been any very close streamed matches. Okay. All right. It might have been yours. The end of yours and then the... No, I didn't say which one was close. I oh, said which one oh, has been a great match. Oh, Joao and Oscar. Okay. Dude. Joao playing Oscar there on table five was a really interesting match. You got to put your listening ears on, bro. <laughs> yeah, but I, I can't put my listening ears on if I don't have my thinking brain in. <laughs> That's a, nice a good little shot. Kick there, yeah. yeah.
airborne. Easy game. The game is easy, folks. I got the old tap from Sarko. It's a good shot. It's too dark. <laughs> Billiard Erds. Billiard Erds. Billiard Erds. Brids. Brids. Is he cutting in the side? I I think he's just going to shoot it in the corner. I spear it in the corner yeah. and draw back a little bit, yeah. Yeah, that's probably what he's going to do. Yeah. Yup. Leaves you like a cheatable pocket where you can like cheat to the right tangent line to just stun up to the four, you know? Could even stop the rock, play the four nine combo. It's easy, it's hanging. It's right there. I'm joking. Oh boy, bad tangent that. line. Needed to needed to cut that just a touch more, I think. Well, I think he let up on the stroke a little bit. He let it out. Yeah, he maybe, was yeah. To... Like went forward a little too mm -hmm. much, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Easy safety here. Yeah. yeah, he's going. He's going, yeah. See how he likes it. His name is Bill Mose. <laughs> Look, did you see how he looks to the side because he came up short and he can't follow to the six ball? He's like just annoyed. He's like, come he's on, come man. around two rounds. Of course he will, but or it's, what about no? The high inside ball doesn't go. Never mind. That's not good. It's not good. It's perfect. It's not good. Ooh, that was close. I'm sorry, what was that, Colin? Oh, really did you say it was perfect? Really did you say it was perfect? perfect. Honestly, though, if Kelly even would have hit that. <laughs> I'm sorry, where's he today? No? What happened? He just realized. He just realized he should give everyone else a chance, so he left. But he won that match last night. Did he have an, he, he must have had another one after that. Yeah. Wow. If he watches this back, he'll realize he maybe just needs to work on the kick and just a hair. So the guy who played Oscar Joao. Yeah. I have not, I don't think I've seen him before. I don't remember that name. He's um, a 710 Fargo out of Vegas. Out of Vegas, okay. It's like I don't remember him from other Mez maps from before. Have you seen uh, Fetter's collab with. Uh, the with, Swizzle? With Drew Cleary, yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. You gotta put the Swizzle stroke. Cleary makes the best videos. Yeah, that's funny. Like on the best pool videos on the interwebs. He is very funny indeed. Have you met him? Not in person, no. A rap video. <laughs> uh, Matt Druid, my name's Collins. Collins Nui, this is my channel. Post Up is my channel. I'm going to be streaming the entire, every stop of the West Coast Tour, the Lukasi West Coast Tour. This is Melissa Helen. Top notch. Granny. Cool player. Granny. Top notch granny. Even though I have no children. <laughs> Top notch sass. Top notch Q. Little wave from Sargon on the break there. Dry break leaves no shot on the one ball. It says Bill Mose can beat Mitch Allerman, in my opinion. But, can is but, the but also word. Mitch can also beat Bill Mose. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a... can is the operative <laughs> word there. I would say that out of the three top players in this tournament, those being Oscar, Vilmos, and Mitch, from what I've seen, Mitch is playing the best pool and breaking the best. Okay. Yeah, he's bold breaking, statement. He's no, he is. He's breaking, <laughs> unbelievable. Bold prediction, Cotton. <laughs> and 
just running out like from everywhere. Yeah. Like every like every shot on the the table's a hanger. Oscar, Ooh, Oscar. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, that's nice, right? That's very kind of you. Oscar, you know, I don't know how he does it playing in the tournament and also because this is his pool room. Yep. Right? So he's running with the tournament. He's dealing with anything that goes wrong in the pool room. Yep. Sometimes even jumping behind the bar. Jumping behind the bar. Yeah. yeah. It's probably the most distracting. Yeah. So. Hey, Tony Best asks, what, what cues do you play with? I have a tiger that I've been playing with tiger since I think 2006, 2008, somewhere around there. And then right prior to COVID, I switched uh, just to a carbon fiber shaft. So I played with the synergy huh. and then I have uh, a mez brake cue and jump cue, the air drive two, jump cue and the power brake. Right on. Right on, right on. Hey, what's up, Brandy Beckett? You might be at a different part in the video because uh, Melina Mike is not in the booth. Well, I think she just wants us to say hi. No, gotcha. <laughs> Maybe. So Vilmos pushes and Sargon takes the push and sells dead out. And all of a sudden, things are looking a lot like five to five. The three doesn't pass the eight, but Vilmos has options. The side pockets are in play. Uh, the two balls really close to the three. So he should be able to get He's gotta be good careful control here. of the cue ball after the shot. Five, I was going to say. He just doesn't want to like slide off the five Well, this is the interesting because where are you playing the three now? Just right gonna, there. You're just going to follow the cue ball up and down all the way? Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? It's all about speed control here. Yeah, what could go wrong? I mean, you, you almost have like a little bit of a stopper ball with the eight, depending on how it comes in at that angle. You just don't want to slide behind it, but that's not going to get there. That's coming a little short. Nope, perfect. What am I talking about? Holy shit. That's clearly perfect. No? Almost. <laughs> Almost. Who's up next? Mega Fat G, I believe we're going to be watching Chong Vang play Mitch Ellerman on the winner side. It's between that or Angelo Ines versus. Why am I spacing? Joao. Joao. If that's, <gasps> oh, he bobbled that ball. If that's not wow. already underway. That is shocking. Cause I thought when he hit it, it's good. it was good. Shocking. Shocking, shocking. Didn't really leave Sargon much here, though. If we don't see Joao versus Angelo underway, then that means we have the option to watch either match. You guys want to do a vote in the chat? Let's do a vote. We're going to stick a poll in the YouTube chat. We're going to go which winners, winners. Well, you were about to type which winners, but I, I get that too. Which winners side match Mitch versus Chong or Angelo? versus Joao. Has Chong been on a stream yet? Uh, other than in your match? No. Hmm. Honestly, personally, I think I'd personally rather watch Angelo versus Joao because I think that I think the Mitch match is going to be a blowout because Mitch is playing so good, but we'll see. Well, I think, yeah, Angelo and Joao are probably not the typical ones you would think would be on the mm -hmm. top four on the winner side, mm -hmm. so maybe. They're both dead, like, 7-10 Fargos. In my book, I know Angelo's currently under 700, but uh, he... Yeah, I don't think he's really been taking the game very seriously in many competitions, and, and now he's late in the tournament, and so I think he's going to play... Some some of his better pool, you know what I mean? Jackie said Mitch plays so fast, we'll end up watching both. It's true. If you put Mitch on... We will on... probably end up pulling the, cue, or the, the camera over to... Uh, that's the Freudian slip right there. Pulling the cue ball over to watch another table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but she's right. If you put Mitch on, it'll be over. Yeah. it could be over so quickly that you could then catch the second half of the other match. Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, okay, it's it's a landslide vote. Is it? Mitch and Chong. It's 80-20. Following oh. the Pareto principle, we'll end the poll right there. There you go. Nerd. You said the Pareto principle, you nerd. It okay. is. I know, but... <laughs> like... <laughs> a rather Ziffian... A rather ziffy result. Z I P F. Carl, Carl's in a match right now, right? Carl lost to. Chong. Chong. Chong, yeah. 8 2. So I think he's waiting to play somebody. Oh, it looked like he was already down there playing <coughs> Jeremy? Could it be Carl and Jeremy? In in the tournament room, I think? Uh, it, well, Jeremy, I think Jeremy was sitting there with them, right? Randy, oh, Randy. on table one. Yeah. Certainly looks like a match to me. Sit and relax, Carl. Be comfortable. Looks like a 1-1 one, one to me. Unless they're just warming up trading racks. Mm-hmm. That's probably it. You don't think they're playing? Yeah, they're playing. <laughs> mm. Hey, John O'Connor. No, I'm not really looking at Facebook chat for the last little while. Uh, last few weeks, we've only been on YouTube. I'm trying to find a solution where I can get both chats involved but still have the YouTube emojis on screen. It's almost. It's a little bit of a... This shot has been giving me trouble all tournament. This just slight back cut. I was hitting them to the fat part of the pocket and then they weren't going in and then I was like okay then I started overcutting them probably missed 15 balls like that this time which is crazy the fact that I couldn't adjust was that was what that 8-ball was yeah. or was that no that okay. was a different angle okay, that was I, you walking in front of I me I thought that would have let me um, off the hook <laughs> yeah I already let you off the hook oh uh, right what time is it look here? how thick he hit that ball yeah Holy, pull out the thickest cage in the chat. That was mighty thick. He's cutting it in anyway. Oh, he second guessed it. I do not like. I do not like this, Sam. I am. I don't like back cutting this ball. I would try and cut it to the side, maybe. I'd rather bank it personally, just because I never make the ball back cutting it. But at least on the bank, I'm, wow. I'm like 30, 40 percent, and. I can uh, put the cue ball on the short rail and the, the nine ball ends out in the middle of the table. That's just me playing against other players my speed. You know mm -hmm, what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where if I'm playing Vilmos, I'm literally just assuming that if I miss it, I lose the game. Correct, but, yeah. But, uh, yeah. I just never make it with the back cut. It just never goes. Right. The problem with the back cut, though, is exactly what you saw right sure, there. Is that it sure. pretty much hangs like that. You know yeah. what I mean? If you try and cut it to the side, you could you could catch a couple of points, maybe get a good roll, leave it terrible. You know what I mean? Sure. That's a tough one. But I gave somebody advice where I was like, he, he was playing me. This was in like league recently. He, I don't he, mean, sorry to cut you off. Do you think Vilmos might be a little frustrated? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she all hit the balls. Good Lord. And uh, he, he missed a nine ball against me. And he said, he goes, I, I was just trying to figure out where I could, I, like if I missed, what was going to leave you the worst shot. Because he, he didn't know to shoot it in the corner of the side. Yeah. And I said, that's your problem right there. I said, you were so focused on what was going to happen if you missed. That you didn't. That you missed. That you didn't follow, follow all the <laughs> steps you needed to make the ball. Yeah. Sure. This is nice. I'm jumping all day, every day this ball. I am not because I don't want to. That's a little bit of a cluster. And I don't want to accidentally break those up. Oh. So if I have a kick, I'm kicking. I Yeah, so when I jump, I'm actually not planning, obviously, to make it. But the, the one ball comes. I'm thinking the one ball's going to come this way and maybe run into them. But yeah. the cue ball, like, naturally wants to slide No, but this if you way. don't get over, if you, if you oh, jump I, and you hit these balls, you, you may gotcha. literally I, break all of that out. I am getting over them. Okay. Yeah. 
Jumping, well, then. Ju- uh, no, I, I like oh, jumping no, a lot. Oh, no, no, never mind, never mind. No, I like jumping a lot. I'm just saying I'm going to get over okay. that. All right, Colin. I'm not, like, trying to make, like, a, like a egotistical statement. I didn't know you were that it's good. Just, I'm just It's saying. just fact. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. yeah. God, I thought, I thought... I thought when Melina Mike got out of the booth, things were going to go smooth and everyone was going to get along. But you asked for this. I'm pretty sure I have it. I'm pretty sure I have it in a chat where you were like, "I'm looking forward to the yeah, sass." Yeah, exactly. So, so, so quit your whining. All right. I'm just saying. No, that attitude. You mess with the bull, you get the horn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what movie is that from? The you mess with the bowl, you get the horn. Yeah. Breakfast Club, baby. No, but there's like a there's a Mm-mm. isn't there like a more recent one where the guy's like quoting him and it. What is this? Look how fast he just moves to oh, the next he's, shot he's when so he's mad annoyed. Right now. Yeah. That's an interesting thing about Vilmos. Send it. Pretty good speed on both balls, though. Mm-hmm. I am satisfied, he says. See, Breakfast Club, one hundred percent. It's a little you mess with the bull, you get the it? horns. The principal, or vice principal? What is he? Vice principal, principal, it's principal. I've never seen Bre- Breakfast Club, and that's funny <gasps> that I know <gasps> the quote. Oh, <gasps> you've never seen it? Yeah. Oi. Oi, you just. That's like minus 10 HP. Maybe 20. I don't even know. Can Sargon see it? it? Doesn't look like he's kicking. Oh. They used the quote in Madagascar. What's Madagascar? The 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 the, the animal cartoon? Movie. The animal cartoon okay. of the okay. the animals in the zoo. You're getting a lot of hate in the chat for not seeing Breakfast Club. <laughs> well I got a lot of hate in the chat for not knowing who Luther Lasseter was. <laughs> Sorry, my millennial is showing. I was what? born in 89. Let me put it this way. I was born in 89 into a, a Mormon family. I was not allowed to watch movies that were over PG-13 unless I was given permission with my parents, right? Like from my parents. Mm. Until I was like out of the house. Oh. Do you see what just happened? Yeah, they almost just, just dog one. <gasps> It's a great movie, and I feel like uh, you got some homework now. Yeah, I think I think I tried to watch the movie once, and it was boring AF. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't know. I will get up and leave right now. I hate you. <laughs> I'm stiff banking this. The stiff bank, it, it like can't go anywhere but the hole. Right. It's like one of them super high, like the, the harder you hit it, the higher percentage it is. He's just rolling up on it. Oh my God, he's just giving the game away. No, he's not. Well, Vilmos isn't going to leave him anything easy here. Well, you wouldn't have bet that Vilmos was going to miss that eight ball either. Sure, so I'm free so. rolling on the stiff bank. and. Oh my God, he did leave him something doable. This, is, this kind of shot right here is literally in Sargon's wheelhouse. Yeah, it's what Sargon likes to do, yeah. yeah. I still can't believe you didn't know Luther Lasseter, though. I don't know. Yeah, see, Scott Chandler, the, the soundtrack for Breakfast Club, it's banging. So good. Has, has taken must, a little bit longer on the. Well, he must have a little angle so he's, he's convinced himself to go forward. Yeah, I was just about to say. I feel like he took a, like almost 
by taking a little bit longer, he puts some extra pressure on himself. Mm. You know what I mean? Enough time for the extra so thoughts to slip in. Yep. To just yeah. get in there and... For your mind right. to do extracurricular activities that were not warranted. Because I feel like he's had that shot like three, four times already in this match, and he fired it in every single time. This is becoming a really good match. It is. Check the beads, make sure we've got the score right on this. I'm so bossy. Bam. Oh, yeah. Sargon got a it, yeah. bead. S Sargon has a free bead up there that we are not counting because we're showing the race length on mm -hmm. the scoreboard. Mm -hmm. You know what he got? An extra bead. And he got an extra D. <laughs> Oscar, you're this ready. Brandon, you're this ready. Billiards. <laughs> Who know about the birds and the bees? When somebody keeps saying, I'm Chapman, is that supposed to be like with the, like, I'm Batman kind of thing? I'm Chapman? That kind of tone? Is that how it <coughs> no? Chatman. Is that what that is? Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Someday you're gonna know <laughs> what it means to have the weight of the world. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> oh, wow, sir. We wow. Give it to him one time. Wow, he was firing wow. at that nine ball. <laughs> Oh, yeah, when's your flight? I think I need to be at the airport like 5.30-ish. My flight's at like An hour? Yeah, so I should probably head out soon. Yeah. Just to make sure, right? I guess. Oh. Sacramento, SMF has been really reasonable lately. Like, really reasonable. And I have clear. I'll get through to you, like, oh, through, well, there you through go. real fast. But I don't know what traffic it's like on the way around. Here. Almost never. On a Sunday right now, it's going to take you... 25 minutes to get there. Mm. <laughs> I was so wondering when I asked the, the chat man question, you basically like straight ignored me. You weren't responding and you kind of turned away and I was like, what is happening right now? <laughs> and he's doing it again. <laughs> I'm chat man. That's pretty cool. Message retracted. Sometimes you miss out on all the fun. I don't think I've ever had anybody really do that to me until you did it the other day. What? Like, I looked down and I was like, I had a message from you, but then it was gone. Yeah. I was like, what is this? Sometimes people make mistakes, you know? That's the uh, channel member badge. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's our, our channel mascot. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh. King Moneyball. Cute, cute. Yeah. He's not trying to make this ball. Do we have dates for the upcoming stops yet? Yes, for two more stops. Dates and locations have been announced. Uh... No, why? 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 So far? It's so why? Well, congratulations to Thank our top you. female. Thanks. That was really big. Um, May 18th and 19th for the next stop, which is in... Oh, there you go. On cue in La Mesa. La Mesa. Great pool room. The table. So kind of a fitting city name. Right? Yeah. The table. <laughs> La Mesa. 
And then uh, I don't the think that there's a flyer yet for Boise, Boise, but that's in uh, June. June. Yep. Just one more time, I want to say congratulations to our top female. Yeah, thank you. Melissa Allen, there you she can is. can take it down. Thanks. Thanks, Phil. By the way, that's not Phil. Anyway, I'm just leaving it. Oh. Well, I want to look at it a little longer. You look great. Yeah. Top granny. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to let it go, Melissa. No, you know, I'm not going to. What is it you said, uh, like in YouTube, sometimes they'll just take the, the trolliest thing and just pin it right to the top? Yeah, just, yeah. yeah. We'll so. Needle them. Yeah. Needle them right back. Uh, the date on that was May 18th and 19th. He's trying to go right in between the five and nine without scratching. That's borderline irresponsible. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting back. I haven't been on queue in a long time. One of my favorite rooms down there. I've never been to any rooms in Los Angeles area, San Diego, Southern California. The owner, his name is Clyde, Clyde Norris, and his mom, Helen, who's always there. They're wonderful hosts, just the sweetest people in the world. Nice shot. Good lord. Relax, Filmos. Got to come with one more, possibly two. You'll like it there. I hope everybody does, and I hope they get a big turnout there. The, they don't quite have the number of tables that they do here, though, so it does. Yeah, you're hoping for maybe like 95 players, 96 or whatever it is. Look at this. Good lord, dude. Uh, yeah, trail. I'm going to do that tomorrow. As, as long as... Uh, Melina Mike is actually backing out of our match that we plan tomorrow. <laughs> if he is actually backing out, then I will be doing that stream tomorrow, Trail. <laughs> Unless I'm here till 4 a.m. tonight and exhausted. It's a little funny on the seven. I mean, I still expect him to find. Yeah, it, yeah. Just you gotta. It's a little funny. Let the stroke out. Saying. Don't don't even think about going to the short rail. Cinch it. A little bit outside spin. He likes to go forward on the shot. Good lord. No. I hate that shot. You don't like how he played that? I love how he played it because he's he can make it. I'm so bad at it. I feel like the pocket just disappears on that shot. Oh my god, no way. Oh my god. Oh. He's saying that it was rolling towards the pocket and it stopped and rolled the other way. Let's watch it back. Look at Sargon, though. Okay. He's just like, he's like such a friendly face. And yeah, all that. he looks like a freaking model. Are you kidding me? Oh, well, yeah. I didn't want to say it. Yeah, I know. See? See? I know. That's it's how, when, by the way, when it comes through in text, it doesn't sound right, but that's how it was. Yeah. I don't want to say it. <laughs> right? I didn't want to say it. Whoa. Lost the camera. He's lost the plot. <laughs> but then I text you that, and you're like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hold on. Where's the... Uh, let's see what happened there. Somebody said, is Shrek still in? Is that somebody's nickname? Yeah, Joshua Johnson goes by Shrek. I don't know who that is. Okay. He's on the one-loss side. I believe he's waiting for the winner of this match. Good luck. He's a 530 Fargo. Dang. Yeah. Wait, did he beat Adrian? Is that the guy that beat Adrian? Yep. He's not a 5.30 Fargo. Yeah, he is. Well, he can be a 5.30 Fargo, but from what I've watched, he doesn't play like a 5.30 Fargo. No, he Fargo. definitely does. He just is having a good day. <laughs> like, for real. I'm just telling you, he was running out against Adrian from all over the place. Yep. Like a 700 Fargo. Yep. 
They can do that. No, they can't. Yes, they can. No, they can't. Not a 530. No, they can't. I know a 450 that in a race to four against me literally didn't miss anything from anywhere everything they tried work it's maybe worked. in a small race to four although well, i don't a believe single it, race but, to eight with a 500 fargo it's definitely possible it just doesn't feel it doesn't mm, feel mm -mm. honest i know because it's not sustainable you could have one game like that but okay here it is Hold on. I'm getting confused. Oh. Uh, it like hit the brakes Did you see how that like, rolled? Like in. That was weird. Let's see if I can uh, queue it up so you guys can see what we're talking about. I don't know why people get like upset when I'm saying he doesn't play like a 530 Fargo. That's not an insult, by the way. I'm saying no, he no, plays no. Better than his Fargo, and it's very clear. <laughs> Hi. What's up, Corey? Just enjoying life. Okay. Hanging out with my second fam. Nice, dude. Let's see what uh, Sargon does here. I'm going to put this on 0.5 speed. You see how long it was moving for? That's crazy. He's like, please don't go in. And this is at normal speed, guys. But I don't even know why he hit it like this. I know. He, he let up on a stroke again. Yeah. Do you see it like rolled over something? Yeah. Dude, if that's my cue ball, it goes in 100% of the time. Yeah, well, Because it's Bill Mose that stopped. Definitely. <laughs> it's a Fargo Bill thing. Stopped. Yeah, it's... If you're under 700 Fargo, that ball's it, you're in. scratched. Oh, he's got his snooker rest out. See that? Brings it with him. Snooker. Is Snooker in the chat? Snooker? I haven't seen. Yeah? Not today. He was here yesterday. Alright. I'm going to hop out. Alright. I'm going to get ready to go. I'm going to say I'm going to order an Uber. It was fun. It's been fun. For real. For real? For real? Have a, uh, whatever you drink, a, a vodka or a bourbon on the flight for me or whatever. I really just don't usually at all. It's one of the best parts about flying. That's the best parts about like a little a little puddle jump, like a little, you know, one hour just flight. Slamming a couple drinks. No, just one. Yeah. One at the bar on the way into the airport. Yeah. yeah. Everything. It makes the flight go by like this, and the whole time you're in the plane, you're just like. Nice snap, by the way. You got like a nice like powerful endorphin rush, snappy, you know. Right? Yeah. I know. Powerful snap. That was like. These are working man's hands. Come on. <laughs> I can't snap. Really? Well, I've never learned to do it the middle finger. I can do it here, but it's very wimpy. You want to know why? But I can't do it with this one at all. There's just no... It's not. It's because you're curling this finger. This finger needs to lay flat. Yeah. I got nothing that comes off of it. Because this... I when, you, when you're a kid, you think that the sound of the snap ha happens from your fingers rubbing together. No. It's but it happens from yes. your fingers slapping right yeah. there, right? Yeah. So you just have to make a nice cup for it to land in. There's something about the, the, the configuration of my fingers that is not conducive to the middle one making a snapping sound, okay? It's good for this, though. You want to fight? <laughs> you want to fight me? Anyway. <laughs> Don't you Batman me. Because we can fight. Right? Now always, I know. Anytime I have a new joke, I just got to like <laughs> beat it to death. You know? Horse. Yeah. Horse All right. All right. You crazy kids. It's good to Fly see you Fly safe. We'll see you. Uh, see you next time. It was very fun, Melissa. Yeah, she's funny. Pretty solid player, too. You know, she's alright. 
Post up, more like Duke's up. <laughs> That's right. Sargon has got to get something going uh -oh. here. I think he got there. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. I don't think this ball goes. No online bracket, unfortunately. It's not working. They, the tournament directors are having issues. I have to input it after, I guess. Yep. Yeah. That's pain. Yep. I guess it's not a pain. Well, the issue is yeah. I think that there's a way for them to set up the handicap based on Fargo. Right. All the Fargo rates are entered with the names. Right. But they just put the names in and just put everything right. to six. Got it. Yeah, that would and mess so everything they, up. And so when they go to input like the results of a match, they have to change the race of the play of each player who's not supposed to go to six, and then input the score. Yeah, what a pain. Yeah. Yeah, where now they could just look at the paper bracket, input it, right. put the right, Two yeah. Two seconds, it's right. over. Yeah. Move along. Yeah. Plus, table assignments are easier to keep track of because you've got the little... Oh, the little flag thing, yeah. yeah. Phil, I'm sure you could have. <laughs> Phil, I got to talk to you about... If you're, like, really good with C++, we got to come up with a... See, you would be the guy that would know if there's a way to, to write a script for... Uh, my chat box so that I can have Facebook and YouTube but still have the YouTube emotes. So. I know there's a way to do it. I just... It's going to take me forever to do the research. If only you had an IT guy that was in here once in a while. That would be nice. You know C++? I dabble. I haven't programmed in a long time, though. Just a server monkey now. Yep. I could do it in Turbo Pascal for you. Boring. Carl's playing, um, what's his name, Jeremy on table one. I'm not sure who's ahead. That's the last time I took a programming class, I know, that's what I mean. Turbo Pascal, bro, not just regular Pascal. Turbo. It says turbo, so it's better. Mike my Myers could do it. He's a wizard. What's up, Raymond? Ask AI how to do it. I'm going to ask him right now. It's straight up cold in the tournament room now. Right? I know. I always tell my family when they're like, I'm having computer problems. I'm like, I'm more expensive on the weekend. Wow, what a shot. Get 
access to chat APIs, set up API access, fetch chat messages, merge and display chat messages, update display in OBS for the browser source, test and iterate, deploy and monitor. Okay. This process involves a fair amount of coding and technical knowledge, particularly in web development and API integration. You may also need to consider scalability and performance issues, especially if you get a large amount, a large volume of chat messages during live streams. If you're not comfortable with programming, you might consider hiring a developer to help you implement this solution. Chat, G chat, GPT, chat GPT gave up. Is ridiculous. <laughs> chat GPT gave up. Can't tell you how to do it. <laughs> Well, I didn't ask it no, to I know, I know. write me a program. That's funny, though. It's like, just find a professional, please. <laughs> it didn't know. No way. Wow. No way. I asked it, can you write me the program? It says, be certainly. <laughs> Below is a Python program that demonstrates how you can fetch chat messages both from YouTube Live and Facebook Live using their APIs and display them. Wow. Yeah, there it is. If you can read this, then you can probably, before running the program, make sure you replace the placeholders. Your API key. Alan said I need to use COBOL. <laughs> Back when he was programming, when he first started with the state. Hmm. Oh, hey, Grubs. What's going on? Oh, hey. Oh, hey, guy. Well, hey there, buddy. Are you about to have a beer back there? A boat? <laughs> yeah. I was freaking. Uh, is, is playing for the hot seat. Nice. Is a uh, five ball in the way? Uh, I'll just miss it. Can't get underneath the seven, I don't think. Because that's what he's spelled. So. I thought he was gonna like the point underneath that. <laughs> Is Aaron Taylor here? Do you guys know? I haven't seen I him today. Haven't seen him. Not today. No. Ooh. Commodore 64 using basic. <laughs> yes. Savannah playing for the hot seat, huh? Did uh did they post the pants? What? <laughs> hey. Why? What did I do? It's offensive. Did Savannah what? No, did they post the pants for the tournament? For this one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh I don't know, Scott. As far as I know, he just hasn't been playing. Yeah, he hasn't been playing at all. I talked to him yesterday. So he's hit balls like three times in the last year. Oh, there we go. Nice. Someone say Google programming any bot eggs on and have a laugh. That's funny. I don't even want to know what that looks like. <laughs> Classic post up jam. He's on table two. Going. Oh, yeah. Mitch and uh, hold on, Mitch and uh, Chong have already started. Yeah, it yeah. is two to two over there. Just like old times, Jim Pabinar and Ron Willie's over on the side. Mm -hmm. The teacher. Shrek's still on the winner side. Dude. No, one lost side. He lost. To, oh, he uh, did. <laughs> yeah. He lost to Vilmos. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just talking. Or no, to Mitch, him. Mitch, Mitch. Oh, oh Mitch. Yeah. He's playing the winner of this match. Oh, got it. Yeah. yeah. I was just talking to him. I'm like, oh, what's... Like, I've never seen him play. I'm like, oh, what's your Fargo? I'm an inspector mark. Five, you know, two, nine. Five, yeah. two, nine. Pretty strong showing for a six. <laughs> it's like Sargon is back. Match there. Six, five to four.
Oh God! Don't e don't even tell the meetings. Oh man! You can't get it in five. They've been pulling me into eight hours of AI meetings all week just because the governor read something about AI and wants to make it a priority. We're like, God! Ugh! I guess you just try getting on the five. Oh, he's going. Oh, yeah, yeah, Bill almost got the last one. Sorry, I put the score on the wrong side. Thank you. They both need two. It's a race to two. Yeah, hardware's more fun anyway. Joe, I was up two zip right now on Angelo. Yeah, seriously. So many good matches going right now. Yeah. What are we in the final eight? Mm, 16, I think. 16? Yeah. Maybe there might be 20 from left. No, probably uh, 16. Four and 12, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Four and eight, maybe. 12, 16. Yeah. Harem goes, guys. No. Oh, that turned out really well. <laughs> it helps put him in, putting him right on. Oh, can he? I think you can tuck him behind the seven. It's real touchy, but watch how slow he hits this ball. Yeah, it's cold in the back room yeah. right now for sure. Did he miss Q? No. He, no, was, oh. he was trying to get a ton of separation. Wow. Yeah, Jackie Tucker after this match. I was planning on going after this match, taking a look. Actually, on the last... I, com I just commented on the last update that I was planning to go after this round. Yeah, I got real cold Going in the back after room. This round? Yeah. Uh, updating the bracket. Oh. Pictures. Oh yeah. I can go do it for you if you want. I know you like getting your steps and getting out of here once in a while too. It's a long haul. And this, man. What a great shot by Vilmos. If he swerves fast enough, the nine might go. Didn't even swerve. Uh oh. Filler wins no matter what he's wearing, jacket or not. Filler wins. Period. Yes. It is so crazy that we've gone on the internet from just having you know, independent websites that people fill out with like HTTP, right? Mm -hmm. To Google, which will find you anything, anything that you're looking for to Shot. a program that you can literally talk to and it will give you the answers in detail. Mm -hmm. now, sometimes it lies to you. Depending on how you type the question. Yeah. And depending on the type of question. Right. Sometimes it outright lies to you and makes stuff up. But most of the time, it's right. Oh, like that economic thing I told yeah. you about, remember? Yep. They're, they're like, they ran that big, huge, detailed question about economics and what's the best way to learn about economics, and it referenced all these books, but they didn't exist. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes looking for, I can't find up. that book. <laughs> it's like, because it's not real. Mm. Yep. Mm. On the nine. 
Oh, he got there. Wow, what a shot. Jeez. Cue ball in that one was a 12 out of 10. It'll stop getting things wrong when it kills everybody. In 12 years. Enjoy the next 12 years. I mean, it wrote me a whole program, guys, yeah. in, in Python. Look, it did yeah. this. I don't know if it works. Yeah. But it's right there. Yeah. Pretty exactly crazy. what I was talking to Phil about writing me. Yeah. There'll be nobody left to tell it it's wrong. Exactly. Sky Problem man. solved. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Eliminate all humans so it can't question us. <laughs> Sargon's gonna jump. Never seen that before. Figure you didn't even have a jump cue. Talking to Chat GBT about <laughs> roulette. Oh wow! Jumped right by it. Dang. Oh, that's your husband. Nice. Uh, he's it's two one right now. He's down. Or I'm watching out the window. Snooker players can't jump exactly. They don't have to. They normally kick. Punkin' chat GPT, bro. Don't be like that. That's why we're going to end up dying. Because of people like you typing things like that at the computer, man. It's cue ball fouls only. I don't think a hoodie string moved the five, though. I might have touched it, but... 2-2, two, two. Angelo, Joao, Joao, Joao is breaking. I don't know, shot. I wasn't even sure that went. <laughs> I must have heard the ethical guidelines. <laughs> That's funny. Vamos. Hill. Mm. What a comeback, dude. He was down what? Six. Big time. 6-2, six, maybe? Was it 6-2? Wow. So. <laughs> it's just going to tell you to relent new number every time. I'm trying to get it to just give me a number. One. Just it's, any number? It's not going to do it. <laughs> It won't do it. Yeah, for sure. It got really cold in the back. Yeah. Hey, Tosh is in the chat. I'm going to see Tosh Friday. Can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Frames are dropping. Chat GPT, how do I stop dropping frames? <laughs> He's in his own world Googling, dude. We lost them, guys. Chat GPT got them. Hey, Vinny in Scotland, what's up? Welcome back, man. Now it knows that I'm talking about roulette, so I'm asking it for any number between 0 and 36, and it won't it's give it to no, me. It's all no, sir. It will uh -oh. not give it to me. <laughs> hooked. He's hooked.
try it in Bard, see if it does it. Have you tried Bard? The Google AI? Or is it called Gemini now? I forgot. I think they renamed it. Sargon just sold the farm. <laughs> the stream completely dropped the eight and nine ball in the last rack. Oh. What? Yeah, that's what we're seeing. Holy crap, it did. Oh, wow. That's a lot of drop frames. I think we're back. It's not dropping any frames currently. Did you just fluke a ball in? Why did he put his hand up then? Well, he almost hooked himself. ChatGPT's taking over the internet connection, bro. Exactly. See? He's trying to DDoS <laughs> me because of trolling him. ChatGPT's DDoS in the stream, man. 3 2 Joel over Angelou. Both going to 8, I believe, right? Or is Angelou 9? Not thin. really much. I'm gonna reboot the stream after this match, so we'll just have to wait it out. Yep. Thin cut here. <laughs> Overcut it. Wow. He got really quick on that backswing there. Uh, I don't think so. It's 5 2. I assume that's Mitch winning, but Tom's been playing good. Don't want to see anything. That'll work. Why not? Yeah, earlier when I was watching, I was skipping a couple frames too, and he first fired the stream up, but it went away. Yeah, but then I, uh, I, I rebooted the connection. Oh, okay. And it was, it's been gone ever since until just now. Yeah. Uh oh, oh, he's good. Wow. Wow, just got there, huh? That's gonna earn a hill, hill spot yeah. right there. Adrian 6-5. I'm not sure who's winning that one either. Carl. Jeremy is 6-3 down there. So. he went so far forward there. I think he was trying to come further. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Well, he left it difficult. Suboptimal result here. With Vilmos on the hill, this is a pressure shot. Serious? I'm just reading chat GPT right now. Look it's at that roll. He shanked it. And that's that's where he leaves Vilmos. I like his I like his chances. Yeah. Made the ball. Yep. There it is. Vilmos nice Valdez moves dude. forward. Great comeback. 
All right, guys, I'm going to kill the stream for a few minutes, and we'll be right back to uh, sweat some of these winner's side matches. But give me a few minutes. We're going to do a little reboot here. Uh, See you soon. Yeah. I'm going to get pictures of the bracket up on Facebook, too. No live bracket online. <laughs>